Comedy Bang Bang. We are back here, and uh, God, um, Taryn and Paul took off. It was weird. They uh, they thought of these sad things during the break. They threw their headphones down in disgust, and um, they yelled at me, "Why did you make me think of that again?" And they just took off. So anyway, it's just me. <laughs> um, well, God, what do we talk about? I guess. Um, yeah, I can do the weather report. I haven't done that in a while. That sounds like two distinct knocks. And that's a third kind of horseish knock. Like a galloping knock. Well, I may as well open the door. Uh, Excuse me, brother! Hello! Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I was wondering if you could find the time to refrain and direct me where I must entertain and begin to comb the mane of my dis here prize fighter. Wait, you want me to refrain from from continuing to talk? Is that what you're saying? Don't parse his words too closely. Okay. Uh, What are you asking me? You're asking me if I can can, uh, find a... uh, What? (laughs) Who are you? My name is uh, uh, Beva Holpox. Beather Holpox. Okay. Beather Beather Holpox. Oh, right. I was saying it wrong. Beather Holpox. And I am Chico Hands. <laughs> Chico Hands, you rascally dog. Beva, don't you call me that. Chico. Wait, are you guys- Get out of here. Do you mind if I sit down my knees on as good as I used to? Yeah, please, On account guys. of all them days jockeying about. Oh sure, have a seat. I, I, uh, my, my real guest took off. Thank so you. it's actually your, your name, son. My name is Scott Ackerman. It's Scott very, uh, Ackerman. Very uh-huh. nice to meet you guys. Bever, handsome, strong face. Beva. B e v e r. Beva Hallpox. Oh, Beva Hallpox, and then she like hands. Beaver, but Beva. Oh, got it, got it. And you guys don't seem to be friends because you were just calling each other names. We're uh, frenemies. This sissy fanny. Baloney, nanny. Oh, now. Goob gob, Danny. Oh, now. <laughs> Flip flop. <laughs> Pan handling. Fool. Wow. Is a, is a necessary means to an end. Oh, okay. God, and I this right means. here. Stupid head. That's not as good as what he is. a man I have known for too long. Okay. Well, how do you, I mean? How do you guys know each other? You said you were a you said you were a jockey. Is that what you? Oh, in my in my younger, more healthy, more ambitious years. But I've since retired into the uh, ostentatious, hypervacious, mm. dualicacious world mm. of prize horse fighting. Prize. Prize horse fighting. Prize. So, That's right, sir. Horse fi- prize horse fight. I don't think I've ever heard of that. What you heard that? him correct. Oh, no, I know I did because I repeated it three times. Yeah, you never said uh, you heard me incorrectly. Yeah, w- yes. By the way, do you mind saying everything that I hear correctly on this show? Just pointing it out? Done. Will do. If, if there's did one I hear thing, that correctly? You heard it correctly. Thank you so much. Uh, the one thing I will give my friend Chico credit for hmm. is, is his. Uh. Ear locking, lip popping, oh. flip flopping, kaplopping. Said flip flopping again. <laughs> containment of the spoken word. So you flip flop a lot. I'm getting. I'm a, I'm a flip flopper. Yes. What What are some but, of the issues? That uh, you the reason I on? said flip flop twice uh-huh. is because he is not a flip flopper. Oh. He is, he is stubborn as a mule, mm-hmm. and there ain't no space for mules in the world of horse no. fighting. No. Well, I want to get back to this. What is horse fighting? I've never heard of this. I mean, I've heard of horse racing. Is that what you're? Is that what you're <laughs> saying? <laughs> Child's play. No, huh. it, it's just what it sounds like. It's two horses punching each other. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Punching he, each other. Is he, uh, y- y- you want to find yourself a, a prize thoroughbred who, who going to race around the track and win you a pretty, a pretty flowered cap. That, that's fine. That's all good and fine. Boring. But what we're looking for is a, is a special breed, a special type of horse, a powerful horse with a great upper body strength who looks good in a pair of satin shorts. And is angry and mean and he wants to punch. Punch. That's the thing that I, <laughs> like. I've heard of horses like stampeding it, and nah, trampling people. That's, because, just, uh, that's just in their blood. But it takes uh, a special uh, kind of horse who can give a big punch. Stand up on his hind legs. 
rear that beautiful mane Twisting that tail, just the man. throw. <laughs> oh, that was not a horse. That was Chico. Yeah, I noticed that, Chico. Punch. Wow. And just punch. Yeah. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. Till that other horse is down for the count. Kaboom. Oh, so it's horses punching other horses. So it's not yeah. humans. <laughs> My son, you sure ain't gonna get a human in the ring when a horse ain't gonna last more than two seconds. You wanna fight one of our horses? They'll punch you with their Good luck. Hooves. Good luck, because you get butts in seats, but it ain't gonna be a long yeah, bout. Th- that sounds inhumane. You're right. Yeah. No, but the horse is punching each other. That's okay. Oh, d- sure. Punching I- each other in their horse faces. <laughs> How do you train a horse to do it? I've never seen a, a horse punch. You either it's gotta right. or you don't. They there ain't no training so there's involved. there's no training. They want to do it or <laughs> so they then, don't. So then how do you find the horses to do it? Is it just merely leading every horse you ever see into a ring, seeing if they punch? Scotty, Scotty, you, you ever seen a video of a horse being born? T- uh, sure, yeah, I remember it's that a beautiful one. Newborn thing. baby. Mir- yeah, Mir- Howard alive. Kramer has a video about they that. Come out, they come out called. walking. Yeah. That's why horses is more incredible than, than human beings. They they That's know true. things from the start. That's come true. out walking and so slippery. Slippery. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just covered in their mama's juice. Mm-hmm. And, and every... <laughs> <laughs> Every yes, covered in the, that's a yeah. Every I, one of them covered in a mama's juice. That's true. I mean, it would be impossible not to be. Once it's what helps lubricate the birth. Once in a blue horse moon, mm-hmm. you find a horse that pop right out, ready to punch and just punches its just mother. Ready to punch his mama in the, in the juice flap. Angry. So you then find these horses by going to horse births. That's and right. Then, you have to be there. It's a very competitive. Uh, only only one horse and maybe seven thousand mm. is born with a good punch. Is it like trouble with the curve where you're like? Out it's on exactly scouting? like trouble. It's exactly with the curve. trouble with the curve. Hey, I got with a bone to pick with trouble head. with the curve. Okay, let's talk about that. They, let's sidebar the horses for a minute. Let's talk about trouble with the curve. I told him. I what did I tell him, Chico? I said, I will sit in a room and I will make a deal for the life rights of Chico and Beva's mm-hmm. life as competitors in horse mm-hmm. fighting punch fights. Mm-hmm. If only Chico be played by Clint Eastwood yep. and I be represented as a the beautiful, talent, multi-talented, excellent variety show host. Justin Timberlake's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then and then what? And they took our life and then made about baseball. Stole our life. Stole Anybody our can throw a ball with some red stitches on it. It takes a special breed of horse to throw a punch. Oh God, this is disgusting. I can't be- I can't believe they would do that to you, but that's Hollywood. Clint Eastwood is, is a is a low down, confound, blue flip flop. <laughs> oh, you agree? Yeah. He flip flops. He's a flip flopper. He's a one time flip flopper because that that guy don't hold nothing. Okay, it doesn't negate it. He's, yeah, I've heard him say, don't make my day. <laughs> what? Do Incredible. not make my day. <laughs> Incredible. That's what he's known for. Why would he do that? How could he say, don't make that's my a- day, when everybody wants him to make that's the day? That's like saying, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger saying he won't be back. <laughs> he has to come back. He has to come back. You, did you know that Arnold Schwarzenegger has come back to every single place that he's ever said he'd be back to? That's right. Because he's a man Arnold of Schwarzenegger is a flip schlagenegger, clip schlagenegger, <laughs> return a marginator. That's who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. But he is a man of his word. That's he right. Yes, he is. Well, this is so you're there at the birth. You got to yes, be there at the birth. Yes, sir. You Does gotta, that take up most of be, your time? Most of it, yeah. Takes up most of your most life. Most of it, yeah. Most of your life, but you can't do nothing else. You got to be that first human face that a horse sees. If he don't connect to you. And yeah. that's the yeah. only way you're going to be his that's promoter. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the you got to be there from the get-go. Mm-hmm. Right. The bond between a horse fighter and his promoter is one of the strongest bonds between any two living creatures. Mm. Strong, stronger than the jockey horse. Nah, what, I was a jockey. Right? Was so a no jockey. knocks. It's a, it's a hard lie, but you're just sitting up there whipping. That's that's really it. That's right. Is that the secret the to jockeying, day, really? Jockey you is just really just, just horse whipping. whipping. Side to side. So and, you, don't, you, know, you don't whip the horses. Cutting down on breads. <laughs> you, you don't whip the horses to make them punch each other, then. No. You don't need to. No, no, no. No, they just come out you doing don't need it. To. You, you, you got to whip them to not punch. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you, do you really whip them to not punch? Listen, from time to time. A horse get too close to another horse mm-hmm. with yeah. no money on the line because yeah. I ain't in the I ain't in the business of free punching. Right, right. I'm in the business of making money sure, from horse sure, punching. Sure. So my, my horse start wasting his punch for free. Mm-hmm. I whip you back in your crowd. That, that when you whip him, 
The only thing I ever have to do to get a horse to punch, <laughs> I just whisper something in their ear. You a gentle man, and that's why you ain't won no fights. Oh, in a, in in too don't, long. Don't you start. In a too long song, song flip song. Come on, I, I Chimichanga will, Landville. Oh, that's where you need to go back to because no. you ain't no horse fight winner. I will I will whisper into a horse's ear something about the other horse. Something. Oh. I'll say, listen, uh, listen there, Cinnamon. Uh, you know what uh, older, older, uh, old, older, older, Papa's older, delicate older, condition? Older, older, Papa's great, great Papa's horse. delicate condition. <laughs> old Papa's delicate You know what, condition. if Mandy Patinkin was a horse, uh, <laughs> right. was saying about you, he says you are. Uh, he says you are uh, ugly horse. He says your. <gasps> no. He says your mane looks stupid. What? A horse father is very insecure. He says your mane is uh, <gasps> from a style common to horses of the 1990s. What? And horses understand English? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. horse fight, fighting horses do. I've heard of the horse whisperer, but the fighting horse whisperer. Yeah. yeah. That's you. Well, yeah. I, I, that's any promoter. Yeah. Oh, Chico. I don't. I. I'm like that horse whisper, but I don't. They do a lot of shush, 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 shush. Oh, they're just saying shush. Is yeah, that yeah, the yeah. secret to know. horse whispers? I don't. I don't pet him. Hey, shut up. No. Hey, shush, no. shush. Hey, shut up. Hey, shut up. Hey, shut shut up. your mouth. You hey, hear what that other horse saying about you? <laughs> shut up. He said you hey, ass stupid. <laughs> My God. So now you guys, you say one in seven thousand comes out punching. Yes, sir. Mm. How many horses have you met then? That that actually do this in just my for, day, yeah. Uh, mm. You know, a handful, uh, handful, uh, under a dozen. But I'd yeah. say uh, the ones worth they oats, mm -hmm. maybe yep. three, three, very maybe three, three. How three many? Very how many do you represent? I represent four myself. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's really just the same seven horses punching themselves <laughs> right, at that's each right, other that's right. for their entire lives. We've cornered the market. Wow. On corner fighting horses. So you guys have been at f cumulatively forty nine thousand births. That's yes. That's wow. fast math. Approx and you are correct. <laughs> Approximately. Wow. So just shy of fifty thousand births in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. They how how many do you so fit wet. in a day? Well, you've you, you the math. This? You the math guy. You are. We've been at it for twenty years. Okay. Twenty years. Fifty thousand years. Oh, he's, okay. he's got his. He got six, his calculator five, phone out now. Seven. Okay, so twenty years. Uh, fifty thousand birds. Look Let's at him see. with that calculator three, phone. Eight, 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 fast so. fingers, boy. If you was a horse, I'd be. I'd be showing up to your birth. So you've been at uh, uh, collectively twelve hundred and fifty per year. Sure. So that's uh, approximately four, four a day. Four hundred a day. That's right. It's four a day. Four. Yeah. Horses, four horse horses are maybe the horniest animal there. That's why it's called horny. Horsney. Hor it started oh, in Latin horse -ney. Horse -ney. Horse -ney. Of course. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit inclined to, you know, fornicate because I'm feeling horsey. Feeling horsey. 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 But then people, people start say, getting confused about what your, your, your throat, throat, your throat hurts. It's going on. You, you, you got hay fever. No, no, no. I just cut out. Cut out this. Cut out this. Make you it got something there. Horny. Make it horny. <laughs> so when, so then when Austin Powers started saying that he was horny, uh, well, how did you guys feel about that? Well, he was not inaccurate. He was no, horny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, at first, and he I, didn't first, give us credit. But no, I, I, well, at first I thought he did, right? Because he had them horse teeth in there, and I thought he was making a very, yeah. very clever nod, uh, yeah, subtle yeah. root of the word, very subtle. But. uh but at the end of the day, he didn't give anyone he credit. Didn't, he, no, he, he doesn't didn't. know a thing about the world of horse fights. <laughs> it's a, it's okay. That is one thing you can say about Austin Powers. He does not know anything about that world. He never mentioned he's it. He's from Britain. Doesn't know about it. Doesn't know about it. Don't talk about it. Is we this always say. purely an American sport? Uh, not even. <laughs> really? I don't know what that means when you say it's, not it's, even to that question. It's kind of localized to about five, six states. Oh, okay. Five, six. Not the five or six you'd think. So I'd love to hear about that. Sure. It's Montana? Gotta be, what? Yeah. It's got to be in 25 states in order to be an American to sport. Be, that's oh, right. I we see. tried to get it registered yeah. under um, the sports. Can I ask you guys guild. a question? Yeah. Are you guys the only guys who do this? Sadly, yes. <laughs> Very sadly, yes. Sadly, yes. We 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 try to get our friends involved. We put together parties mm -hmm. with like chips and dip mm -hmm. and some cocktails. Say like, get involved in this business. Real yeah. great. You bring in three friends. They make money for you, mm -hmm. and then sure, you're making money for us. But as it gr as it grows, you're getting a bigger portion of the pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. but 
surprisingly to us, our friends find it distasteful. <laughs> well, they say, "What are you talking about?" And they, we say, horse "It's fight. horses horse fighting." Fight. Right? Then you Aren't reiterate you? the, the and concept. And they of say, it. "Well, yeah. they, what are they racing?" We got dark friends too. They're like, "What? They biting each other? They kicking each other with their hind legs?" Oh. Well, no, 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 no. Red light, clean red fight, light. clean fight. No, no, they punch. They're punching each other. They're reeling back. Taking a full roundhouse swing at each other. Roundhouse up. They jabbing. They jabbing. They hooking. They flip yeah. flop looking. Yeah. Flip flop. They coming and cooking. Yeah. Their feet just a hoofing. Yeah. And it's it's all uh, it's all we can do to convince them not to tell the authorities about this. How do you do that? I mean, that's the most amazing part of the story that your I friends are quiet about. I whisper to them. Oh, shut I said, "Pew, shut up. That's right. You sh- just shut that's the, right. shut your damn you mouth. Hear what and you don't tell." If you if, if you if you don't want a horse to punch you in your stupid jaw, you'll shut up about this whole thing. Mm, wow! And so they've kept quiet. They at kept this quiet. Point. They and kept yet quiet. you guys are on a podcast talking about it. What's a podcast? Oh, okay. I see what's happening. <laughs> you guys just came by to rap. Yeah, we're here to promote. Oh, okay. well, that's what I was asking you to uh, give us directions to the to the promotation, infiltration, oh. um, abbreviation, nation. Promotation. Oh, now there you go, Chico. <laughs> Talk a nation. So you guys are speechification. Ad- you guys are adversaries, but are are you actually just friends? I well, mean, we're twins. <laughs> oh, I should have seen that. I mean, you're both four nine. We're hey, adjunct size. Four nine. We got it. We got it. Big old, big old shoes. I find it hard it's to distinguish of, features it, on people as short as you. To be, yeah, f- yeah, to be frank, I'm so tall, it's very hard to see down. It's there. like oh, trying right. to tell two mice apart. <laughs> yes. You can't do it. <laughs> Good luck. We try. We try to get into mice fighting. They, they all, won't fight. They won't fight because they be like, hey, is that me? Is but, that a mirror? They'll, but they wrestle. <laughs> they will wrestle. Oh, so they is wrestle. that a side gig for you or did you just it kind of abandon it? too homoerotic for us. Nobody wants to see a bunch of boy you, mice rolling around on the floor. We're glad you did bring it up. Another though. time. We're a little more old-fashioned. <laughs> okay. We tried it and we got out of it. So you guys have grown up together. What did you, and your old men at this point, were you a jockey as well, Chico? Uh, I didn't much care for riding them. Mm, I'd love to hear more mm-hmm. about your life then. I mean, what were you doing while uh, Bever here, he- Bever Holpox? And by the way, why do you have two last names? I'd love to bring that up at some point. But let's talk about first uh, what you were doing while Bever was a jockey. Law school. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's move on to the name thing. Right. Um, you're Bever Holpox. You're Chico Correct, Hands. Sir. What uh, went down there? Uh, the sky, uh, All four of those oh, are oh. nicknames. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, none of what? those are given names at no, all. No, no. Okay. They all sort of, sort of stage names, but not as phony as stage names because we earned them. Oh, earned them? We earned yeah, them. Yeah, you know, nicknames picked up along the way. Oh, I see, yeah. My real name is Smith. Okay. What's your last name? Uh, my name is Smith uh, Calvin's. Smith Calvins, and yeah. then what would your name be, Chico? Jones Calvins. <laughs> okay. So, the Calvins boys, the Calvins twins. Hey, hey, hey. That's right. Hey, who are you? Ah, oh, mother. God rest her soul. God rest oh, how did her she beautiful, die? beautiful soul. Or is, is she still alive, but her soul is dead? No, she's no, dead. She's dead. Her soul a, dead as she's well. She's dead as a beaten, punched to death horse. Oh. How many horses have died? And we'll get to how your mom died. How many horses have died, speaking Scotty, of this? Scotty, Scotty, the, f- the fight don't stop till the horse is dead. Yeah. Wait, wait. So you guys have gone through only seven horses. How yeah. many fights? Oh, no, I thought you were saying how much we represent now. What's this now? This, this there, there's seven, seven that yeah. are survivors. Oh, that count. So you've been seven through that. even more births than, oh. than just the fifty thousand that we've talked about. Well, no, oh. because what's the math? If they if there's fifty thousand births, one in seven thousand comes 7, out punching. 000. So you have seven currently. Seven. So that's forty nine thousand. So you've been to even more. How many have died at Muster, this point? Muster then. Muster. You know, we we go to like a a horse funeral a week. We go to what? <laughs> So at least, at least how long like, have you been doing least, this? Well, About 20, 20 years. Twenty I got, years. 20 years. I, I <laughs> got wait now. I got out of law school and then we start. That's we right. started right you after. Got out of law school, they, and then you came and you stayed at my place. I crashed when I while whilst I was you know in the sunset years of my jockeying. That's so this right. is ten thousand horses have died. Maybe. 
You, yeah, after a while, which, you have to stop counting or it just gets too hard. <laughs> well, I mean, you've had 10,000 horses died. In order to get those 10,000 horses, you had to have been at uh, 70 million horse births in the 20 years. Guys! Is that all? <laughs> Okay, I want to get back to how your mom died, but we have to take a break. Let's take a break. This is just... I, I really... Thank God that Taryn and Paul left. You guys are so much more fascinating. Who the who is Taryn don't, don't worry about that. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's take a break. Let's come right back. Uh, we're talking to uh, Smith and Jones, the Calvin's twins, right after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with Bever Hall Pox and Chico Hands, a.k.a. the Calvin's Twins, Smith and Jones. Good day to you, sirs and Mrs. Mams. Good to be back. This what? This is what a podcast is? Your flim flams, is... your hip oh, here we go. Here we go. your jimmy jams, and your... <laughs> Terry Lewis's. Miss, and your uh, Jim and Pams. <laughs> From The Office. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> we're a big fan of The Office. Oh, really? Oh, that finale oh, was so God. sad to oh, see him. Oh, man. It's hard to say goodbye in. to people you feel, yeah. feel like your family. They're like your family, they're in your house, you they're got, in your living room. You guys were, were doing uh, horse fighting for the last 20 years, and it sounds like yes, the back sir. half of that, you were also watching The Office. It's our, it's our, it's our cheat, cheat half hour. Mm. Because so, there's so many horse births and funerals yeah. to get to. That's the one half hour the horse a day fights. that that's you'll the take only off. thing that we allow ourselves. You sort gotta of, laugh. Uh, you gotta laugh. That's what we say in the horse fighting we business. We got it. That's right. how you start the fight. And you know, we're in normal boxing, be like, let's get ready to rumble. We just, we, we, you know, there ain't many people there, so you don't even need a microphone. So we just say, folks, you gotta laugh. <laughs> Now, for your enjoyment, two horses <laughs> that are going to punch each other. Two angry horses. Sure, of course. When you see as many crushed horse jaws as we do on a daily basis. Daily. You got to laugh. Wait, how many? You're going to one funeral a week. How many horses' jaws are crushed well, daily? You know how much earth it takes to bury a horse. Oh, so we're God. backlogged. <laughs> So wait, wait, let's. It's not adding up, guys, because you're saying that at least. Let's just say we got a big freezer. Let's just let's say just, that. Let's just. So let's only say ten that. horses are dying a day. Oh, minimum. Oh my! You God. gotta minimum. laugh. You gotta laugh, and you got, but you gotta get butts in seats. So. You, yeah, How many people debate? come to? You say no one comes to watch this. I have, you? People are in shouting distance. That's why why I, are you doing? <laughs> Sorry to spit across the room, but why are you doing this? No one watches. You, you do. gotta do what you love. <laughs> For you gotta love, follow your passion. You gotta do what game. you love. The For love, the love of, the of the game. Oh, wait, is the movie in the curve? Is the movie for love of the game about you guys? Absolutely. As well? Also, I I sat down with the director of For the, For love, the love of the Game, of the game. and I right. said I want to be played by the star who and Kevin Spence, Costner. Of Kevin course. Costner. Yes. And Chico <clears throat> said I want to be portrayed by the other person that was in that movie. Right, that other guy. <laughs> the other one. The you other, know him. The, the other, other guy. Manly. Look, wait, and let's not even to... mention him because everyone knows who we're talking and about. And then they make it about baseball! What baseball! Is, what is it about your story that adapts so well to baseball? Because it seems to me like your story, going to millions of horse births, one yep. funeral a week, having a yes, huge sir. freezer of yes, dead sir. horses, and killing 10 horses a day doesn't seem hey, like whoa, it would whoa, be- whoa, 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 I will stop you right there, Okay, Scotty. you're not killing. We ain't no, killing no, all. No, we no, love no. them horses. <laughs> sure, the other horses. We treat horse them horse. horses like they was our son. <laughs> sure. Putting them in a ring in fights to the death. Yeah, you know, a you gotta let them go. That. They yeah. want to You gotta fight. set them free. If they come back to you, they're a strong horse. Right, right. God. Well, this is, I mean, what about that, then, adapts so well to baseball? It doesn't seem like those are analogous. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, the, you know, uh, mechanics is similar. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, I guess the throwing of things. It's, it's all, you know, the stance. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. You gotta have a strong foundation. That's true. And, yeah. uh... Horses get tired real fast, so they're just like a lot baseball of players. Yeah, they get real tired. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you know the baseball players get tired after one inning. Yeah, <laughs> the rest of the game, it's they're like exactly, that first inning is actually tired. really good baseball. Yeah, the rest of the game they're just panting and that's tired. Right. The they're just time. very tired. Very yeah, tired. And that's I've wh- never noticed that in yeah. a ball game. That's why the first inning what? is usually there's no score 
because they're so good. They're at peak, and then they're exhausted by the second inning. They yeah. just very the lazy. Run slip through, yeah. and then they just let them all let them all through. Well, guys, I want to talk about your mom. So, what happened oh, to her? Yeah. She's dead. Oh, dude. Brought it up. You could uh, probably have guessed what happened. Eunice, based on our line Eunice. of words. You could probably have guessed. Well, I, be- I guess the better question is, how- how'd you purchase that large freezer? That's a that's a great question. Okay. I mean, they're both great questions. Can we answer them both, or can, are you that, only taking one more question? No, take it. I'm taking sorry, that's a all nod. we have time for. Because <laughs> this this fight this fight promo gonna start soon. No, I mean and you, people you, wants to know who gonna win. Yeah, you Buttercup have, or wins by a mile. <laughs> Wins by my gonna win it. Oh, you know that Buttercup gonna take it. Wins by my gonna win. Wins by my gonna win. Thunder and smile the lightning. Keep it knocking. He got like a little child. Guys, you guys are rubbing noses while you shout at each other. What is that about? Is that like a twin thing? That is so bizarre. It's a twin thing. It's a twin. Oh, okay. I've never seen it. Any pain I inflict on my brother, Chico, I feel ten, ten times upon myself. Oh, I had no idea that's what Wins twins do. by did. a mile gonna punch that horse in the face. Oh, Soon. what a cop gonna, gonna do an uppercut right mm. to that horse snout on Wins by a mile. But a, but a cup for a name of a fighter? Uh-uh. That's it, it, it surprises you, you guys are bad at insults. Call, you. call him daffodil. Yeah, we, I, I, call him panties. Maybe, maybe I will. Call him little panties. Maybe I will. And then it'd be more embarrassing for you when wins by a mile, don't win at all, and was instead knocked out by a horse named Alpha Flower. Doubtful. <laughs> Very doubtful. You guys are not good at insults. Look, what? Uh, how many horses have died today? We're, t- we're taping in the middle of the day. Have you already been to a bunch of horse fights already? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, best horse fights take place right before the sun comes up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No wonder no one's going to you these things, <laughs> by the way. It's hard to get people Mainly to see That's a great point, and it don't think we hadn't thought about it. Oh, Mainly okay. them farmers. horses just don't fight the same once the sun's in the sky. Oh, okay. So, But you have one more fight uh, when the sun goes down? Is you that get, what it is? You get some dusk fights. Okay. You get some pre-dawn fights, and you get some dusk fights. Yes. Mm-hmm. Twilight fights. Twilight fights. Mm. So you have uh, one coming up a little later then. This is we the, got uh, eight fights oh. we're trying to cram in to, to this evening's Twilight. Oh, my. Just during Twilight. I mean, the sun is down for quite a long time after Twilight. Scott, you, you clearly physically. don't know horses. They're very strong creatures. Horse okay. fights don't last too long. Oh, okay. How Ever long? heard strong as a horse? You know that saying? Uh, you ever heard that saying? Uh, strong. Oh, that he's strong as a horse. Uh, yeah. He's as strong as a horse, and his health is fantastic. Healthy as a horse. Right, yeah, no, I've heard both of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's what it comes from horse fights. Oh, and just horses, I would imagine, as well. Uh, I mean, down the line, down the line, yeah, yeah, yeah. but... So, how long do these last? You say they only last, like, how long is a normal let's match? Let's see, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, it's, it's such a musical sport. Mm. So it's better if I Beautiful. sort of like relay the sounds oh, okay. yeah, of a horse fire. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, for example, Buttercup and Wins by a Mile, sure, they're fighting yeah. this twilight. You start off with, you have to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen... You have to laugh. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> laugh. You just, you gotta <laughs> laugh. Of course. <laughs> now in this corner, we got weighing in at 512 pounds. <laughs> the beautiful stallion from Rhode Island. The, 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 the horse that's going to win, of course. Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> And in this in this corner, galloping up to this corner from a distance at a at a very unsyncopated trot. No, no, he's not. He's fast. He's strong. He's not unsyncopated. More like not fast. He's very fast. More like a slow. More like here he comes and he's the toughest horse I ever seen wheels by a mile. More like I showed up for a horse fight and that one. Is disappointing to look at. Oh, shut it up. In this corner, wins by a mile. (laughs) I want a good, clean fight. I want want it all above the waist, and I want just punches. I want hooves hitting horse faces. Want separate things. Interesting. And ring that did it. That did a triangle. Ding, 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 ding. Hit him. Hit him. Punch him. Punch that. Oh no! Oh god! Oh holy shit! He got punched bad. That horse in bad shape. 
Oh, crap! Oh, die already! Just die! Oh, that was gross! You should put him out of his mind. How long was that, Scott? Yeah, that's Scott uh, the math guy. Well, the preamble <laughs> seemed to stretch on for we got really to, most see, of the time. You see how long, the, how short the fight is. Yeah, you really got to make a, a big ceremony. Make it with their while. Yeah, and the fight it seemed to last maybe four seconds. Yeah, it's real about, fast. That's yeah, average. But the dying, about a minute. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys ever put the horses out of their misery? Or Can't. You just, no, you just like sit there and watch them. Well, it's just it's against the rules of a of yeah. horse fighting. Chico, Federation. you seem disgusted by no, it. No, no. You don't shoot a horse. You do not you do shoot not. a horse. Show no. me a show me a horse that can shoot a gun. Hey, there's something. It's un- wait. Was that you natural. actually asking our listeners? Yeah, hopefully. I'd be. I would love to see that. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine what that birth would look like. <laughs> horse. Oh. Wait. The horse comes out of. Covered in its mama's juices. Holding a, holding a skeet rifle. <laughs> With one hoof that's very hand-like. <laughs> right. Opposable digits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. yeah that was, oh, boy. Yeah, jointed, jointed hoof. Yeah. Or maybe the gun is specially crafted within the mother's now, womb. Now, that's a good To point. allow for a hoof to fit in in front of the trigger. They're oh. doing some amazing things. Things with gene breeding and horses gene is incredible splicing. creatures. Yeah. That brings it. You bring up a great point, Scott. Dang, Scott Ackerman. I don't know that I brought this up, but go ahead. <laughs> if two horses ever come out, mm. do they make a with sound? a right with a rifle oh. in their hand? Yeah. Would you agree to setting up a horse duel between them? Because I will go on record right now that I would represent a shooting horse. In a horse shooting duel match. Well, the thing about dueling is it's a gentleman's game. So if these mm. are highborn horses that we're talking about, mm. uh, of the elite upper class, I'd be inclined to Clydesdales. Clydesdales. Absolutely, Ooh. Clydesdales. Absolutely. But you talking about you talking about like a little like a little uh, plow pony or something mm. or a, 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 a little workhorse? Mm. No, 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 no. That ain't with it. No. What about they, a famous? That's out of, they're out of their place. What about a famous horse like War Horse versus Mister Ed? Have you like a celebrity? Oh, that's about, good. You know? oh, wow. oh, that's good. Yeah. And you could do it like a TV show, and but do it in clay. Right. Of course. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Celebrity horse fights. I would. Do it like a TV show, but in clay. <laughs> like like clay, <laughs> claymation fights, but celebrities. Non-televised. How come horses. They, how come they only ever had one talking horse show? Mr. Ed, and then that's it? 50 I know. years? 50 come years on, and guys. no more hey. horse TV executives, that's a gift horse to continue to you know, look in the mouth. You know what? You know what they did? You know what they did? They saw Mr. Ed. They saw how great, how funny it was. Mm-hmm, they got threatened. They turned that into Field of Dreams. What? Yeah. Ripped Back it to off. baseball. Made a Costner baseball. Made it about oh. baseball. God, yeah, it's an old story. I loathe baseball. Every time. Ah, gosh, guys. Well, that. Uh, how much do you charge for your for your matches? By the way, maybe maybe the price is too high. I mean. You know, maybe well, that's why people well, aren't for coming. The first, for the first 15, 16 years, he was just bring a bottle top. Mm. Yeah. Bring what, a, what good does bring, that do you? Well, we sell we oh, sell Oh, apparently it Scott Ackerman wants the, worth to, the world to implode with, yeah. a, with the ozone layer and all, and all the extra plastics. He he don't care for recycling. And he don't care for a greener earth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Didn't no, live I've, through the depression. Didn't live through rationing. Did you guys? Yeah. Yeah, 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 you guys are really old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell how old you are with how short you are. I was, I went to I was law a jockey. At 50. I was a jockey for forty-seven years. Oh my gosh! So no, I do care about these things. I'm just wondering: are you, are you independently wealthy? How do you how do, how do you make this your? Yeah, if yes. you don't charge, oh, you are. No, yeah. Oh, we we come We're from very, big money. We're very from our well. dear dearly departed mother. It was so unique. so sad the uh, way she the had to go. It was the worst. The way she had. It was to maybe die. the the most sad moment in my life. Oh yeah, I very sad. Hear well, about it. you know uh, that what's that thing they say about in the in the theater? Mm-hmm. If a gun appears in the first act, mm-hmm. someone gonna get shot by the third act, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, if you got two sons who are in the horse fighting business. <laughs> You gonna get punched by a horse and die? <laughs> it's that old. It's that, <laughs> that old tale. Old, that no, I, but you've n- heard it a thousand times. But neither of you have been punched and died. You're just saying your mom. Oh was. no, we no. got we got we got a head on our shoulder. We yeah. don't get in between two no, no, angry horses not unless I got a whip in my hand. Oh okay. So but your or mom, my brother, to whisper. <laughs> but your mom did though. Mom's unfortunately yes. Yeah, she she come out she, she come out back, of the barn. She came back. Yeah, and uh, from. 
she saw one of her favorite horses mm-hmm. out there in the ring about to fight. And we're mm. starting the fight. Yeah. Uh, and I'm out there. I'm out there. Uh, I'm out there on the on the blowhorn, and I'm saying, you got to laugh. Sure. And mom comes screaming out of the barn, come mm-hmm. running out in the ring. Lordy, lordy. And she says, you got to stop this fight. Now, that's my fight. Uh, that's my favorite horse. Oh, now, oh, you ain't you ain't gonna inherit a fortune from all that B taffy <laughs> family. Oh, you guys that's, are the B taffy people. The, the, the B taffy Calvin. The Calvins of B taffy. Mm-hmm. That's right. The B taffy fortune. Yeah. So she said, "I let this horse fighting go on long enough, but now you got my favorite horse out there, and he's uh, gonna die. Mm-hmm. Uh, and his name is Randy the horse, mm. and." I am stopping this fight whether you like it or not. Oh, no. And we said, Mom, get out of the Don't pit. do that, Mama. Mm. Don't get in front of that punch. You're acting stupid, you, Mom. Mm. You're going to die. This is a poor decision. This is a, this is a, oh. This is a nonsense. Uh, 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 oh, balls. Uh, come here, Mom. Get Randy, out of there. Randy, you come with me this second to the stable. And then, <laughs> plow. <laughs> Was that Randy the horse that threw the punch? Yes. Oh, Randy the horse favorite. killed our mama. Yeah, favorite. Randy the horse, uh, interestingly enough, went on to win 37 straight horse fights after wow. that. He sounds good. I yeah, mean, oh, he was great. Greatest, the greatest horse Waste, fighter ever. Wasted the best punch I've ever seen on mama, dear. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't shoot him after he killed your mother. Oh. You can't shoot a horse. You can't no. shoot a horse. Right, you no. can. It's just against God's su- will. He, he was a superstar. He was the Muhammad Ali of horse fights. Oh, that's right. I, how early was that in your horse fighting career, by the way, when your mom when your mom got uh, oh that's hit second and died. week second, second week. week and you guys still continued? Yes, we had. It, it was a, you know you get a bee in your bonnet and you know you gotta wear that hat until it dies. You gotta do what you love and you gotta laugh. <laughs> you yeah. gotta laugh. Yeah, you get that bee taffy going in your bonnet. Bee taffy in yeah. your bonnet yeah. and yeah. well, that's part of our process. Don't be giving away any family <laughs> oh, family recipes. This is like giving away God. the seven <laughs> herbs and spices. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, guys, this is uh, inc- an in- incredible story. Oh, it's a pleasure to talk to you, Scott Ackerman. Two incredibly old men and incredibly short. Incredibly short old man who promotes. Incredibly short, horse weird fights. old man. Yeah, who seems. You must be 90 years old at this oh, point. Oh, thereabouts. Give or take. I give get, or take. Uh, get out your calculator. A phone lady again. never tells. Mm. <laughs> I ain't no lady. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not mean to intimate that you were a lady right. by saying that you were an old person. <laughs> yes. What's so the question remains: Are we going to see you at the fight tonight, Scott? At the Alcorn? Twilight fight. Where do you? Where are you having the fight? That's important. It, I, it's out, it's just out in the field. Yeah, the field. <laughs> what field, though? The, I mean, the because field, horse fight fields. Keep oh. you, where they have the uh, Calvin's Bee Honey horse fight field. Okay. Yes. 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 Just keep driving until there's less and less buildings. Okay. Take six oh five. Just take the six oh five to okay. the six oh six. Okay. <laughs> Keep on going. To the 607. To the 607. Yeah. Till that turns back into an interstate, Cal- Calvin's Boulevard. Mm-hmm. And then you know you're in the right place. You're, you're in the right place because you're about to get back on the 608. Because the 608 <laughs> comes right round, right round from where you didn't think it was coming you gotta from. Be, sure. You got to be careful with that because it's <laughs> no. the only the only highway. That turns in into the, an interstate it, and back into a highway. It's a roundabout. Oh, just a complete circle? circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And if you can't, it's a very sneaky exit. It's camouflage. Why you'll, would one exit at all, one, one might wonder. You'll miss it. Yeah, well, for the horse fight. Oh, okay, yeah. How long does it take to get there? This sounds like a lengthy process. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 hey, Siri. Yeah. Siri. <laughs> Siri, how how long does it take to get to Calvin's Bee Honey horse fight field? About 40 minutes. 40 minutes? That's not too bad. Thank you, Siri. Okay. Considering every place in Hollywood is kind of forty minutes. Away. I mean, so yeah, that's worth not too bad. It, worth worth the drive. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I uh, I might come. You gotta come check it uh, out. We'll, we'll put you in a seat of honor. Uh, you say there'll that be horse jaw blood. It was a bottle cap for the first color. the first sixteen years. How much is it now? Eight bucks. Eight bucks. <laughs> okay. It's reasonable. It's such a good deal. <laughs> you can't. I mean, and, and you know, it's an experience. Car, the the 
Holocaust is not prohibited. I'll tell you what, more than more than the actual fight, you know, maybe maybe you're a pacifist. Mm-hmm. It's just the atmosphere. It's a beautiful yeah, the atmosphere setting. of, of no one there. Beautiful yeah, atmosphere. you get you got your own personal space. There's fresh air in your lungs. Beautiful big sky, fresh the sky, air. The outline of the six oh eight roundabout. Oh, you know, the silhouetted fanfare. by the the setted sun. A lot of bees landing on you. Turns constantly. Be careful to bees. Like, you want to bees. come covered up. <laughs> You is it? Come can up I? Head to toe. Can I ask a question? And this, mm, I mean, I'll allow it. Maybe. Thank you. Do you think these horses are what you consider to be punching because they're yes. being stung by bees constantly? Wow. Uh, there, there's a wh- hmm. what? What? Uh. uh hmm. They're, they're constantly rearing back. They're being huh. stung in the butt. They're on their hindquarters. But they're, then they're, they're sort of flailing they about. They have swollen hooves made to look like boxing gloves. Wait, wait, okay. Now, now we, we never do. talked about this. <laughs> what what the, do you want to talk about, Scotty Ox? Uh, what were you going to say? Well, their hooves are very red, swollen, and round. <laughs> sure, like Muhammad Ali's boxing gloves. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. Mm-hmm. So There's something you're to saying it. that... And we do, and we have a a bee ranch, the giant, mm-hmm. the biggest bee ranch taffy producer in the world, right? To produce all that taffy, and you you're suggesting about seventy million bees that maybe just the they're fighting, hmm. they're being stung, hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. Is what motivates? Are you, do you, yeah, you know what? Here, here's my answer. Uh, no, you may not ask a question. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Withdrawn. Uh, well, guys, thank you so much. We uh, uh, It's fascinating to talk to new people. I enjoyed getting to know you. It's been a pleasure to get to know you. We like you. <laughs> thank you. And, you know, I'd love to talk to you, Chico, someday about law school. But, you know, I mean, I'm sure that was just as fascinating. Anytime. Have me back on your podcast if that's what this is. <laughs> sure, it sure is. Well, why don't we do our last feature on the show, which is something everyone enjoys and everyone mm-hmm. skips to. It's a little something we call plugs. Hey, go plug yourself. 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 Ah, that is Hickey Hickey with Hey, go plug yourself. Thank you so much, Hickey Hickey, for that wonderful plugs theme. If you have a plugs theme, go head on over to Earwolf.com and put it in the appropriate comedy bang bang thread, and you can be famous for a week in Hickey Hickey. Great job, my man. And uh, what do we have to plug here, guys? Obviously, you have uh, the old B Ranch. We got the B Taff here. We mm-hmm. got the the pre dawn and twilight horse fights mm-hmm. two times a day. <laughs> Twice a day horse fights. Mm-hmm. They last about four seconds, but you'll see five of them in a row usually. Roughly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, of course, uh, have my line of uh, legal textbooks. <laughs> we haven't even spoken about that. We didn't get to that, did we? No, we didn't. I'd love to hear about them, though, now in the plugs. Uh, sure. Well, I, I write textbooks for uh, junior college uh Law students, mm. if you're going for your associate's degree in law, <laughs> uh, a surprisingly few number of people are, <laughs> uh, you probably have one of my Chico hands. You're uh, using your pseudonym on, to write these books. It's catchy. Okay. You probably are using one of my textbooks. Uh, it's my line of, of uh, legal textbooks. Uh, called uh, It's the Law, Stupid. Hmm. And uh, I cover everything, but very, very superficially. Okay, great. Wow. And so you'd, it's not really something you can plug because if you're taking these courses, you probably are. Well, hopefully, these more people will now uh, go to law school. Okay. Is that your dream? We need more lawyers. Ah, but wouldn't there. If there were more lawyers, wouldn't there be more more of a chance that someone would sue you for these horse shenanigans that you have? Oh, uh, you uh, you are like a, yeah. just sticking all sorts of bee stingers in our in our, in our, in our, our ways of life. <laughs> oh, don't give away the secrets. Oh, you yeah. are. 
<laughs> he called it horse shenanigans. He's worried. That's he's worried down. about uh, uh, making it a more litigious society. Well, mm -hmm. hmm. From uh, that I could mean, be an you know, unintended consequence. Sure, but education's never a bad thing because no. you gotta laugh and you gotta learn. That's right. That's right. Well, uh, Bever, what do you have to plug? Anything? Oh dear. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking a little me time now <laughs> okay. that the now that the office. Has it run its serious course? Still so. doing all the horse fights, but yeah, you're course, taking a half right, hour a week. I gotta, you know, there's mouths to feed. Yeah. Sure. And mouths to break. Okay. Bever but, gonna do uh, Bever. Right Bever gonna do Bever. <laughs> yeah. For Bever a, gonna do Bever. For a so half hour a week on Thursdays, going, you're gonna do that's Bever. That's right. I do river floats. Oh. I like to just float down river. Have a have a big carbonated drink. Fill my fill my belly full of air bubbles mm -hmm. and just flow downstream. Wow, that sounds great. It's relaxing. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Is there a stream next to the old bee farm there? There he is. Mm. It's also uh Full of dead bees. <laughs> full of dead. Yeah. Full of bee cock It's eye. the one place you can get away from the bees, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, right. Well, it's, they get all brushed to the shore. Yeah. So it's just the most beautiful side you've ever seen. Just just black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow for miles and miles as you float. Yeah. Float on down. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. beautiful lazy river. That's rhythm. what that song is about. I, I didn't that's know. That's right. It's about that's bees. Right. Yeah, dead yeah, bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dead and bees. Then, in a river. And then, Snoop Dogg. Uh no, probably two chains. Two chains took that song and said, hey, "I'm gonna make this about your B taffy. I'm gonna make this about horse fight. It turned it turn into a uh, Steelers. Then take it, make it about football. Yeah, make it about baseball. Baseball, why don't you? Pittsburgh Pirates. No, thank you very much. What why don't you go uh, plunder the seven seas um, with my bees up to your knees, uh, please, yes. please, and drink my skis." By the way, of course we're talking about Wiz Khalifa when we talk about the rapper. Who, oh, yeah, yeah. Who did Black and Yellow. We were just having what some would fun. You be? Oh, yeah. Snoop Dogg. No, nah, no. Two yeah. Chains. We are just having yeah, some that fun. Was, those were ironic statements. Yes, of course. But he's Snoop Lion now anyway. That's right. Yeah, so we know that, of course. Also, I'll be doing a book signing of my brother's books. Oh, great. He signs all my books. Uh, circus of books. <laughs> Wow, that's fantastic. I'd love to get one of those autographed hey, copies. Feelings. Come on by. I'm proud of my brother. Ugh. Though I do hate him in the ring. <laughs> uh, I want to plug, hey, thanks to Blake Duckworth. That sounds like a fake name. I mean, you guys have fake names. Is he related names. to Scrooge? <laughs> Blake, uh, thanks so much for donating $100 to CBB. That's so kind oh, of you. That's, that's nice of you, Blake. A little something special coming to you. Ooh. And what do I want to plug? Oh, the uh, Comedy Bang Bang Season 1 TV show DVD comes out Tuesday. Uh, you can get that in all your stores, Amazon, order it. A lot of special stuff on there. It's the first 10 episodes uh, we did. Uh, commentaries for each episode, including uh, all the characters come on and, and do them with me. We have deleted scenes, deleted interviews, a supercut of Reggie's music, uh, and that is really cool. That is out on Tuesday. Everyone buy it up, and hopefully we can release more. And great, that's it. Let's close up the old plug bag. Closing up the plug bag. Brow. Ah, uh, guys, a successful show for uh, another week. I'm so glad you guys came in here. I was uh, I was dying on the vine. Very very happy to be here. Well, uh, dying how so? Meaning I was uh, not doing well, uh, just talking by myself. Oh, uh, dear me. My oh. guests ab abandoned me for the second show. Oh. They've done this to you before. They have, With yeah. no guarantee of, uh, of sitting around. They give me a 100% guarantee, but that's not a 100%. They didn't give you 110%? No. No. They're Shanghai. Yeah. That's a Shanghai. Uh, They're flip-floppers. I don't know. But not, yeah. the, not the double flip-floppers flip where they don't flip-flop. hoppers we got, Wiz Khalif loppers. <laughs> yep. We got Cindy Scotty Ockham and saying flip-floppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally. So that was your main goal. Aside from all the lawyers, getting more lawyers. and yeah. Well, guys, uh, Bever, a.k.a. Smith, and Chico, a.k.a. Jones, the Calvin's boys, whole pox in hands. Uh, for another week, I want to thank you guys for coming in. And, uh, Pleasure to be here. Guys, and just come, come keep back laughing. <laughs> you have to. You got to laugh. You do. All right, we'll see you next Bye. week. Bye. <laughs> they, they just jumped on horses and... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that horse is punching that other horse. <laughs> oh. Oh. Chico got punched in the throat. Oh, no. 
uh, let's not delay it any further. Let's get right to them. Uh, their names are Bever Hopox and Chico Hands. They are collectively known as the Calvin's Twins. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Ackerman. Scotly, Scotly, my boy. Welcome back to the show, guys. Oh, pleasure Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. I'm feeling tickled, pickled, right rickled, and 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 and, and, and Jack McNichol. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. So you feel Don Rickled as well as Jack? Well, I'm jabbering and gibbering and burning and zinging and zapping. And <laughs> before we get up to all that, I brought you brought you a fresh. Fresh jug of Calvin Twins beef farm horse fighting field honey. Oh my God! Oh, put that on your oh, toast. That is heavy. My you goodness! You put that right there on your toast. That's is this a five gallon jug of honey. Is this a lifetime supply? Would you say? <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a sad <laughs> lifetime if you only go through five I, gallons. You better be scooping handfuls by the end of this episode. Oh, okay. oh. I apologize. Drink guys. it down. Uh, Coat the throat. <laughs> okay, certainly. I, I have been known to get a touch of laryngitis here and there, so I appreciate sure. this. Oh, that'll, that'll you, take you care of it your right pipe, quick. You, yeah, you, you, you're using your pipes for a living. Mm-hmm. I Yes, exactly. Talking on this podcast. And that's I use funny. my pipes at home as well whenever I take big shits. So uh, that's... <laughs> can, can, can I pour it down there? <laughs> Will it help with that? <laughs> Please put it in your bottom. Yeah. It, it declogs, I guess I'm... trogs, flip flogs, <laughs> sits on logs, hops round frogs. This honey will take care of everything. It's interesting. All that, purpose. Yes. It's interesting that frogs mm. sit on logs. Is yes. it? I mean, that's very convenient. It's true. It's like yeah. humans should sit on 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 boomage. Yeah. If you're like a soft rice. <laughs> <Stoomans. Yes. laughs> So, guys, welcome back to the show. I mean, yeah, I thank you for having us. Such I a pleasure to be have here. not seen neither hide nor hair of you, and that's uh, a horse term. Yes. Well done, well done. Yeah, we've been back in the saddle. You, you know how busy we are, attend, you know, uh, promoting fights. Certainly, a- attending births. Yes, burying horses. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Last time you were on Getting the show. Getting horses out of the dead horse freezer. <laughs> right. Because yeah, we yeah. have a backlog. Yep. I mean, it's gotten so complicated because now there's a thawing process. Before, oh, before right. we would dig, we would bury the horses straight out the freezer. Right. And they were freezing the ground. They were killing the crops. Oh, I see. And it's the a crops touch... were getting frozen from underneath. I see. Because due to the just giant block of frozen dead Huge horse. Huge yeah. frozen blood, horse blood yeah, let me, seeping into the manure. Let me explain exactly what these guys guys do uh, uh Chico Hands and yes. and Bever Hopox. That's me. Uh, and you're known as the Calvin's twins. I'm That's not right. sure. You right. guys are twins. <laughs> My brother from another mother from the same parents. The same father and mother. <laughs> Born at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Correct. <laughs> right. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder, right out of mama. We Wait. came out sideways, like yeah. a like a Red Rover. Yeah, how did you guys let's, fit? Let's, let's just say our manners came late to us. <laughs> because <laughs> day one, it was me first, me first, me first. <laughs> and we just muscled and shouldered our way out came of out that lady time. hole. That's right, came out the same time. We do everything together. Yeah, that must have been very painful for your mother. Oh, she Killed. complained. She no, complained. Wait. Killed her spirit. Killed her spirit and a sex life. <laughs> and what about her body? <laughs> uh, her body stayed Affected. around. She stayed passed, around. She passed. She passed away sadly uh, uh, during one of our most famous horse fights. Oh, that's As right. You, you we remember. talked about this last time. Uh, yes, you uh, famously uh, remember. Uh, um, uh, McGregor Mayweather of of fights, if you that's will. That's right. Right. It, it was, was Randy the horse, Randy. as I recall. Yes, she was God trying bless. to protect him. That she was wanted. her favorite horse. Mm-hmm. That she was loved. the Muhammad Ali of horses, as yeah, I recall. He still is. He is. He's hey. still around. Randy still the is. horse is still around. Well, he's still got that title. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. The okay. Muhammad Ali of Nobody, horses. Yeah. No. There's no. I didn't realize that was an Ali. actual title. Yes. It is a title. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, wow. that's how we branded him. <laughs> Muhammad Ali was the Randy the horse of guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of just guys, not oh, even boxers. Right. No, <laughs> just fellas. <laughs> just good guys. Just in terms of. His demeanor. So if if, uh, if you are wondering what these guys do, basically they uh, take horses. They're prize horse fighting promoters. You don't train the horses. No, no. don't need to. Don't need to because they- Born fighters. Born fighters. You you go to horse births mm-hmm. yes. around the country to that's find right. specimens that will fight each other. This that's is right. true. That's, that's not bad after 250 episodes to recall. 
We'll call the details and intricacies. Right. Well, it was a very, a very, uh, it, it was an episode that just remains indelible in my memory. We're a boutique industry. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's true. And we still, we still haven't seen you up on our ranch, Scott. We'll have you, you out. out. I forgot exactly time. how to get up there. Where? The directions were very confusing. 605. You got to take the 605. Straight to the 606. That's right. Take it. You got to take it north. That's up on the map. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Head on over to the 607. That's right. 607 going to lead you right to the 608. Make sure you don't miss that. Right. But it's just a circle. It's a roundabout. It just keeps going in a circle. It won't get you anywhere. Okay. It seems confusing, but we always, we always find our way home. It's the only way to get there. <laughs> Well, you guys, a, you guys know how to get there. That's of course, right. you find your way. Yeah, we do. It's confusing for the layperson. That's right. Yeah. Take it around as many times, and that'll shoot you right to the six oh nine, and then you're pretty much right there. Right. On, uh, well, you hop off. Plate. You hop off Calvin Twins Boulevard. Calvin Twins, Boulevard. Calvin right. twins not Calvin's Twins Boulevard. Right. Yeah, they made a typo. Uh, we're still trying to get that <laughs> sign to get reprinted. That S. Right, right. Uh, and then you'll you'll wind up there, and there can't there you can see. Only, only operation in town. Follow the follow the bees and uh, and the smell of horses. That's right. There's a lot of bees there. You guys yeah. have a honey making business, which That's is why right. you brought the honey. Correct. Correct. That's right. Uh, and and that helps with the horse fights, as I recall, because the the bees sting the horses. Yeah. Yeah. Prove, yes. Get them really mad, and also the, get their hooves swollen up, looking Not like right. boxing gloves. Most That's horses are allergic to bee stings, so mm. that's how their their hooves get all swollen and round. Right. And then and then they fight each other. You do about two fights a day. Yep. That's right. Um, two, it, two sessions, a morning session, an evening yeah, session. That, right. And, and on the circuit is about five, five fights. Five fights a day. So that's oh, ten. Title. And, and and it's to the death. Oh, it has to be. Well, it's to the death, of course it is. That it was a rhetorical be. question, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> well, you, I yeah, know. Uh, uh, Scott, I, I welcome you to try to talk some reason into a fighting <laughs> horse to, 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 to listen to the bell and, and yeah. step out the ring like a gentleman. <laughs> ding, <laughs> ding, ding. Happen. <laughs> ding, ding. Ding, ding. Excuse me, horse. Would you please stop punching? I have a little bell here. And ding, ding. ding. And that horse just went punch crazy, and he yeah, kept punching. I guess that that's ridiculous. You don't see a lot of uh, fights to the life, like two dead things fighting, and then one comes back to life. No. Oh. Harry Potter. <laughs> I guess so. There, yeah. In the, are you a big Harry Potter fan, Be- Bever? Uh, I love fan. Harry Potter. He's a big I'm fan. a Hufflepuff. I'm a subscriber to Pottermore. Mm. Uh, 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 just got back from Orlando Universal Studios mm. where oh, they have right. the Diagon, the Nocturne, and the Hogsmeade oh, all in one goodness. location. That sounds it's like for a, pot, for a Potter fan, that sounds like I mean, I heaven. Died and went to heaven. S- speaking of heaven, and when you mentioned a map, uh, north is up. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, uh, it, it, if you go all the way up on a map, do you get to heaven? Is that is like uh, wow. you know Antarctica hell and and the North Pole heaven of of the Earth? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, These are I, philosophical questions. Yeah. I maybe See, you guys now, are just simple horse. You're gonna have me wrestling we're, we're, with that for a long we're time. We're salt now, of the earth. You know, no, you know, uh, foot foot to floor, bread to mouth. A sock to foot. Hoof and mouth. Hoof and mouth. Are you just describing Ju- how you get dressed in the morning? <laughs> That's right. That's, it's a, I'm a simple man. I don't use any Wi-Fi's, jam jars, techno lies, robot zars to try to put on my coat. <laughs> right. I don't think you need Wi-Fi to put on a coat. I, what, I wouldn't well, know. I wouldn't know. What kind yeah. of what underwear do you guys wear? You mentioned socks and shoes. Mm-hmm. Sort of a ruffly breeches. Kind of thing. Big, big, roughly breeches. And, Cream and, and color. Let, let me tell you, they don't make them like they used to, Scott, because these no. are hard to find. These last us a month at a time. Yeah, that's right. Keep Just on. a month. What we don't have to change out of these trousers. Well, we never take them off. That's Keep the thing. On. You wear them straight for, for a month. For an entire month. Until do you, do they you just... soil them and... I mean, well, not I mean, on they're, purpose. There's the, spills. Not, there's this and that. Spills of poop? You got spills. There's, sure. There's skids. <laughs> sure. Okay, okay, you guys are just talking normal SOP, op, you know, standard operating yeah, procedure you for, for, for guys with back. underwear. Uh, n- n- nugget rolls. <laughs> Dribble drabble. <laughs> A, a gentleman's business in his trousers. You know, we're, we're human. We're flesh and bones, Scott Lee. Sure. But... Gosh, we breathe nice in these roughly trousers. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, you're wearing them right now. Roughly yeah. silken breeches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. When where did you, where do you buy them? You mentioned that they're hard to come uh, by. We now. have yeah. a we uh, have a, a uh, an, older an older lady, lady. who sews mm-hmm. them up for us. Just had a, a sewing machine. Barbara, 
That's Barbara. Right. Barbara Badung. Barbara Badung. <laughs> we pay her in honey, and she's mm-hmm. happy for it. Happy. How much honey does it take to get one pair of breeches? We do a five-gallon jug a month. Re- okay, it's so. A fair swap. For two, for, uh, two pair. Two pair. Two pair. Okay. One five-gallon jug. So w- if I were to go to Barbara Badung uh-huh. with my five-gallon jug now, I could well, get- Well, you're going to give away that we gave it as a gift. Yeah, but maybe I could get some, some of these Talk breaches. About, yeah, oh. but you're getting two pairs. You're greedy. You're not, you're not going to wear two well. pairs at once. One pair's good enough to last you to the moon. <laughs> sure, but it both don't disintegrate at the end of the month. I we can don't then, know. I can, <laughs> we've never found <laughs> out. Haven't tried it. Okay, I, I'm just saying I could have a two-month supply. That's, okay, maybe. Sure, sure. <laughs> All right. Ackerman, Stands innovating. to reason. Innovating. Stands mm-hmm. to reason. So, guys, you, uh, of course, these are fights to the death, and that's why there there are so many horse deaths on your conscious, mm-hmm. consciences mm, uh, right. and so many uh, burials and a big backup that's of right. these. Uh, and right. now there's a thawing process. Uh, yep. Yep. You get Slowing them at things down. Yeah. room temperature, or do you try to get them hot like a steak or... It's a seasonal thing, you know. You can yeah. get a bit cooler corpse mm-hmm. in the winter time, but uh, you, you know that 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 corpse gonna heat right up in the summer. In the summertime, so you, you don't have to worry about it. But uh, what did you say something about? Oh, I was how? wondering if you if, if when you thaw them, do you try? Is it like a yeah. microwave process where you're just trying to get them room temp or well, we ground, try to ground temp. Yeah, we, ground we, temp. We did try to construct a horse microwave big yeah, enough. That's true. And you know I'm a tinkerer. <laughs> sure, I go of into course. My workshop. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how to make an actual microwave, let alone well, a horse-sized a, one? I read a book and I took apart an old microwave. Which, did a fabulous which job. Which book was this, by the way? A, a book about making microwaves. Mm-hmm. And what was it? Do you remember the title of it, though? Oh, God. Uh, microwavery? Uh, making microwaves? No, that was right. It was about how to make popcorn. And so it didn't help me one bit. <laughs> right. And I'm stuck a with all book these on parts. That. Yep. Uh, I'm stuck with all these parts and these screws, and I, I put it together. It looked kind of like a microwave, mm-hmm. but it sure. didn't do Had anything. the shape. Right, you yes. got the box part. Yeah, it was sure. a rectangle. That's, I would think that would be the easy part of making You'd a microwave. Think. Well, the shape of it. Well, I, you'd be right. It I was very you. simple. <laughs> I implore you, have at it. If it sounds so simple, please have at it and ship us a horse microwave because we could use one. I, I'm not saying that I could do the other parts of it. I just the oh. the, the basic shape is, okay. seems like that's step one. All right, yeah. So I did the easy part. Yeah. All right, I get that. Step two, maybe attaching a movable door. That would be slightly harder than I, making. A, yes, I did that too. You did that. As well, with a yeah. hinge. Okay, and Big then old hinge. did you lead horses in? Uh, uh, I mean, you can't do that to water, but can you lead them into a horse-shaped microwave? That's a clever. That's a clever you, uh, phrase there. Yeah, but you can't make them zap. <laughs> that's you, right. You can lead a horse to an oversized microwave. <laughs> But, but you can't, can't make them zap. You can't make them zap. You well, can't nuke them. Especially if it's not functional. Yeah. Well, also, you can't make them zap because the buttons are on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> so you lead a horse to a microwave, an oversized microwave. You can't make them zap. They're right. inside the microwave. That's right. Also, you forgot the part where we weren't trying to cook live horses. Nah, we just were thaw. reheating, thawing frozen dead horses. We're not, I did forget that. Yeah, we're not that cruel. <laughs> yeah, we're not monsters over here. Have you ever thought about making a giant microwave, oversized yes. microwave with buttons on the inside? Side so people oh, could go in there and cook themselves. Oh, people, horses, whatever you want. Oh, wow. oh. Like that. That might be if if there were ever a horse who wanted to forfeit a match instead wow. of being killed. You could say you can forfeit, uh, but you'll have yeah. to go inside the microwave and, have to and go enter in- four digit code. <laughs> right. And yes. make, make your peace with like sixty nine sixty nine. Maybe right. that's a good one. <laughs> you go you get in there and zap yourself. Sure. If you want to forfeit, that's up to you. We could give that as an option to some of the horses if they wanted to. But. Sure, we're looking for we're looking for all the help we can get. Because let me tell you, Scott Lee, the horse fighting industry is 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 in utter chaos. Oh no, it's I, been I, it's been thrown thrown into a vortex. Yeah, uh, up is down, right is left. Uh, oh no, night is mid afternoon. The North Pole is Antarctica. Exactly Dusk right. Dusk is twilight. Oh my goodness! For, for generation, look, we're we're getting on. Are you a Twilight age. fan, by the way? Oh, he mentioned gosh, Twilight. I love Loves Twilight. Stuff. Stephanie Meyer. It just she tap, she taps into the human heart. What about like Nancy you. Myers? Um, yeah, a little privileged. <laughs> The kitchens kitchens are amazing. I don't know if the comings and goings of Montecito are as relatable (laughs) to a humble horse fight promoter such as myself. Tough to relate. That new Reese Witherspoon one looks kind of good, though. I might check that out. By her daughter? Yes. Oh, that's right. That's That's, a daughter. Well, but Nancy produces it. So it's got a fresh take. Yeah. 
Um, so uh, you were saying, so th- this is this is incredible because I haven't seen you guys for a while, and I mm-hmm. I assumed right. I assumed that that's because you're so busy because the horse fighting industry is having that's a boom a time. That's yeah. a part of it. Yeah, but that, that is a part of it. Mm-hmm. That it, there is a boom time. It is just. <laughs> Fully consuming. <laughs> it is, uh, but I thought you said that it also is not doing well. No, well, no, not 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 that it's not doing well. Wow. Just 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 in that 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 the uh, it's the waters have been diluted. Yeah, I the see. waters have been tainted. Yeah, this. But yeah, horse fighting has has been a prestigious, uh, honorable, mm. classy. Yeah. You see, you don't seem to be adding much, Chico, as much as just noises. Come on, I'm doing my Chico thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were doing your Chico thing. Yeah, I, I apologize. It's fun. Yep. It's it's safe. Mm. It, it makes you ask questions about no. yourself. Mm-hmm. He's doing his Chico thing. That's right. Wow. But, but lately, people don't know where to turn because because yes. uh, some amateurs, yeah. some uh, some no good blib blobbing, schlib schlobbing, flip uh, flopping, flip flopping, himmel himmel dobbing, uh, glipler di- dipler dloplin Bever, fools. Bever, I, I have to say your your yeah. rhymes since you've come here on this episode. Yeah, y- your rhyme game seems to be a little off. I'm riled up. <laughs> I'm a little. This riled is you riled up, up because oh, you seem yeah. deadly calm. No, I know. I, 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 Wait, can I take I go your in. your uh, I go your inside. blood pressure right yes, now? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> that. Oh my gosh, you're cool as ice right now. You yeah. you don't seem riled up at all. At all. This is this is just normal. Oh my god. Wait. What's happening? It's rising. I'm oh my losing. god. I'm losing the oh way to live, Scott. Oh my god. <laughs> Eight hundred over twenty. <laughs> Oh my God! Calm, calm down, down! Calm down! Calm, calm down! Can, can you give me that honey? Tree? Give me that honey! Oh, here's the honey. Go. Here's oh. all of it. Oh all my of God! It down. There you go. Oh my God! He's drank all of it. There you go, Beva. There goes my two month supply of <laughs> breaches. Well, we'll, we'll ship, ship one. We'll out. ship you another. We'll one. ship one out. We'll okay. ship you another one. Thanks. Uh, do I have to pay for uh, shipping? You will Absolutely. have to pay for shipping. Yes. How much is shipping on a five gallon? Five. <laughs> Well, it's an agricultural product. How quick? How and quick? So do you, you want got to lie on the thing where it says, "Are you shipping a, a you know, a right?" So there's a good. There's like a tax for goods. that. Uh, there's a tax for lying, <laughs> and we got to pay off the right uh, the letter carrier. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the inspector general and the uh, and yeah. the uh, postmaster general. Got to grease all those. Balls. The attorney general. So the attorney general. It's oh, going to cost us, you. Don't get us started no. on that cracker. Everybody's everybody's <laughs> oh, looking at handouts. He is. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, how much? How much are we talking? The shipping's going to be one hundred seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five big yeah. ones. Oh man, for worth a five, it. five gallon. Five gallon. That's worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll go. Or ahead. stop by the ranch. Come, Come by. Come on pick now. Six oh five. Six oh six. I, I can't. I can't keep this kind of information in my brain. All right. How to get there? It's All just right. very difficult for me. So, so the the industry is at a crossroads. Mm. It would seem a lot like got the location of your ranch. Yes, we got some competition. Is some what's competition. Going on. Yes, because you guys have have kind of had uh, a reign that has been unrivaled in horse fighting, as far as I can tell. I don't know a lot about the sport. Uh, primarily, you know as much as anyone who is not either of us <laughs> right. or our mother, well, who is now dead. I, I'm sorry about that. I, I'm sorry to keep bringing uh, that up. Although I guess you did. I brought it. Up. But uh, I, I know as much about the sport as anyone who's ever listened to your particular episode of this show. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, right. a, a lot of deaths, approximately ten deaths per per day, 70 deaths per week. Yep. Uh, we're talking about 350 or so deaths per year. It I mean, is, you guys hit per- is a, an, a glamorous <laughs> but hostily tragic sport. Right. You, you and guys that's have, part of the appeal. Right. And, and horse fighting is inherently of the Calvin's twins. We, 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 we thought of it. We right. thought of it, yeah. We, we made it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. We put... Money into promoting it, into building a facility for it. How much money have you put into this? This, I mean, oh, God. Oh, over like, all the like years, from day one, from like, day like, one, initial yeah. initial investment. Well, it's, it's the day you thought of it, seven billion dollars, something like <laughs> seven, seven billion, billion dollars. dollars, and that for for that number of horse deaths too. Yes. 
I mean, you're, I, uh, yeah, I can imagine you're yeah, paying. Not a, not a great return thus far. <laughs> no. Not we're, at all. We're, we're, we're barely breaking even. Yeah. You're breaking even? On, Keeping our head above on water. On interest, and oh. that's mostly because of honey sales. Gotcha. Okay, right. Just yeah. treading water, just mm-hmm. hanging in there just there, a little bit. Is there a stadium that you guys have built on oh, your ranch? Beautiful. There's a stadium. We Stay built a Hall of Fame for ourselves <laughs> oh, as well. Inducted each other in the first year. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> what was the ceremony like? I, I'd love to hear just a recreation of sure. you guys. Oh, inducting sure, each other beautiful, into the beautiful right. ceremony. It was the two of us, our mother, Randy was in attendance. Yes. Randy was there. Randy wow, was. All, Muhammad Ali of horses. That's mm-hmm. right. All of the horses who were alive on that given day mm-hmm. were there in attendance. Sure. Yeah. As, as well All as of the it, horses on earth that were alive? No, no, no. All the fighting horses. Oh, oh fighting on horses. Earth. On, on earth, earth. Were there. That were alive on that day, yeah. right. which was roughly eight Eight. Yes. Okay, so there are yeah. only eight alive at that point. At since, any given right. time. Since then, I would imagine thousands of horses have we'll, been killed. We're working well, on the been, yeah. so, you know. They've uh, been born, uh, and sure. then they've been killed. Yeah. Right, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. so uh, let me hear, maybe, Chico, a little bit of you inducting oh, yes. inducting Bever and vice versa. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's up like this? Uh, lady. That's my mother. <laughs> and gentleman. Yes, sir. And all your horses <laughs> on this wonderful, great, sunshiny day. It is my great privilege to He's induct great twice already. into the great Hall of Fame <laughs> in the sport of horse fighting. What a great sport it is it's really to make the, to the first well, induction into this great Hall of Fame. It is my great Privilege and my great honor to induct into this Hall of Fame my dear brother, my best friend, and my worst frenemy. The one, the only, Mr. Bever Hopox. Oh, oh, my <laughs> Speech, speech, <sighs> speech. Today, day, 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 day. I consider, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, myself, self, 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 the luckiest, luckiest, luckiest horse fighting promoter, motor, 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 ever to ex- enter, enter, enter the horse fighting hall of fame, 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 fame. Let me turn down the reverb on this. Hold on. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. They said it wasn't possible. They said it didn't exist. And today, I, myself, and my great brother, I live and prove that dreams can come true, that with a, a, a dream and a little bit of elbow grease and an investment of $250 million. That's to start? This, yeah, you wanted, this was you back wanted it back then when oh, we started. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, so yeah, another yeah. 750 plus a billion <laughs> has already been. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, wow. wait, wait, wait yeah. how many? How six. Many? Seven it, billion, six, you said? Yeah, seven six, billion. Six billion, so two hundred and seven hundred and fifty million. million. Oh, my God. Sales. But this is the you know, 90 years old, Scott. We're no spring chickens. <laughs> well, you were 90 last time I I talked to you. you must, right. Yeah, you're. Uh, well, 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 now we're 90. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. A gentleman likes to keep some secrets. <laughs> 95. Uh, we are 95. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, and and actually, it's it's good you interrupted me there because after that I just said thank you. Oh, okay, right. And, right, then, and then I turn and then I said, and now it is my great pleasure mm-hmm. to introduce a man who, uh, it, it, though small in stature, yeah, mm. is tall in viciousness. It's weird he's negging you in in his it, introduction. Is <laughs> so why why bring up how short you are? Yeah, also well, cause because we're the same damn height. Right. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it was sort of like a like a passive compliment to myself. You know, not much was expected from us Calvin's twins. We're mm, known for our passive compliments. Yeah, I've, I've never. I didn't bring this up. That you guys are very short. You guys are how how tall are you? Uh, you're about four foot nine four, in lifts. That's right. Yeah, and how how big are the lifts? Well, look. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, my. Those are giant. Yeah. So you guys are yeah. about half a jockey apiece. Yeah. yeah these are I, was, I was a jockey myself. That's that. That was right. I was I did. I performed in one race. Mm-hmm. The horse 
Let me down, I swear it. I swear I'll kill you, horse. Yeah. Wait, so this has all been a revenge play? What? In no, some ways. No, that was just the racing horse. Okay. But it was the spark of an idea. It oh, was the spark gosh. the spark to the flame. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys are so short, in fact, that you would have to get on each other's shoulders and put like a mini trench coat around each other just to like audition for the movie Willow. We did. <laughs> really? Yeah, we you did, did that very thing. Oh, That's, yeah. I don't know why I thought of that, but were we, you, it was not were a small. spying it, on us? It was not a big, co- big part. It was for Vodka, the warrior. I don't know if you remember. I don't remember. They, no. they went ethnic. <laughs> I saw it opening night and then I've never seen it again. Got it, yeah. Uh, vodka, we, we, you know, we, we, there weren't a ton of lines, but there was a great scene at the crossroads. Oh, right. When, uh, when uh, Matt bought again. <laughs> introduces mm. himself and he's in the cage at the crossroads. Okay, right. And yeah. uh, very, 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 very tender scene where, where Willow and his best friend decide to stay behind and take right. care of the Dakini baby. Oh, I see. So who would have gotten to perform the head parts of those scenes? Chico. Chico would have done it, That's really. right, yes. He did a Even though you job. seem to know so much about There's it. There's a lot. Yeah, well, I'm unfamiliar with the movie entirely. I was the one who was off book, you know, reading, reading, reading. He, all oh, so you were whispering. Yeah, you would say the lines right up my pooper, I'll be essentially, because right. he that's where I was. Willow, if you want, we'll stay behind. Willow, if you want, we'll stay behind. <laughs> one wonders why you didn't just switch if you knew the lines. Is it because? Camera shy. Uh, I just can. I, 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 I get all tongue tied. I get all bashful. Get all fumble jumbly. Stop. I start. I start Getting flushed like a like a bleeding horse like after a, a one two combo punch to the horse mouth. Oh right. my gosh! Well, uh, well, this is fascinating, guys. I mean, yep. uh, uh, I, I gotta I gotta go visit your stadium at some point. Are there luxury boxes? Yeah. And, yes, uh, there yes. are. We State s- of the art. Yeah, we a- spent a billion ever, dollars on luxury boxes. Anyone ever sit in them? Not at once. <laughs> Not one time. Do you have to like stock up the food on them? We just haven't in been case? back inside. There's mm-hmm. been no need. Really? <laughs> yeah, I hope that fridge is still, that mini fridge is still working. I don't know. We haven't checked on it. Why spend a billion dollars and then only make a mini fridge? Get a, get a regular one. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you make some good points. Is this just because of you guys' stature? Uh, we, ha- to us, yeah, a mini probably. fridge is yeah. just a fridge. Maybe we were duped. <laughs> yeah. So to you, like, mini me is just me. We call him right. me. <laughs> Vern Troyer. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, guys, it's confusing. It's it's very confusing. So, if you're ever like, no, me, you're talking about Vern Troy. Always. <laughs> okay, great. We, okay, I'll keep that in mind for the rest if of the we're episode. Referring to ourselves, we always say I. <laughs> okay, yeah. but me and, and I that that cookie. Yeah. So when you went to see the film, me, myself, and Irene, oh, we, we were, were very fucked. disappointed. <laughs> and disappointed. We were. So- <laughs> we were confused. The ticket yeah. taker was. Right. Baffled. Because then you have Jim Carrey, who's one of the taller movie stars. Yes. Yeah. He's a lanky fellow. Yeah. And, and, and there's no Vern. And then there was no us. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You expected to be in the I film expected. with Vern Troyer. That's yes. right. Yeah. Yeah. What about- We wh- did audition for it, actually. Uh, oh, we did, did audition. Yeah. Did you get on top of each other? Yes, we did. Put way. on a trench coat. Yeah. What are some of the audition lines that you used on that? Were you oh, off book for that uh, as well? Certainly. Well, no, he yeah. helped me out. Yeah. Well, we, we auditioned for the lead role. <laughs> That's right. Really? Of, of what was his name again? <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, right. Yes. <laughs> So you were surprised. You auditioned for it, but when yeah. you saw it, you were surprised that Vern Troyer did not get the role. Uh, we, uh, it you didn't know make what? sense you to get, us. Again, yeah, I get all caught up, and the opportunity yeah. presents itself, and I, I, I wasn't thinking straight. But I can imagine uh, you left the audition just saying, well, I assume Vern Troyer will get this role. It, we we assume that every back. time, yeah. yeah. Do you audition a lot? It's, uh, you, you've been on two auditions just in passing anecdotally. Yeah, not mm-hmm. as much as we used to. Uh, mm-hmm. not, yeah. uh, not too frequently. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are, are you? Uh, how frequent is frequent? Like because I know you have your horse fights in the morning and in right. the evening. Yeah. So we don't much uh, get an opportunity. We don't. We don't much have the time for it. Uh, it's been right. a number of years actually since uh, oh, really? since an audition. We would sort of set time aside in the year. Yeah. We'd mm. give ourselves a couple months around pilot season. <laughs> okay. Right. Set up shop at the Oakwood. Oakwood apartment. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you? Were you at the Oakwoods when they burned down Griffith Park? Those kids set off the fireworks and burned down Griffith Park. Uh, yes. Oh, wait, those, kids wait, those, those kids. Those kids. Yes, the kids. Oh, wait a minute. Those wait a minute. kids. I guess they just said they were kids because they were approximately three feet in Yeah, night. it's ki- Anything's only possible. kids like fireworks. We'll never know. <laughs> okay. Well, are you guys offer only now? 
essentially offer yeah. only at this yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. But we haven't worked in a while. Did a guest no. spot on an episode of Riptide. That was a number of years ago. Oh, yeah, that was in the 80s. It was a long time ago. Yeah, my gosh. But we've been alive for a long time because yeah. we're 95. Yeah, that's true. Well, guys, I, I want to get into why there's so much uh, competition with you oh. now. We, we do need to take a yeah. break oh. before we get to that. Is that sure. okay? Can, yes. can you, uh, uh, I, I know you're raring to talk about this. Yes. Sure. We could take a break. Yeah, your blood pressure, by the way, I've been I've been Calm tracking down. it. Calm down, and it's Shh. it's rising now. Oh. The minute I said we had to take a break. <sighs> Settle down there. Settle uh, down there, Bever. Bever, please, just calm down. Please don't scream the entire time we're doing commercials. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do my best. All right. We, we, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more from the Calvin's Twins. After this, we'll be right back. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Uh, Bever Hopox, Chico Hands, known collectively as the Calvin's Twins, horse promoters. And Bever has been trying to stifle a scream the entire the entire commercial. Uh, it, it appears he's calmed down now. Settle yourself, Bever. Uh, now, now, guys, uh, you are the owners and proprietors of a seven billion dollar business. Uh, you've created a stadium out there on mm-hmm. the uh, farm where mm-hmm. you sell honey, primarily sell yeah. honey, it appears. That's right. Be honey. And, and you uh, preside over thousands and thousands of horse deaths a year, uh, and, and not to mention horse births, uh, where horses fight to the death. Um, it doesn't seem like you're getting a lot of foot traffic, let alone car traffic or bicycle traffic. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. But you mentioned that there are there's a lot of competition within the sport these days. Ex- exactly what do you mean by this? Yes. Well, you know, I I don't want to lay blame at your doorstep entirely, Scott. But at my is, doorstep. It was our appearances on your That's podcast. Right. He taught us what the word podcast That's right. was. Exactly. Well, that's right. right. I remember I, right before we taped, I sat you down. Yeah. Yes. And I we had just a quick just a quick session mm-hmm. where I taught you this word Broke and it its definition. Right. That's sure. Right. The the you know entomology of it. Fishing. Mm-hmm. Had nothing to do with uh, uh, the, the, the jolly green giants. Exactly. None of that. Yeah. None of it. We we went through what it didn't. Yeah. What what, what, it, what it didn't. Yeah. Do, is, yeah. I'm sorry. We're oh, doing a. Oh, you get out of here! You get out of here! You don't want to get out of here! Wait, who's this? We're doing a. You get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Wait, who is this? Get out of here! You seem to know this interloper. Well, I, I'm sorry, we're doing a session here, excuse sir. Excuse me. You can't just impl- Scott, excuse me. Go ahead and stop recording right now. You will do no such thing. Wait, uh, oh. Sir, Scott Lee, it's nice to meet your acquaintance. Uh, sir, hey, who? Uh, I'll uh, tell you who I am. Your, yeah. And the words come out of my mouth and not yours. Oh, uh, Lord, I've been hey. putting words in and out of mouth since before you was a whipper sprap up to a grasshopper's knee sock. Bisbee St. Hancock. Ah. Bisbee St. Hancock? That's my name. Uh-oh. And I'm new to the horse fighting business, but I'm not new to horses, and you know that. Uh-huh. Y'all know that, don't you, Beva? We refer you, to Chico. him pejoratively as Bisbee St. Horsecock. <laughs> How do you like that? I'll take that. A horsecock is huge, and it shoots long ropes of semen. Dad, but you don't have one. Just you're, you're no, no, it's too late. No, you already no, told me the name. Wait, are you, you saying, said it. Are you You've, saying he oh, has one, or no, he, he, on, he, his I whole body one. resembles Your whole one. body is a dick. You're saying but I have one. But he has a tiny human one. No, I don't. <laughs> it's like a nub, I bet it is. That's not true. That's not true. It's fine. So like a tiny human dick no. on, a, on a giant horse cock? Yes. No, you are, the nickname is horse cock. Yes. That's fine. Listen, I spring from I, bank. I was listening already. You don't need to tell me to. Well, how are you listening when you got froth coming out of your mouth? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been trying to get some of this honey. Trying to what? Trying to, I, I, I've Close been trying to get lips. the leftover honey that Bever. Originally, I was one of the birthers, and they'd come to my farm. <gasps> Oh, wait, that's not the surprising part? No, I've got 45 more minutes in this. <laughs> okay, sorry. I preemptively gasped. Well, that's all right. Okay, go ahead. He, he was a breeder. A breeder. He was a breeder. He was a horse pimp. No. At best. I call it birther. Horse pimp. I would go from the time that the horse had nothing inside, and I would inseminate the large bucket of animal semen. I'd push it up in there. You, you Push it in the nighttime. How would you gather semen buckets? I'd go down. Let alone what was inside them. A little thing you don't know. If you mix all the semen from all different animals together, including human men. Yo! 
Wait, should I have gasped then? <gasps> there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> There it is. Okay. You yeah, please make... just let me know in the future when I'm supposed to gas. All right, I will. All right, thank you. And then you'd put it all together in a bucket, mix it up like a cake mix. Mm. You'd shove it up inside. Mm. And then the gestation period is about four to 12 months. You can gasp. <laughs> uh, Wait, why is that? I mean. I, I'm learning to. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not very surprising. That's... And then I'd wait, and then the horse would come out. And these two sons of bitches would come in because we had an agreement and they were allowed to look right in that horse's eyes and they'd steal some of my babies away. We paid you handsomely. That's and, right. And, uh, let me give me you, a Scott. five-gallon We'd, jug of honey. That's you. right. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that the only currency that you have? To- well, no. All, all actual currency goes into horse finance. Right, the itself. $7 billion. Correct. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe pay for the horses in something other than honey. It would have been nice. Well, what? you never said anything about well, that. Well, I was insecure. Oh. You're insecure? I was sorry. I had a weight issue. You can see I'm a little bit I'm on the taller and flabbier side. Uh, yeah, oh, you're. how oh, tall are you? You're I'm, a very giant, imposing man. A 7'9 in flats. 7'9, yeah. In you're you're about three of them. But my flats are actually not that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They're actually very thin. Okay, yeah, those are very, very well, flat. I, yeah, I got sold on them. They said they'd make me look a little shorter. Right, those are like cardboard. Yes. Yeah. They're exactly cardboard. Oh, they are cardboard. Yeah. Yeah, you're just wearing cardboard on the bottom of your soles. Go ahead and gasp. <gasps> yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I can continually gasp throughout this well, entire show. You <laughs> it's ask, a little hard. You ask for it. Uh, I'll need some of that honey if I do. But uh, Anyway, I've moved into the promoting business, Scott Lee. Mm. That's right. And I'm an gonna imposter. Change. An imposter. Oh, I'm going to change a, a, things up. A, a disaster. A Jody Foster. You're yeah, back you, on your game. Wow. I'm, I'll take Jody you, Foster. Yeah, you you bet you would. She's an Academy Award winner. She's she's incredibly impressive. She's that beautiful. Beside the point. And comfortable with her sex. You want, you don't deserve Jody Foster. You gave it to me and I'm a horse cop. I Jody used Foster. it because it rhymed with imposter. Well, careful of the poison you drink because sometimes it'll put you down. I'll drink poison all day. I'll drink poison in your face. I'll take you in my face. I will, sit, poison. I will sit gently upon your large extended knee. And I will and make I myself will. a couch. Now you, you turn your body into a couch while I'll I be sit, a couch sit, and you sit down and, and I guzzle your, damn poison. Watch dead that TV into all the lifeless on pupils couch. inside you your tall, it. string, your big, dead. disgusting body. Okay, guys, boys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break you up. I, I Yeah, I got to break you up here, guy. I, I feel like I'm going to... Witness a fight here myself, and I hope it's not to the death. We've, no we've, we've had far too many deaths in this studio in the uh, eight years plus that we've been doing this show. So uh, I want you guys to remain calm. And there will ca- be no fight. I, I've been tracking your blood pressure. It eerily went down during that entire exchange. <laughs> yeah, well, I was able to vent some frustrations. Yeah, you got to let it out expel sometimes. Expel some emoting, promoting, jamoking, uh, you smoking. <laughs> Wait, did you see the mask? Did you audition for the mask? Well, that was one we auditioned for, yep. Yeah, did you yeah. whisper smoking up his butt hole? Sm- Yes, he did. Yeah. Smoke, smoking. And, and I said, smoking? <laughs> oh, as a, like, qu- as a question. Yeah, they didn't like my take? Yeah, yeah. They went with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's got most of the things that we audition for. <laughs> really? We go in prim- primarily for Jim Carrey types. I Jim Carrey types. I wouldn't think that you guys standing on each other's shoulders are a Jim Carrey type. Well. Hey, you must be casting these projects yeah, then. Yeah, because they agreed with you. <laughs> So, we also auditioned for Mask. That's right. Oh, wait, the Corey, what was his name? Um, Rocky Dennis? Rocky, uh, sorry, Rocky. Rocky. Why did I yeah. think it was Corey? Because it has no. a Y at the end? I'm not sure. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's the one where Eric Stoltz has a giant face. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Neither Chad. of you have giant faces. What were you going to do? No. no, nor does Eric Stoltz. Would you have to get uh, the bees to sting you every single day? We just... offered that up as a possibility. Mm-hmm. Save on the prosthetics. Mm-hmm. Didn't get us the part. Didn't get it, yeah. I, I imagine it would be because you'd be bringing a flock of bees. Is it a flock of bees? It's, it's a, a, bushel. Bu- a bushel. A bushel of bees, sorry. Or a buzzard. A buzzard of bees, yeah. So, guys, um, 
this is your competitor that you were referring to earlier. The, it, 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 uh, to, to call him our competitor is to insult the great sport of horse That's fighting. That's not true. This, the, 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 he, he, he is a vulture. I'm not a he vulture. Is, uh, he, is, he is picking at the, at the, at the, at the gizzards that, uh, of the gift mm. that is horse fighting that we have promoted. We created this industry. We no run business. this industry. You, you, he, he comes for scraps That's on the true. side, little, little hand picker at the side. Left trying to scraps you know, can taste and, good. And, 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 and yes, and yes, some of our, some of our attendees ha- have started attending his oh, very sure. paltry horse fights because, he, one, he, 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 it's easier to find his stadium. It's right off the highway. <laughs> Oh wait, you're, where's your location. stadium? It's right next to the airport in Tampa. Yep. Yeah. Oh, in Tampa. Oh, okay, Tampa. not in California. Oh, okay. So That's it's just right. right there next to it. Right next to the airport. So could you like get off the plane and just you instead can, of getting on the air bridge, you, you could, could literally just, get off the plane? And the, just come there's right over. some of them, Mitch. Spare extra money We've, to create jetways. That's right. That oh. split off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One leading you. To end back into the airport, that's the right. other jetway leading you that's directly into the stands. Just good business. Oh, well, that's Scott, cheating. Right? That's not. Uh, that's yeah. just cheating. It's not fair because I, now, that, as you know, there are very, very few fans of our sport in the world. They're they're from all over the world. But right. if they want to fly in, they can whoop. Are that, those are airplane noises. That's what I understand yep. them to be. <laughs> Fly right on into the airport, jump off, and go right to his. That's yeah. right. You get imitation the stadium. It's not even a real stadium. They, he don't even have boxes. Doesn't Scott. even have a no luxury, luxury boxes. Have a luxury right. box. No need. You know what? A real horse fighting fan comes for the horse fighting. They don't come to get no luxury box. Yeah. Look at a mini fridge full of I, what I assume is stupid little food. You guys have a quizzical look on your face. He's talking about fridges. Oh, right, 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 oh, right. Yeah. I yeah, didn't yeah. get no, that. No, I didn't I get that it. from what he uh, said. Money, I heard money, any money more. I was like, <laughs> why, why are we doing Mother Goose rhymes here <laughs> now? No, we're not. Jesus. So no no boxes in your stadium. Do you have even like box-shaped horse microwaves or? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. We don't have seats. No seats? No. It's just does people have to stand or... Yeah, when you get off the plane... Or mime sitting, I guess. They mime sitting. <laughs> <laughs> they pretend to sit. And that's important because I don't want people standing around. I want them that mime can, That can scare the horses. That's, uh, the horses need to think that they're in the, some sort of auditorium. Right. With invisible seats? No, with mimed seating. Well, sure. But they need to be fooled into thinking that the people fooled, are seated. Right. That's right. Why not just buy seats? It seems like... It's expensive. Oh, I'm I a businessman, and that's my whole point here. Right. The whole industry has been taken under because you've spent too much money on it. You've we, forgotten what it's about. We we spend an amount that the sport deserves. It right. is our life's passion, and we are happy to spend every single dime it, we have ever made. If if putting in if putting in all my life's earnings into horse fighting and never seeing a a, a cent in return is is shameful, then. Call me Captain Shameful. Call us the Shameful well, Boys. I will from now on <laughs> Wait, call you the Shameful Boys. The Shameful no, Boys. No, no, don't call no, us the Shameful Boys. It's too late. No, you asked for it. it, was the shameful. it what it is. He said it was a it, it was a hypothetical. I, no, you're no. Captain Shameful no. and you're the Shameful no, Boys. No, no, I'm General Shameful. I'm General Shameful. No, and I'm Horse Cop. No, you're, you yeah, you're horse are a Horse Cop, but you got a tiny little pick. You're Ham Cop. All right, guys, break it up, break it up. By the way, don't call anyone Hancock like the Will Smith film. What was your point earlier that leftover we scraps taste good? We auditioned for that. We oh, auditioned. Did. We did. I don't, I don't think you guys yeah. are a Will Smith type either. We didn't think no. so either, but they yep. called us up and we thought, oh, that this is... isn't going to go well. But it's probably, it's an audition for the next part. Maybe yeah. the casting director sees you and likes you. And even if you're not right for this one, they bring you up for the next one. Have you, you done know? anything other than that Riptide episode? Nothing no. since that Riptide. No. Season four. Nothing episode since. 12. Is that the episode and I'm a big Riptide fan. Is that the episode where the uh, little boy in the trench coat gets pushed off the dock? You saw it. You saw it. You've seen it. (laughs) You saw our episode. That was us. How good was that? And it wasn't a little boy. It was a gotcha. It was a roughly seventy-year-old two men oh, in a trench coat. Wow. I, you know, Riptide fans like myself, we always wonder because you know, after the little boy gets pushed in the water, you see two uh, little bubble streams, right. yep. two sets of feet floating <laughs> to the top. <laughs> sure, and we assumed that the previous was when you know one was carrying you. That's right. But uh, okay. And so. when they aired it, if you remember, when they aired it, they did a poor job of editing it because you saw the two of us float up, and we can't swim. No. Right. We can float, but we can't swim, and we're screaming, somebody 
to fish us out. No, right. We've no got amount this. of camera shyness is going to keep me from screaming for my life. Help us. We got these giant <laughs> boots. These giant Gene Simmons <laughs> from Kiss boots on. These lifts. Right, yeah. And they were sinking you down. They were pulling us down. I remember the editing was really bad because then the director said cut and then the editor left it. They go- showed the yeah, whole they thing. Left it showed in. it all on ABC or whichever network it was on. NBC, I believe, but yep. I believe the, uh, yeah, the editors were on strike for that yeah. uh, period of time. It was the That's editor's right. strike. Yeah. yeah. Scott Lee. Yeah. Yes. Can I ask you a question, please? Um, you know what? From now on, you can just ask me questions. You Very don't have to good. ask me if you can ask questions. I'd like you to describe the first cheeseburger that was ever made a long time ago. <laughs> um, what was it like? What was its first cheeseburger? What do you think? Describe uh, it. Top to bottom. Okay. Um, I would imagine this is in Hamburg, Germany, so uh, you have some sort of big All right. uh, weedy bun, probably. Yeah, weedy that's bun. the top. That's the, a weedy bun. That's the North Pole. Yep. Uh, and then underneath that, you probably... Uh, you probably don't have any kind of sauce because they hadn't figured out that sauce oh, makes it taste better. Interesting. Um, no lettuce, no tomato, nothing, none of the trappings that we no. normally have now. I would imagine it was just purely nothing of what makes a cheeseburger beautiful today. Uh, certainly, but so right underneath the uh, North Pole, uh, aka the bun, you would have mm-hmm. the cheese. Uh, all right, all and right. because it was in Germany, I would imagine mm-hmm. it's not cheddar or any uh, just some sort of monster. Uh, so a monster, yes. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, are you saying you see a monster, or are you? <laughs> no, no, no. I was helping with the two. Trust me. If I saw a monster, you wouldn't get you wouldn't get a warning from me, Scott. <laughs> wait, you would just be. I'm terrified of monsters. Are you really? I am. I, it is my number one fear. But you love Twilight and you love Harry Potter. Well, you you you're, you're going to tell speaker. me Edward was a monster. I, I guess beautiful, a, that beautiful boy with a heart of gold was a monster, uh, and and skin of gold as well. I guess he's more of a compassion diamond. Di- okay, sorry, I I only seen one of the movies once. <laughs> I've seen them all. I mean, that you, it sounds like you're bragging. Many you're, times. Oh, okay, there's the brag. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say if you're a big fan, you've seen all the movies. Yes. That's the bare minimum. Yeah. Um, Look, Scott, like, why, I, I, can I ask why are you asking about the the cheeseburger? Oh yeah. We, why not? My you? point, yeah. you got it, don't you? I, I, My I see point where is he's going. These two over here, the shameful brothers. No. The no. Shameful at boys. Best, the shameful best boys. General, at best, best general shameful. Well, Captain Shameful, the shameful boys. That's right. They're the original cheeseburger. It's not bad, mm. but it needs to be improved. And now oh, I'm coming oh, in. Oh, I see videos. why you're asking. And wow. it's time. I didn't realize it's the time analogy. For the I fell right into your trap. Oh. The cheeseburger I, must evolve. Oh, I, I don't like this man, but that was a clever analogy that happened. That was and a I didn't clever ploy. I, I didn't see. I, I tried got, I, a new cheeseburger. I got hungry, and then I started mm-hmm. thinking about how the old cheeseburger mm-hmm. was lame, That's and right. I want a modern That's cheeseburger. Right. You yeah, want a modern man. Well done, this gentleman. But this, don't you, but you ain't more clever than the Calvin twins, and you ain't more clever than Chico Hands because I am the one who knows that the first cheeseburger was made not in Hamburg, Germany. <gasps> In Cheeseburg, Germany. Thank cheeseburg. Thank you very much. Oh, of course. Don't gasp. Don't gasp. <laughs> I can gasp when no. I want to gasp. Look, that was a gasper. Biz made my point for me. Okay, mm-hmm. you don't you don't try to improve upon perfection. Okay, mm-hmm. the concept of burger hasn't been enhanced. That's right. It's been spiced. It's been it's been uh, gooied up. Yes, it, it's been jalapenoed, smashed. But, but it hasn't been changed. You can't reinvent the wheel. That's and right. I don't have problems with other people promoting horse fights. I have problems. With people desecrating mm. the the core, defecating, defecating, irradiating, mm. De- desecrating. Okay. De- hmm. Exactly right. Horse riding uh, and, 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 and tarnishing the mm-hmm. prestige and honor of two horses. Inflamed yeah, by bee stings, yeah, right. beating at each other oh, and chomping that's right. nothing. at each other to death. Yep, nothing. Wait, they also chomp each other well, to they're death? they're horses, they're Scott Lee. This is why you've got to come out to the farm. You've never brought up that they're eating each other as You're well. You're going to try to keep a horse from going ahead and using his chomper on a on a... On a vulnerable, so these available are, horse neck. These are cannibalistic. Think that's not going to give you an advantage. These are cannibalistic fighting well, they're horses. Not not they're not swallowing. They're spitting. Yeah, they you spit, spit out the flesh and then you start 
punching it right just, in the open wound. This, so, so this, this is, is like champing. This is like the Mike Tyson of horse fights. Oh, hey, thank yeah, you very much. Happened. Thank he you got very that, much. He got that idea to buy that Evander Holyfield deal out. from. He came, he came out. out one time. He did. He came, he's one he of the only out. people who's come That's out to right. the farm. Before That's we put right. in the luxury boxes, and he came out and said, I, "I'm curious about what you do." <laughs> Okay. Seems like he would be right up his alley. I, mm-hmm. I, I feel there might be parallels between my own chosen profession and, and, and this industry which you promote. And we said, mm-hmm. absolutely. Here's a gallon. Here's five gallons of honey. Uh, why don't we give you a little tour? That's right. He drank and, it right down. Guzzled it right down. Glug, glug, glug. That's right. Glug, glug, glug. That's wow. right. Were you guys disappointed man. I didn't guzzle it right down? A bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know the, the etiquette. You didn't know the custom. A we a cut bit. you some uh-huh. slack. Okay, thank you. You could have taken a bit of honey. Shameful, yeah. boys. <laughs> I we don't answer shameful. to that. We I don't ask now. I challenge no, you. No, I have no horse scout. I challenge you challenge to us. a horse off. <gasps> was that good? That was a good, guys. <sighs> a horse off. A horse off. This, this is you incredible. Dare. Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. We need to take a break. Oh. When we come back, we're going to learn what a horse off is. Yeah. And I guess maybe it'll occur? I don't know. <laughs> We'll figure this out, uh, but this is unprecedented. A horse-off announced on this very program by Bisbee St. Hancock to Bever Hopox and Chico Hands, a.k.a. the Calvin's Twins, a.k.a. the Shameful Boys. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's sticking. I got the horse cock. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and the horse cock over here. Uh, when we come back, we'll hear all about this. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back, and uh, the Calvin's Twins, a.k.a. the Shameful Boys, have been no. sitting here in complete silence, just glaring daggers at Bisbee St. Hancock, <sighs> who has also been very quiet, uh, quiet as a mouse. He's been making mouse noises the entire time. Um, and um, th- This is very exciting, because before the break, um, we heard some amazing news, which is that... Bisbee St. Hancock himself has, right. has challenged the shameful boys here mm. to a horse off. Winner take all. Winner take all. I don't Winner even takes know the industry. I don't know what this means, but let's yeah. let's hear exactly what it means because you guys have been have been. Uh, I have to say, you turned as pale as a ghost or a white mi- mouse. Mm-hmm. I guess um, you got almost as if you you were afraid of the very notion of a horse off. Oh no no no! We're not afraid of nothing. Uh. We ain't afraid of a goddamn thing. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. I've never heard we language like this. We ain't afraid of motherfucking nothing. Whoa! Chico. Up in this piece. Chico, Chico, please. Right, Chico. Sorry. Please, please. Can someone explain what a horse off is and what is the, the procedure mm-hmm. for a horse off? I think we can all do that. Mm-hmm. Are you guys are going to do it in unison? or That's right. That's right. Or are you going to switch off sentences? It doesn't make sense no, to switch off. Well, okay, you'll do it in unison. Okay. We're exactly just going to do it at the is. same time. Okay, a horse off is a competition between two or three horse fighting, fighting promoters when the industry is at risk because of hostile competition. Each promoter will to take. Three, three horses, horses to, to church, church. <laughs> to church. Have, have, have them, them baptized, baptized. Then, then bring those, those horses, horses to, to an, an open, open field, field at, at sunrise. sunrise. Now, don't, don't forget, forget about, about the snacks. snacks. The sex? Snacks. snacks. Oh, okay. But, but oh, also, so don't, don't forget about, about the sex. sex. Who's having sex? Each of the promoters will bring one companion, male or female, but hopefully female. Okay, you guys don't need to bring that. It can be... Very, you know. Let's not get into homophobic stuff and the rules of a horse off. All right, <laughs> it's an old. These are old. These rules. are old rules. Yeah. They're old rules. They can be They're amended. A yes. They're a little backwards. They're li- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. Now, now as, as we, we were, were saying, 
One, One companion, companion in the field will lie down, down under, under one, one horse, horse. Promoter. motor. Promoter. Promoter. Okay, yeah. Okay. I feel you, like we're only halfway through this. Oh, <laughs> oh barely. Yeah, well, we've we've done a very, we very long time. the surface. <laughs> okay, well, continue then. I don't need I, to interrupt. The promoter, the promoter and, and companion, companion will, will consummate the event. event. Both, Both must, must have, have reached, reached climax, climax before the, the bottom, bottom of, of the sun, sun has, has pierced, pierced the horizon. The horizon. Hmm. So both must have. So you got to find someone who can have an orgasm on both sides, male or female, male or female, yeah, or female. yeah. Oh, preferably but female. But hopefully, <laughs> okay. You guys hopefully don't need to reiterate female. it if That's you disagree it. with. The- and basically, at sundown, you. At sundown, by the by the time so you there. get there at sunrise after climax. Oh, with this year continuing. The three, three promoters and six, six horses sit, sit in silence hmm. for the remainder of the, of the day. Night. If anyone makes a sound, they lose. Okay. Uh, hold, let me see if I can get this right. It's very simple. So you take two or three horse promoters. Uh, they oh, then oh. take a, a horse apiece yeah. uh, to church where they yep. baptize the horses. It was. Yeah. Th- they take three horses. They take three horses. Three but, horses apiece. Oh, three apiece. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we're, so with you three, it's nine horses. Yes. Right. You take them to church. Uh, does it matter what type of church? Does it have to be... Uh, Episcopal. Episcopal. Okay, Episcopal. Has to be Episcopal. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, and they, they have to have, I guess, a tub or, or tank big enough uh, for... A hose is acceptable. Yeah. A hose for, yeah. a bapti- for a horse baptism, a hose is okay. Yeah. A hose is fine. We don't want to make this more complicated. Than it is. <laughs> okay. So after the baptism, around sunup, yep. you guys go to an empty field. Mm-hmm. At sundown. Uh, at sundown. Nope. Up. At, at, at sun- sunrise. At sunrise. Sun- at sunrise. So you have the full day. But you were about but to did say, you see at what sundown. I mean, Scott? And he calls I, himself a no, horse. I didn't fine promote him. He doesn't even know the rules of a horse at sunrise. What I was trying to say. He doesn't even know sunrise. I no, I said at sundown. Would that be the wrong time? Okay, right. That would be the wrong time. He was bringing up what time would be the wrong time. (laughs) Eye roll. (laughs) Thanks for that. This is an audio medium. Uh, So at sunrise, then one of the horse promoters, uh, you all bring companions. Yeah. uh, And one of the companions lays. Girls, if possible. Lays. uh, Sure, we don't need. So one of them lays underneath one of the promoters. Mm -hmm. They have to ejaculate before the sun goes down. Yep. And then you sit in silence. With the horses. With the horses. And if any of you speak. Or make a noise. Or make a noise. Including the horses. Including the horses, you're disqualified. Are you You okay? So and and it's process of elimination, meaning once one is done, it's hands on a hard body style. Exactly. I don't know if you know That's anything yeah, about yeah. that, yeah. Bisbee. Never uh, heard of that. That's we auditioned for that. Oh, you did. And then they told us it's a documentary <laughs> for the musical. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right. Let's hear some of the songs. <laughs> I mean, my hand, my what? hand, my hand is on the truck. <laughs> my hand on a hard body, hard body, gotta get. My hand down a hot body. Hot will my loved ones wait for me? Is this the best thing for me? Am I gonna win this car or lose my love? And you didn't. <laughs> so they say Hamilton at the end of that song. Very interesting. I feel like Beva could have gotten the job, but maybe Chico. You camera shy. He you didn't get it. it. I'm too. No, nope. he's he's the real. T- he's the on screen. Well, you both have just lovely singing voices. Oh, we appreciate Thank that. you. Yeah. So, um, so, yep. so once one is eliminated, then the other two are in competition, and then once the That's s- right. second person is eliminated, so I'm then actually giving them an advantage by letting them both by letting do it. them both do it. Yeah, because as long as you get out, then they probably don't care who no, wins. Or, or I don't mean to speak for you. Do you care who wins? That's if, the problem with this challenge. 
only one walks away with the business. Right. As and, far as I'm And it's concerned. winner take all. You, when, you, when you say winner take all, what do you, you mean by that? You abomination. You trying to drive a wedge between me and my dear, great, no. beloved, best I friend and never. brother. I would never. It's not going to happen. Try a different strategy, idiot. <laughs> okay, well... Strong words from Chico Hands, uh, a.k.a. one of the Shameful Boys. No! <laughs> yep, sorry, that's sorry. Right. You're not Captain Shameful, though. I'm Jones Calvin. Do you know who I am? <laughs> well, you know, once you're challenged, you have to take the challenge. You have that's to take the, the rule challenge. In the, right, yeah. the horse in industry. When you say winner takes all, what do you mean by take? I what mean is the, all? Whoever loses will pack up and leave the horse industry forever. Mm-hmm. Ah, and does so the winner then gets to take over, in your case, it would be a $7 I'd billion. Get dollar. I'd get there. I'm assuming there's no debt. In your well, company. it's practically ah. all debt, actually. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> no. we're, we're on a pay- payment program. <laughs> We've done an offer and compromise with the IRS. This might be a good situation Finances. for you guys, by the way, to get, out of, a, to get out of a sticky situation. I will never Dollars. walk away from horse fighting. That's right, we're never going to walk away. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm just saying, like, like he's offered you a 50, lifeline here. Like fifty percent of the horses who participate in a horse fight, you're never going to walk not away. Walk away. <laughs> right? You'll end up in a horse microwave at some point. Gladly. Do you hope and to, push do, the buttons myself? Sixty nine, sixty nine, right there. Well, um, I have one of those, by the way. What? You do? What? I do have a horse microwave. I built it myself. What? Wow! Yes, I not did. Possible? That's I did, and I have it. Did I use it. Want? And that's why I don't have to. I don't have the backup that you guys have. Wow. Another reason I could handle this industry. Wow. More efficiently. So when when does this take place? I mean, uh, uh, and and what field is it? A field of of both of your choosing or Christmas uh, Day? Christmas Day. Wow. Okay. Christmas so. Day field <laughs> Christmas on Day October thirty first. Thirty first. That's right. Uh, Christmas Day Christmas field Day. on All Hallows Eve. All Halloween. All Hallows you, Eve Road. Do you have to dress up for this in a costume, or I probably it, will. Appreciate it. You don't have to. Be festive. Yeah. But it's easier to go to your Halloween parties if you dress <laughs> afterwards. Up yeah. Previously, that's right. Yeah. Are the losers to really going to feel like going to Halloween parties afterwards? Like there's no, no better way to, decide. to lift rebound your spirits from losing up. a horse off. Yes. Yeah, lift your spirits up. You go and bob for apples. I'll literally. Not that. <laughs> well, uh, so this this is coming up. Wow, this is incredible. Um, I still I still take Umbridge. Yeah, mm-hmm. I figured. I, 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 Umbridge is the name of one of our horses. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So he's going to take Umbridge well, to I'll this right. horse. Sorry, uh, yeah, no, I was just taking Ross. Definitely take <laughs> Umbridge. I'd take, take a fence. Um, okay, wait, just a uh, fence so that the horses don't get away? That's right, I'll take a fence and I'll put it up. <laughs> okay, well, good. I do appreciate that despite <laughs> our <always>. differences. <laughs> Building well, I want to appreciate to the consideration I, I, I'm of a the horse's safety. I'm a gentleman. Because <laughs> this is, this field is right by a busy freeway, Christmas, right? Christmas right. Day field. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to take time. Okay. Wait. You, that, for a little seasoning, make it a little <laughs> stew. <laughs> okay. For, uh, for, make for, it, turn it into a picnic. Okay. For uh, you, you guys aren't cooking the horses afterwards, are you? <laughs> Cooking the horses. Cooking the horses. Yeah. Cooking the horses. As, well, as you know, Scott, uh, uh, eating horse meat is uh, not legal in the 50 states. Why are your eyes darting back and forth oh, why would uh, so yeah. rapidly? Uh, I just uh, oh. My eyes are behaving independently of what I'm saying. Oh, okay. You can, of course, uh, eat You can't illegal, do that, and you also can't sell it. You can't sell right. horse meat. Certainly. You can in Canada, but you can't here in the United States. Horse meat certainly is a similar inconsistency to bison jerky. Mm-hmm. If you were to turn it into a jerky, then mm-hmm. this could be a way out. Your horse burgers. Oh, I've never horse, had it, but I'm sure horse it's... Burger, I make do you a guys are bun. licking your horse lips. Bun. Mm-hmm. Nice weedy, weedy bun, bun a little monster. A little monster cheese on that horse patty. <laughs> okay, guys, guys. Mm-hmm. I, it seems like you guys have something in common, which is is you you know maybe your your similarities are more alike than your differences. You uh, you guys have a, a love for horses, certainly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I do love them. Both love a horse, raising, fighting, and perhaps digesting. Most sure. important thing to me, uh, digesting. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. How, can that's I ask awesome. you? Can I ask you, Bisbee? You because can, me, uh, you, you know, don't have to ask me if you can ask me. Okay, something. I can just ask you sure. things. What was what was it like for you growing up? Can you uh, recall you recall your mother? Well, I come from a I come from a long line of birthers. 
A burger. Horse. Horse burgers, burgers right. Yeah. And I do. Not horse burgers, you guys. Just stop licking your lips. I, I thought somebody said horse burgers. I do burgers. recall my mother. Oh. You ask about my mother, I recall her. What was the la- when was the last time you saw your mother? Do you well, remember? She, um, she did pass. She passed away. She oh. passed away when I was I was fourteen years old. Fourteen. And how how I'm old are you now? Nineteen. <laughs> right. I'm so this 19. is this is recently. This is a uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's do you still recall little, how she still died? A little sticky. Do I recall how she died? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can recall how she died. Could, tell tell me everything. I, I want to know what the pain is that drives you. It was during a birthing that she passed. Birth. Oh. Mm. And every once in a while, you get a backfire on a. <laughs> Excuse me. It's. Yeah, you you man. get a backfire on a birth, so the horse will come out, and then there'll be a whip of air, <laughs> so, a whip like of a air. Back, it's like a backdraft, it's like the movie right. backdraft. Horse did you guys audition air. for that? We did. And it, and that, everyone's wearing those big yeah. fireman coats. It was perfect for uh, us. They, we, our audition was so bad. They cast Kurt Russell as his own father. That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. That's it's bad. a mess. They said, you know, we'll just use one of the actors all over again. <laughs> that is bad. We got a part as background actors over, well, background actor. Uh, oh, right. And yeah. since we didn't have any lines, Bever here was uh, was happy to be up on the top. You were on top, right? Really. on That's screen. Right. That wait, were yep. you, wait, I remember there was that, that uh, part in Backdraft is so disturbing where the little boy gets burned to death. Yeah. Right. That was you guys? That was our idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was your idea. <laughs> Ch- change the screenplay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, Ronald Howard, who's just a wonderful man. Great and man. we'd met him because we'd auditioned for Willow. Great oh, filmmaker. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You remembered us. He That's remembered. Right. But right. not, said, not with you on top. No, 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 no. He was surprised at first. He's like, oh. And then, <laughs> and then we kind of revealed our secret to him. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said uh, he, he he explained that they thought they'd cast an actual child, and right. they were so child. relieved but, that they would actually be able to work us longer. Yeah, they fired right. the they teacher. Fired, let go of the set teacher. Mm-hmm. We, you know, uh, and, and, and 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 Chico said, uh, "Yeah, yeah we, well, we love fire." We're fire fans. We like mm-hmm. burning stuff. <laughs> uh, technically, pyromaniacs. Why don't we? Why don't we? Certified py. Or like, like in a clinical, you know, uh, way. Yes. When we yeah. when we move to a new house, we have to go door to door telling all the neighbors right. that we're pyromaniacs. Mm-hmm. Is that why you guys have kept that place up, the six hundred five and the six hundred six and the six hundred seven, because you don't want to move to new houses? That's right. right. We'd yeah. be ostracized from the Dead neighborhood. Dead center of the desert. You know what I mean? Where yeah, I do know what you mean by registered that. registered yeah. pyro. Romaniacs. <laughs> so uh, once you said, oh, yeah, got it. Okay, got right. it. Yeah, sometimes I people say I understand, and they're just being prideful. No, I understand. I, just saying, I understand the dead center of something uh, I, of the desert. Yeah, no, I, we're right in the middle. And I get all it. around us. Do you understand? That? Totally, <laughs> totally on board. Barren, with, sandy desert, with and we're basic the human language. Yeah, okay. You yeah. do. You got it. So you, I, yeah, I, let uh, me draw a picture. Got it. Oh, okay, you don't. Well, all right. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Well, that's a noisy marker, but so you guys said love fi- uh, I love fire, and then that's all he needed to hear. And suddenly well, you guys, we were just trying to take advantage of our situation. You know, mm-hmm. listen, if if you're saying you can get away with things you wouldn't be able to do with a normal kid, light us up, <laughs> right? Burn us up, and so. Uh, so you guys were lit on fire. You're, you're not stunt performers. No, but we are now. We are after that one. Right. Technically, Got card, yeah. yeah. So, so how long were you on fire? Oh, it felt Perfect. like days. <laughs> right. But it, once, it wasn't. It felt it like felt days. Like day. it but once, once you check the tape, how long did it end up being? It was about eight seconds. Eight <laughs> right. seconds. That's as long as Luke Perry stayed on a, on a buck and bronco, so... Oh, yeah. We did not audition did for you that. You did not audition no. for eight seconds? No. Okay. Now, speaking of backdrafts, I'll take you to the night, my mother. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Fast so there was, a, there was a big just whoosh of air. Well, the horse got pushed out. It was a big piece of meat. Uh, sometimes when it's big, it's hard to control that backdraft. And my, I remember the last words out of my mother's mouth was, oh, it looks like there's not going to be a back." And, oh, then, and then you just heard whoosh. <laughs> like an inhalation There's a strange of silence. There's a strange silence when it happens. Yeah, and it looks like somebody's just getting sucked into a tree. Does it sound sort of like, <gasps> Yeah, it sounds like a little bit of a gasp. Wow. Except it's the 
the huge swollen yeah. pink lips. I wondered why every a, time I gasped, a, a single tear ran down your face. Yeah, that's why it was hard to talk about it at first. Yeah, but uh, yeah, she got sucked up, and we so didn't know how to. So she got sucked g- into the horse's <laughs> vagina. No. Yes, that's what I've been saying. And she got sucked in there real good. And we tried for days to haul her out, but a horse's insides is like, it's like an Alcatraz. You mm. can't get nothing out of there except for a couple of things that escape once in a while right. on Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. But listen to it's this. Like she was caught between the rock and a hard case. Well, that's what? That's dialogue from oh. The Rock. Did oh, you guys yeah, audition right. for that? Oh. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Uh, Did oh. you audition with Abney? <laughs> what? She go, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> You're camera shy. I'm How so can... sorry. Man. It's fine. <laughs> I got it was the chance to work with Nicholas Cage. You don't have to apologize. I wish you just would have told me. Uh, I'm so ashamed. Stop it. My darkest secret. It's not that bad of a secret. <laughs> I've kept it from you. I've betrayed you. You've kept this inside for 22 years or so. You could have just told him. He's not even no. mad. I'm not mad. It's no I, biggie. I deserve to die. No, it's decidedly no biggie. So lot, what happened, like Scott Tupac. Lee, is that she wasn't dead inside the horse. Mm. She survived. But the next day, that horse that had just given birth had to enter a horse fight. Uh, that wasn't me who chose that horse. It was... The shameful boys who chose that horse. Wait a minute. With my mother inside, no. took that horse to a fight, and with my mother got sucked so hard up inside that her face was coming out of the mouth <laughs> of that horse. Oh my so God. as almost like she, she was, was saying, a horse me, costume. Help me, Bisbee, get me out of here as the fight begun. And they just got pummeled. Just and was turned this, into. Do you remember the, com- the horse that pummeled? Was it, it wasn't. Re- Randy? Randy the horse? Oh, my God, you're crying again. So I, you can understand why I have entered the promoting business and decided to uh, destroy these two boys. Hold on, though. Oh, hold wow. on. Because this uh, – do you recall – what was this horse's name? Do you recall? Randy? That your mother uh, was inside. N- no, it was – we called it the horse with no name. The horse – wait a minute. So horse. Randy versus the horse with no name. Yeah. Was this the match, the particular match that your mother tried to intercede on? Scott, indeed it was. <gasps> gasp. Gasp Are again. You <gasps> Double gasp. My mother died in the same horse match the, that your mother died in? That's right. Now, how old was your mother? <laughs> Quite old. Three, 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 three years ago? Oh. Uh, Carry the two. I five, guess nine, five or so. Five, she five, must have been a hundred and yeah. She she was about, she was pushing a buck twelve. About a hundred twelve. But well, let and yours was how how old was yours? Oh, my mother must have been very old. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're nineteen. She must have been very old. The, it's a it gets hazy up in Maine, but yeah. she she was probably a good she was probably a good forty two. Mm. 43. All I'm saying is, is you guys have more in common than you have dissimilar about each other. I mean, both of your mothers mm-hmm. died in the exact same horse fight. And we didn't know that. We didn't know that his didn't mother realize. was up inside the horse with no name. How could we know that? How would well, we know that? Her face they was coming out. How, what did you think? That there was a face we were, coming out. We weren't looking at the mouth of the horse with no name. We were looking at our mother, a 112-year-old mother, charging in to the middle of our state-of-the-art horse fighting stadium. That's so you, right. We were sitting up in the luxury box. You didn't know? We didn't, we didn't know. know. We didn't we see know? until the whole fight had started. I thought this whole time you had, you had known and tried to destroy my oh. mother. Well, and no, in their, fact, now hold their on. mother died. That's their mother right. died trying to save your, your mother. mother. I, didn't even, I didn't know that was your mother. I, who, who did, did you, you think, think it was? was? I thought it was a peanut seller. Or you had many people running around trying to sell uh, honey. honey. <laughs> yeah, you had and a lot peanuts? of honey vendors. Yeah. Honey, get your fresh honey. Right, that's what I, honey I thought. Honey peanuts, was... get your fresh honey peanuts. Well, also, roasted honey peanuts. She was probably saying honey to them as in, you know, their, her children. That's right. right. She that called may, us honey. That may be, and, they, and she brought them honey. So I feel, I feel like a fool. Mm. I feel like a fool. I'm saying there doesn't wow. have to be a horse off. You, mm. guys, you guys could be friends. You guys could... Dare I even say you could almost be brothers? Could could you possibly be the Calvin triplets? 
Calvin's triplets. Calvin's triplets, sorry. I... Well, you did compliment me earlier, telling me I had a horse cock. No, I didn't say it was. Well, you no, meant, it made no, fun of me. No, let's not get, I it, get hung up on the semantics of the horse I gotta, cock. I decided to change it to mouse cock. But uh, the, uh, I'll take that. In, in the Jodie Foster thing, that was nice. You said Wait. you have been complimenting me a little bit. I was saying you were similar to Jodie Foster. See, that's nice. And I, I will say this, you, you guys... Um, you guys do put on a very good horse fight. Well, well you thank you for that. pretty good with finances and, Would it be as a, I've just learned, making oversized microwaves. Took more, more know-how than I had. Would it be all right if I gave you each a hug? I, I mean, think I'd like that very much. Would it be all right if I gave you just a little... Just a little wet kiss on the cheek. I'm, I'm going to stand on Chico's shoulders so that, you know, so that I can, so you don't have to lean oh. down so far. <laughs> and those are sorry, tall, tall Gene Simmons boots. Hold on to the table. You're oh. rocking. Now look at me in the eye, Terrible. Bebe. Look me in the eye, Bebe. I'm looking. I apologize. Thank you. And I... <gasps> Describe what's happening. I can't see a goddamn I, thing. I apologize. Well, stop wiggling. I'll explain well, it to you on the drive home. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, all right. I, I just wanted to say to you, Bisbee, yeah, you I'm know what? sorry what? to welcome to the family. Oh, my God. <gasps> Here, let me clap let me, lift, here, here, let me get you both no, up here. Oh, 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 like a couple of raggedy hand dolls. <laughs> oh look my at you. Goodness, look oh. at this. And you deserve a little kiss, too. Okay. Mm. Mm. That was okay. a little more sensual than the previous Yeah, that's Wait. enough. No, it wasn't supposed to be sensual, you I, pervert. Oh, sorry. But sorry. you did it, it that sen- way. It was sensual. It would go something like... Okay, that's enough. All right. No. Drop, Just, drop him, drop him. Oh, let me go. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. You guys are stunt performers, though, <laughs> so you should have been able to roll with that. <sighs> Fine. Well, now, hold on. There's been a dramatic change in the, in the tone of our relationship and everything that was going to happen, but we've overlooked one important fact that the horse off has already been called. That's, that's right. true. There's only well, one there's way only to get out of way. it. There's What's only one way. What's the way to get out of it? Well, we would all have, have to. The to three of us, us at the same, same time would have, have to say, the horse off is off. Okay, well, are you willing to say that at the same time? Did we just, we just did? did. Oh, it's off. Oh. Oh. What do you oh, got, honey, God. in your ears, Scott? We just Sorry, I just I thought you were doing the rules again. And I'd like to invite everybody down to Tampa oh. for a weekend, and we can hit. We could go to SeaWorld. No, we could go. My favorite them. of the Orlando Park. Yes, I'm not offended at all by them having killer whales in their tanks. Uh, no, of course. I mean, look at what you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this has been the most surprising of uh, events. I almost feel like gasping, but I don't want to bring a terrible. Mo- okay, here we go. <gasps> I'm sorry. No, that's nice. Oh. I'm over it. Yeah. Well, I mean, with this new information. Uh, it, it, this is amazing, guys. I I have to say, uh, let it let the three of you hereby be known as the Calvin's triplets. Yeah, yeah. that sounds yeah, good. Yeah. Hurrah! Aka the Shameful Boys. No, oh, let's no, do no, that. No, we don't want it. We can I skip the Shameful Boys. Here. Skip the Shameful Boys. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, congratulations. We're running out of time. We just have one last thing to do on the show, and that is a little something that we call plugs. <laughs> Nice. That was Soulmate Plugs by Boy Talk. Thanks to Boy Talk for that one. And uh, what do we want to plug here? Obviously, you have uh, horse fights seven days a week. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, approximately 10 horses die a day over at your place. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brand new location located in Tampa. Oh, you guys That's are moving. Right. Immediately adjacent to the Tampa Bay Airport. Yeah, you have a billion dollar. That's right. Seven billion dollar state of the art facility. Well, we'll keep Is that it? one as well. Oh, okay. That's right. 
<laughs> All right. So uh, anything else you want to plug? Anything in pop culture that you see out there that you've been uh, looking at that you it, have been enjoying? It, you, know, you know, I, 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 I was I was scouring the internets. Yes. Uh, recently. You, you don't use it for putting on your shoes no, or pants. No. Nope. Nope. We just I, found that out. That's not what it's for. I haven't for. figured it out yet. Uh, no, I just look for the news of the day. Hmm. Uh, and, and, and I, I did see, I saw a, 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 a film cinematic trailer mm-hmm. mm. for a film called Killing Gunther. Yeah. Killing Gunther. Yes. All right. And boy, am I going to make that an event. <laughs> yes, sir. You're going to make that a priority in your life oh, to go boy, see? Oh, boy, I am setting aside time. Mm-hmm. I would like to join did you, you for that. Did you audition for this? Yes, yeah. we did. <laughs> you did? Yeah, yes, sure we did. did. And who's the director of this? Uh, There's a chap by the name of Taron Killam. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah, a weird. Yeah. That's a weird name. Yeah. First time director. Mm-hmm. Young, young upstart. Okay. Yeah. And how was your audition? Very strong. We thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Who ended up Very getting strong. the part? They get- Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't think that you guys are the same type. Well, even on each other's shoulders. Yeah. Well, we decided not to do the 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 side to side because Arnold is so wide. That's oh. right. So we stood shoulder to shoulder. Oh, I see. So like, much we- like coming out of your mom's vagina. Yeah. Exactly right. Mm-hmm. In so full we circle. Were, we were broad like Schwarzenegger is through the shoulders, but we were very very short, too not teeny, opposing at all. Too teeny. Yeah. That's too bad. I, I can imagine for the camera, they would have to be able to point it down. And a lot of they don't make cameras like that. A they lot don't of make no. down point pointing cameras. All very level. <laughs> That's why you don't see a lot of like insert shots of things on the ground. No. in film, it's got to be <laughs> right there, right there. With you. <laughs> It's got to be hovering about four and a half feet high. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, that's great. Killing Gunther, and that comes out on October 20th, as far as I it know. It does. In yeah. select theaters. And this is what a cast is in this. Do you know who else is in this? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I believe I believe uh, they got uh, uh, Mr. Paul Britton. Paul oh. Britton is in this film. Mm-hmm. He's oh fun. Yeah. He is. We got a, 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 a looks like on, on the poster there. I'm just picking out people on the poster now. Sure. Uh, um, How uh, else are you supposed to do it? I, 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 I you don't have an IMDb Pro account. What is it? Oh, uh, IMDb Professional, the Internet Movie Database Professional. What does oh. it do? Uh, it tells you everyone who is in a film. It tells you their agents. You uh, have one of those? I, just, uh, I do at the office, yeah. And what what uh, what what would what would it serve you to to use a tool like this? For? Well, I can look up who's in something. I can see who represents them. Uh, I can contact the representative in order to try to get them into a project. Uh, well, that's handy. It, it's very handy. You that's should get clever. one if you're if you're interested. I don't know what use it would do you other than being maybe able to- maybe a celebrity endorsement for horse fights. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. So you're saying I could go on DBB Pro, <laughs> DBB, yeah, yeah. DBB Pro, DBB, and reach out to who? Who would you want to endorse horse fights? Mm. Mm. Tom Selleck. Yeah, Tom Selleck. Oh, maybe I love maybe that Di- Blue Bloods. Dick Francis. Ooh. I don't know. He might be a horse, though. I'm not, I can I can never tell if he's about an that actual girl. Horse. How about that girl who does the pine saw commercials? Oh, she's great, isn't she? She's got great energy, and she pops on. Screen. Now with lemon. <laughs> now with lemon, she says. Now with lemon. Now with lemon. I don't know this this person. Oh, well, we'll it? look on the DeDeBeebies. <laughs> okay, well, great. Yeah, look it up. All right, so so great cast. You've mentioned uh, yeah, Arnold just, Schwarzenegger and Paul Britton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it looks fun. like we got uh, Alison Tolman. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Fargo. And Fargo and fame. Yeah. And Comedy Bang Bang TV. Krampus. Cram- uh, yes, you have Krampus in the film? He, we, no. We booked Krampus. <laughs> great. We did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting into to casting as we well? We attempted to cast the character <laughs> Krampus, the eponymous character from the movie Krampus. We went into audition. <laughs> right. Casting director died. Oh, no. Heart attack right on the spot. Well, that's a way oh. to get right in there. Did you, you know what I mean? Foot in the door. We had four feet inside the room. Opportunity. Uh, in, in walks this mystical, <laughs> horrific... Seasonal character. Adam Scott? <laughs> oh, we tried. He was unavailable. <laughs> oh, okay. And, and, and it was the Krampus himself. And we oh. said, kid, 
you've got it. Wow. And he got very angry because I guess he gets compared to the film It a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, they and came out like, I'm similar. I'm not It. And he's like, I'm Krampus. I'm, Krampus. I'm not It, the clown. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And we said, well, the clown's not called It. It's called Pennywise. <laughs> right. You don't know your own industry, Krampus. Right. We yeah. gave him a lecture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we said, we'd love to get you in this film. Uh, and that's when uh, the the, uh, the casting assistant came in and said, oh, my God. <laughs> What have you done? What are you doing? <laughs> they my thought, boss, they thought my that you, boss, my beloved boss, they thought is, that you had killed the boss. They laying assumed dead it. Dead on the floor. They assumed. Why did you not call for help? And we said, well, Krampus walked right Krampus in. We're not going to turn Krampus away. <laughs> Well, this all makes sense. They understood. Yeah. But it looks like you got a Hannah Simone, yes. you got a Ryan Gall. Ryan mm. Gall, he's oh, good. Yeah, he nice. Sounds, it is a good name. Good Rock, name. Strong name. Strong Rock name. Gall. Ryan Gall. Mm. He's good. That. The I'll gall put, of it all. I'll put I'll bet on him. Yeah. Always bet on gall. Always that's a good saying. All on gall. Mm-hmm. All I'll put it all on gall. All in put, on gall in. Gall in goblin? I'm gall in on Ryan. Goblin. Gall in on Ryan. Mm-hmm. We can keep talking about it. Okay, sure. Did Bobby Moynihan is in this Got picture a, looking yeah, at the uh, thing right now. Yep, yeah, yeah, Mr. Mr. Bobby Moynihan of from me, myself, and I. You the mean Vern, television program? Do you mean Vern Troyer? I wish no, I did. No, no. <laughs> this is very You're confusing. Getting us confused you guys. now. <laughs> Gosh, I wish I did. Vern Troyer, myself, and I. <laughs> is that what that is? I figured so. Now, now that I'd watch. <laughs> Well, this is this is great. We got to go see this film then. Check it out. Looks like a hoot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so it's funny. I I, I believe so from the trailer. Mm, yeah. Great. It mm-hmm. looks like if you had to log line it. <laughs> if you had to. If you had to. If if someone was uh, put a gun to your head. Yeah. It's Spinal Tap meets Heat. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I'm there. I'm there. Wow. Well, this is great. That uh, October 20th, people can see this. Uh, Killing Gunther. This is great. Um, and so the, you all want to plug that, I assume? Is that uh, you all seem all in or gall in on this? Yeah, I'm, I'm gall in on plugging that. <laughs> Great. Um, I want to plug, uh, you know, head on over. Oh, here's something you could buy on iTunes. Uh, go over to iTunes in the USA and Canada and buy uh, seasons of Bajillion Dollar Properties. That's fun. That's got a great cast. I think that Ryan Gall that I'm Gall in on, he's in that. He's what a can he do? Gee. I'm Gall in on that too, then. <laughs> uh-huh. but- People can buy that right now and anywhere uh, for the first time, I believe, yeah. anywhere in the world. It's been out for around a month now, and uh, you know we need more people to to buy it. Adam so we can Scott's do- in that. He is, yes. Well, I and, gotta buy this. Now. And Krampus, Krampus, Krampus is in that. makes an appearance in Bajillion Dollar Property. <laughs> yeah, he Krampus pops up. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely. Sold. Um, all right, guys, let's close up the old plug bag. What do you say? Talk about bags and bags. I'm talking about. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you, uh, Bever and Chico, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Uh, the Calvin's Twins. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll be known as the Calvin's Twins separately from yeah. the Calvin Triplets. Sure, sure. Uh, we, uh, we arrived as twins. That's right. We met as old friends. Mm-hmm. We brought in enemies. Sure. But we're leaving as triplets. Oh my God, that is that is so wonderful to see. Uh, Bisbee St. Hancock, uh, a.k.a. Yes. one-third of the Calvin's triplets, uh, so you. nice to meet you. I apologize for my entrance and some of my behavior today, but I'm happy the way things... We are. understand. You That's okay, it all came out in the wash. Yeah. You know? Literally. Literally. Well, no, no. Well, it did. I have a, I have a load in <laughs> You have a load in, yeah. in the Earwolf dryer? Right, yes. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. Good luck to you. you. Good good luck with your uh, moving to Florida. Uh, yep. And uh, we'll be bi-coastal. Bi-coastal, sure. And but please come back before the two hundred and fifty more episodes expire. Ah, I don't. Well, I don't know if we'll be going for another two hundred and fifty. We, you know, sure, you need to come sure. back. Come back earlier. Well, please. we can delegate That's now. Fun. There's three of us. <laughs> So So you'll send two at a time? Yeah. Yeah, Maybe, yeah. (laughs) Sure. Okay, great. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. You gotta laugh. One full calendar year ago, we had a podcast. This is what we call them, podcast. We had an episode of this show where we caught up with a few old friends of ours, and we made one new friend. 
And um, of course, I am talking about the owners and proprietors of uh, the Honeybee Honeybee Farm. I can't remember exactly what the uh, title of it was. Uh, Calvin's Twins, Bee Honeybee Farm, and Horse Fighting. <laughs> Emporium? Faci- Emporium facility. <laughs> it's changed. We, it's we've changed. done some rebranding in the last year. Done okay. some building. It's bigger than just a ranch now. But it, but would it not, and I'll introduce you in a second, be the yeah. Calvin's triplets because, well, I mean, we'll get to this story because uh, three of them are here. We first spoke to them years and years ago when we found out about their surprising stories. And, and this is why I enjoy doing the show is because quite often we'll book just regular people on the show, but the, the, the more you you dig into their stories, you, the more you realize that every person is fascinating in their own way. And these two are no exception. We're in- fascinating in several ways. <laughs> many, many ways. <laughs> many ways. Okay, when we'll... There's a third way, Scotley. <laughs> <laughs> you recall our newest, bestest, westest, testest, flin flestest, shib clestest, Calvin's triplet there ever was? Well, please, please, please. I'm only uh, one third of a part of a perfect trio. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Trinity, as they say. I, I, I guess so. Uh, but we first got to know them as twins uh, who work together and live together and laugh together and love together. Uh, ah! al- although I, I guess I do, well, that was an example of the laughing not together. Well, and physically, <laughs> you can tell I got into my sort of uh, neutral living stance. <laughs> right. <laughs> So together, you you both got into the neutral living stance. But not standing here in our neutral living stance. You seem ready to pounce. Full of love. It's a very it's a very grounded, very strong stance. It, you have a low center of gravity. It, it, the Calvin's estate br- breeds a very boisterous, blunstrous, flim flunstrous, <laughs> hot pocket. In your tum tum stress oh. type of boy. That's a that's a new one. I haven't heard that one before. Uh, yeah. Are I, you always I workshopping these? I keep a journal <laughs> okay, by good. my bedside. Um, we first got to know them. They are, of course, related. They're brothers by birth and by choice. Right. Uh, a lot of people don't uh, really have both of those, but you guys uh, ha- have chosen to stay together. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, they might be the family that prays together because they certainly are staying together. Uh, we first we do pray together every night before bed. We sit down against the bed and we do pray to the good Lord. All different gods. All different gods. <laughs> All different beds. All, All different, different beds. Everybody gets to pick. All right, tonight's my bed, so and let's press against it. Yo. And is it a different god depending on which bed you're in? We so, have a, we, we we reach into our ten gallon. We have a ten gallon. We reach into it. A ten gallon hat? You mean? Uh, uh, no, no. no. <laughs> a picking no, no, bucket. No, no. <laughs> we have a ten gallon picking bucket. Do you know what a picking bucket is? I, I, I guess I've never heard of a picking bucket. Well, Google it. Okay, uh, nothing is coming up. I'm oh, sorry. oh uh, t- <laughs> shamefully underrepresented <laughs> on Google. Oh no, it's zero matches oh, in zero point one four seconds. Ah, That's right. Well, there's not even a. Sp- they, they're not even asking us if we meant anything else. <laughs> no, nope. they're just saying there cannot be anything else. That's why I bing it. <laughs> I just, I'm still binging. You got a bing. <laughs> you got a bing. Still binging. When you're looking for a picking bucket, you got a bing it. <laughs> so I first got to know the two of them, uh, and then the third last uh, year came into our lives. I'm, of course, talking about Bever Hopox, Chico Hands, mm. and Bisbee St. Hancock. Mm. They are also known as the Calvin's Triplets. Welcome, Chico and Bisbee are here. And we brought in Petunia. Oh, Petunia's here. Oh. Petunia. Calm down there, Petunia. Calm Easy. down. <laughs> what a sweet, Easy, sweet Petunia. little baby. She's a champion, but she's a lady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you have her dressed up as... Uh, oh, yeah. As a stormtrooper. That, <laughs> like a Star Wars. From Star Wars. Not a, not <laughs> yeah, a Nazi. Not a, not, not no, no. Nazi. I don't no. want to paint the wrong picture for anyone. That's right. Like a Star Wars. Pure stormtrooper. Uh, Star Wars. Uh, That's right. Yeah. So uh, kids love it. 
Mm-hmm. They come in and you can sell it to them. You can say, would you like to ride a Stormtrooper? That's right. Mm-hmm. Bisbee is a huge Star Wars fan. Yeah. Is this part of your business now sure. is riding the horses that are going to fight later? Well, that's one thing. Yeah. We have a meeting every Monday morning now mm-hmm. uh, at 11 p.m. And we talk about <laughs> pre-prayer. <laughs> Pre 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 Monday morning, you say? Every every <laughs> Monday morning at, <laughs> at 11 p.m. <laughs> you guys have a very unusual sleep cycle. We only follow uh, Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> oh, okay. We yeah, never yeah. change our clocks. That's <laughs> right. We think daylight savings is a hoax. It's a hoax and a scam. There. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chico. Um, so, and you and you but guys morning, have, a, have a meeting. Of creative things we can do to. Mm-hmm. Uh, to th- expand help the business. Our business thrive. Yeah, and this is one of the new one ones. Of is horse. hey, why aren't the kids paying to ride these horses before they knock each other to death? Right, yes. right. Well, first of all, your options decrease by fifty percent <laughs> right. post fight. Mm-hmm. Pre fight, you got the the pickings. You got two options mm-hmm. there because you never you never ride a horse. Uh oh, like. More than twenty minutes out from fight, That's true. because as right. soon as you ride a horse and it and it's and it's before twenty minutes before they're in fighting mode, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they just become a riding horse. Yeah. There's just a riding horse at that point. They're not a fighting horse. Yeah, right. That's right. And then, but if you are in that twenty minute window with that horse, you've been training and breeding right. and and prepping for the fight. They'll they'll hold on to that. Their brains can't fully oh, form and go like, oh wait. Maybe riding's what we're supposed to be doing. That's right. Mm-hmm. Horse never forgets. Does it cause any sort of cycle? within twenty minutes of a fight? Right. Then they do forget. Does it then cause after the twenty minute marker? They definitely forget. Right. Was right. the premise of what I was but, explaining? Yep. But never. Brains just but get never right. But never for forgets. <laughs> you guys twenty. Got to get it on the same right. page on one of your Monday morning meetings <laughs> at eleven p.m. This is why they take so long. <laughs> That's true. But we set up, we set up some horses with all sorts of different costumes, different things. You name it, we can have a. A horse ready for you if you call ahead. Because Chico's a hell of a seamstress. I have been sewing and a seaman uh, since I was a young boy. And You've uh, been doing what with semen? Uh, uh, semen. It's, uh, it's <laughs> yeah, a I verb. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, it's what a person does when they're uh, making seams. You call oh, that semen. I see, I see. Yeah, see. so you've been making semen how so long? So I've been... You know, making since you were making, thirteen years so. old, he was a very... semen with my. I've been semen with my hands since I was uh, a tween. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, a twink. He he was <laughs> said tween. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Get that twink off your brain. <laughs> sorry, he I was, don't know what I was tween. thinking. Get that twink off. Your Our brain. mother was so proud because he was he was the first oh, your dear to be semen. Mother. He was my uh, poor mama. God rest her oh, soul. God rest her soul. Who who who? Bisbee. Bisbee. Yes. Yes. Is, is we, we discovered? Did you do a twenty three and me? Uh, we did a three and me. <laughs> we did a three and me. It was Which, just the three of it us. Was, it was a, a little cheaper. And yeah. did you guys semen into anything, or did you? We did. Uh, Chico made us gorgeous suits, <laughs> so and he was semen all over us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he was, uh, We went in because we did it yeah. within a doctor's office. We went right. straight to the yeah. source. Yeah. Did you get a, a blood a, test? A source. Was there anything a, on your face or oh, on your oh, chest? Oh, we did these or? wonderful hoods. He was semen. <laughs> a semen from, on like our chin. Face, too. The semen he did was at our chin. And it went straight to the crown of our head. We this, right. The semen cool. that he did around the crown of our head was just people. We were walking down the street, and they'd be like, they, That's got, some good they got some good semen on yeah. their heads. It was great semen. It, it it almost came right down along the cheeks. That's right. Down the chin. <laughs> like, a, 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 like a gambit hood of you, semen. Like a gambit hood of semen. A gambit from X-Men. And by the way, right. Chico, Is that the That's official a, what you call like a murder of crows? <laughs> exactly. It's like a gambit hood of exactly. semen. Oh, man. That was a gambit hood of semen. <laughs> and I look divine. <laughs> and so you found out you are officially. Last time you were on the show, we didn't know if you had the same mother. Yes. Right. So you do have the same mother. And, and mm-hmm. what did she used to, she was very proud, you were saying, of uh, Chico over of here? Of Chico, because he was such an early semener. Yeah. I, I was uh, tapped at a young age to sew together all sorts of costumes mm-hmm. for the Halloweens and mm-hmm. other pagan holidays. and, uh, and None um, of the Christian was, holidays? No, none of the Christian holidays. Oh, no, no, no. Are you guys not religious? I, I don't think that's ever come up here. Well, we pray. Yes, we pray every well, Yeah, I was going to say, pray. you pray, but to different, different gods. gods. Right. Yeah. And a different god every day of the week. Right. Just Paul Co- theologists. Cover your bases? That's a baseball term. I don't know if you guys follow sports. Cover of course we do. Of course. We uh, do. Of course we, we, are, we do. We are. We're sportsmen ourselves. We are the are. premier horsemen 
and all of the Florida Panhandle horse fighting right divisions. That's but wait, right. do you guys have also have like a horse baseball league? We have a softball mm-hmm. league. Softball, I, sorry, yeah, yeah. There's only three of us. That's right. It's co-ed. It's 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 recreational. That's right. But there's three of you. You but guys are all. It, we have some horses play with us. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Is that what Petunia is doing here today? Is Petunia a fighting horse or a softball horse? I, Petunia is a champion. <laughs> Oh, Petunia, Petunia, there, Petunia. 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 Oh, oh, she's oh, getting oh. humble. Oh. She's getting humble. Uh-oh. Turning her face in the corner. Oh. You, Petunia, Petunia. Petunia, you look at Scotland. You'll be proud. Look at you me, look Petunia. at Scotland. You look, look at me. <laughs> oh, okay, she's looking right at me. Yeah, oh. Have a granola bar, Petunia. <laughs> Have a kind bar. <laughs> Calm down oh. now. Look at that. Boy, so you hey, don't God. feed Petunia, like, r- apples or anything like that. It's all kind Just bars. No, Scotland. Expensive hipster protein bars. Lara bars. <laughs> she only eats in bar form. That's Not the a, thing. When you've done, really. when you when you get ten horse kills under your belt, uh-huh. that's yeah. when you graduate to bar form diet. That's yeah, right. metrics, protein <laughs> bars, a lot of right. metrics, all kind of bars, which is tough to find met- nowadays. Tiger milk, metrics, <laughs> yeah, metrics, protein <laughs> bars. Yeah. They're tough to find. Not easy to find, no. right? Especially in your neck of the woods. Where is that again? By the way, where's the uh, you rebranded? You say pa- well, well, the Panhandle of locations. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Two different locations now. Well, yeah, right. well, right. yeah the well, one. Uh, place down there, Florida. Tampa. Right. That's right. Uh, right in the heart of Tampa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big, beautiful arena. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. ours, of course, is, you know, it's not far away. You could just uh, you hop on the 405. That's right. And mm-hmm. you take that heading up northward. You want to take it north, mm-hmm. but as it veers northeast, right. you turn onto the 2 4 the twenty four? No, no, nope. 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 two, the two for a long comma, time. Two, comma four yeah. highway. Two, comma four. Oh, two, okay. comma four. The two four. See, I don't know if you know this about. I don't know how familiar you are with Florida highways. I guess unfamiliar. But yeah. in the early days, it was a mess. Oh, and okay. people would just shout out. No, that's a two. That's no, that's a two. All right, well, you could be the two. Why well, I got a two two? Well, if you're the two two, then I'll be the two three. I'm the two three. Well, all right, then I guess I'll be the two four. This two, is like three. drunk history. I love this. <laughs> Um, this is really bringing it to life with different voices. Yeah. And, oh, b- your you character believe, work is oh, amazing. Beverly loves it. Oh, <laughs> loves Maria Blasucci is gonna have a ball playing two three. <laughs> she's good. She's. I yeah, think yeah. she's. I think she's the, if not the. Best there is. Yeah. So yeah, the business is good. Business, your business is horse fighting and sometimes riding and sometimes softball, and business is good. Booming. Yeah. Business is booming. You've booming. rebranded. Kakloomin, ship shooming, make more rooming <laughs> because we're bringing the booming. Oh, we here comes the booming. In fact, oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, well, that's yep. been there now. Of course, Chico okay. semen, that semen? whole thing. <laughs> okay, I don't think courtesy I Put it on, Chico Scotland. semen. That is uh, crazy oh, chicken semen, semen he did. Mm-hmm. Oh, a, wow. This goes a, perfectly on my tits. It's a, yeah. half, it's, <laughs> it's a half shirt. Just a little uh, half shirt. That's right. You <laughs> little half shirt. <laughs> the bottom. So you just got semen all yeah. along your man right. tits. But that semen does not touch your stomach. No. no, no and thing. we're it very not. particular about it. It would that. not. Uh, so thank you for this. Last time. Good you, under boob. Yeah. Last, last time you heard. That's here, great under boob. I've, I've not been complimented on that. Scotty, I've seen a lot of hosts on the boobs. Wait, you're doing other shows? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh my Your gosh. business has gotten so popular, you're doing other shows. We're, uh, we're on a press tour right now. Really? A mm-hmm. junket. Okay, so uh, what are you here to promote then? I mean, obviously you brought Petunia here. Uh, there must be something really sensational going on in your in your careers. This is exciting. I, I mean, last time you guys were going to have a horse off. You guys were fighting. We didn't even know you were related. Now we know you're related, and uh, business is great. So what are you promoting? Well, here's the thing, Scottly, is... As you know, we've poured our lives into horse fighting. I do know that. Your lives have been devoted to it. Into our professions. And as we've said, we've expanded. We've branded. We've Mm left-handed. We've Mm pan-panded. We've bajambered. Mm-hmm. And we've kind of become celebrities in our own right. That's right. That's oh, true. Okay. We got that big dick energy <laughs> from the horse fighting circuit, and people well, want to know all about us. Okay. We're a trio of swamp donkeys, if you know what I, I mean. No, I don't. Should I Google that? Hung like a swamp donkey? You've never heard that. I've never. I, I, I'm swamp gonna, donkeys have just I'm ridiculously gonna put it, yeah, I'm gonna huge put it in flashy. quotes. Yeah, nothing is coming up. You got, well, you got to bang it, baby. Bang it. Oh, but look, <laughs> it, it, it does it, say. It does say, did you mean pick and book it? Oh. <laughs> 
oh, it just because okay. that was your last search. That was my last one. Ah, yeah, they're see. wondering if I meant ah, the other see. thing that has. Yeah. Um, so we got offered. We got offered a juice box commercial. What? That's right. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and Mops. as I'm sorry, Mots. 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 Oh, the like the applesauce. Not, yeah. Mots. Not apple just juice. applesauce. So they do a cranberry apple or raspberry apple. They okay. don't just do applesauce. They do mots. Okay. They do mots juice. In fact, they, they do started mots, with mots applesauce. Okay, so so they they do mots applesauce. Mm-hmm. So did you take the commercial? Sorry, that, well, we're where that's that's those are the sides. Oh, that we were been think faxed. We were, we're practicing our sides. Oh, okay. We got an audition for it. Oh, maybe maybe yes. we were lying. A we submitted ago. for an audition. You submitted. I remember the last time you were here. You guys went to a lot of auditions. I believe that's right. Mm-hmm. We've auditioned for uh, hundreds and hundreds of different uh, juice movies, box commercials, juice and- box commercials, TV shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, our uh, agent uh, told us that we had to categorize ourselves something specific. So we said, like, are you a film actor? Or are you a right. TV and actor? We said juice box. <laughs> okay, so can. So we you, checked that box. Uh, so I love that. A juice. <laughs> what did this audition, how did it go? What was it like? What did you have to do for the audition? Do you, Shall we do it for him? Well, sure, sure. sure. And uh, obviously you'd have to imagine uh, uh, I am on top of my brother's shoulders uh, right, with a yes. gigantic trench coat. And because a, as I recall, yes. you have trouble with the, with the words. That's is right. that what it is? And, right. and you, uh, Bever, you Bever have to whisper up to him. That's right. That? And okay. as you re-see... Mm-hmm. We're tiny man as it is. You're tiny man. And when the breakdown came out, it said this is a two hander. Mm-hmm. That's right. They That's absolutely right. refuse to see more or less. Yeah, I like. Sometimes they'll do that in an audition and specify how many hands a person has. That's right. And so, so they were looking for one person with two hands. Correct. And I'm Chico hands. <laughs> That's and right. And you're Chico. So you just thought, hey, this is where I this live. This is meant for me. But if you listen last time, uh, you have no interest, Bever, in in acting. But I remember saying that, but Scott. You want to support Chico by feeding him the lines. When well. your brother and and partner in crime and business Wait, cohort you guys have a dream. Oh, oh yeah. Scott Lee. You, just, you haven't been reading the, the research. Oh, no. Did something happen over the last year? Well, so? oh, we, oh don't, we don't oh want to. I mean, allegedly. Talk too much. Allegedly, wink. things okay. happen. There's no proof, but okay. we have been accused. Okay, well, it seems like it would be an open and shut case if there's zero proof. Let's just say that a Russian oligarch... uh, Chico's got some loose lips, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chico, you've been telling people about this? I maybe might have whispered something while I was falling asleep after praying uh, to my god, Poseidon. (laughs) Uh, That might have happened. Uh, so you, you whispered to whom? Was this someone? Whomever with you? I had dialed on the telephone. I, 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 I dialed I, allegedly. Dialed, Wait, are you? You dialed nine one one. Oops. Wait. So you, you did you? Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. This story out. Did you have a if guilty? If anybody can, it's you, Scott. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bever. <laughs> did you have a guilty conscience and you called nine one one on yourself and your family? Maybe. What and what? What exactly happened? Well, uh, they uh, there was an officer uh, came over. No, to- I know what happens when I. But I mean, what did oh. you actually do? To- oh, d- uh, sh- I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about these. Well, the horse no, is out of the stable. Said, yes, Chico, yes. go ahead. This is safe. Scotley is a friend of the family. Sure. Which let's, horse was out of what stable? Let's just say. Well, was Cinnamon was out of the Cinnamon? east stable. Cinnamon and- had gotten out of the stable. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, That's not illegal, what, right there. What might well, have happened? Is we that have, a, a, and we uh, do have a saying. When cinnamon's out of the stable, bad news for everyone. That's what I am trying to tell you. Okay, I'm going to Google that. that. That's, a yeah, no, that's absolutely nothing Mama, coming Mama's up. Mama's favorite apron. I was like 5% through that. <laughs> that. Oh, gee. Yeah. That's all right. It's 20 times longer. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so far, I've heard nothing illegal, Chico, yes. so you're well, in the Well, what happened was uh, a, uh, a, a wealthy Russian man uh, contacted us about uh, horse fighting. Why Some sort of to... oligarch? Or... Yeah, yes, I think it was an okay. oligarch. Okay. And uh, wanted uh, to inquire about uh, perhaps franchising. Going uh, international. Uh, okay. A horse fighting 
uh, uh, arena. Really? So would this be in Moscow. purely a licensing deal, putting your name onto something, or did they want you to come out and develop it and, and build it from the ground up? It would have been a licensing deal. That's okay. right. We, we trusted this man. Yeah. Why did you trust He's this man? Very well, you rich. know what they say, when you're with oligarchin, you're family. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> so this Russian person came out. So, so far, Cinnamon is out of the stable. Yeah. You Russian know what man they say out. when Cinnamon gets yeah, out I've of the heard, stable. Yeah, oh, I've heard about this. That's trouble, and and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Five percent. So, <laughs> continue. So put on your hat, get ready to look for him, because if you don't find him, ten percent. <laughs> there's trouble in the horizon, and the horizon isn't just for everyone's eyes. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yep. It's a trip to Downsville. Twenty. <laughs> and if you go downtown, you're gonna find other people. Who are looking for trouble? So a quarter of the way through it. All right. Mix it with mix it with cinnamon. Who's looking for trouble? And you got a tornado. Thirty trouble. Oh. Now get to a third. (laughs) Get a third of the way through the same. (laughs) Now you also. Thirty-three and a third. Okay. Thirty-three and a third. Thirty-three point three three repeating. The mountains. Uh, are after the horizon. Five. Uh, 35. They, 35, yep. And they're looking at you like, hey, I didn't ask for this. 40. 40. And then, it, but you say, I didn't let him out of the stable. 45. And uh, the, but the stable wasn't locked, says everyone. And well, the stable you, wasn't latched is how it goes. We, you got halfway yeah. done. Start over. Uh, start start over. over. Oh, I don't think we have time. Start over. This is going to be the entire show. Right. Yeah. You right. didn't even get uh, halfway through. The stable gets well, latched. Yeah, I'm just uh, telling you what the saying is. Right, yeah. yeah. But, yeah this but is on right, your mother's right. apron. It was yeah, latched. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Latched. Beautiful scene all over our mother's apron. Embroidered and seamed by my little brother. Finest semen on a mother's apron you could ever ask for. Very well, proud of that so scene. so and so if I'm getting this story correctly, cinnamon. I don't even want to say it, but uh, and then also a Russian oligarch is there. And what happened? Yeah. Well, we were in discussions to uh, uh, to uh, uh, build a uh, license. Uh, your name right. license our name to an arena uh, sure. in Moscow. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they started doing that, and then there must have what been. What does that mean? A guy was at your farm, and they started doing that. What oh no, that? no! Then they started uh, construction. Oh, okay, over there. Oh, okay, so this. Okay, great. And then somehow. So wait, so cinnamon was out of the stable. Yeah. A Russian guy came oh, you over. You want to start that again? You agree? You know what they No, 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 no. <laughs> But I'm just trying to figure this story out. Yeah. So, and then a Russian guy came over, and yep. then they started the long, lengthy permit process. Yes. Of get, and this is all in the last year of yep. getting this. And so they started doing that. Yes, they because did. Because he saw meant, cinnamon. He said, look at the flanks of that beast. Mm. Right. How does a horse get so strong? Because mm. he was on his way to right. Disney World. And okay. why is he And why is he wearing a Darth right. Vader helmet? <laughs> right. Is what I remember. Why right. is he Darth Vader? You know, the, I can't yeah. do accents. Yes, right. you can. Can. You're so great. That's the thing. He's the great actor in the family, but he just gets so camera shy. Oh, no, no, it's a no. Oh. It's a gift, but it's a curse. It's a gift, and the curse is knowing the numbers, Scottly. Mm. Not a memoir I haven't read, not a trades magazine I haven't perused. Oh, my God. And it's just you, unlikely. You love the business, but I it's a cruel mistress. Biz. <laughs> so, it. But get to the illegal part because right. oh so then, many months have transpired. Did Cinnamon ever return to the stable? Or? Oh, we put her right back in. Oh, okay. Yeah. She, she's pretty old and slow, but so you know it's what? easy enough they to say, get her right back in. You know what they say? Once cinnamon gets back no, in. No, oh, they don't man. say that. No, man. that's just the whole saying. Once that is cinnamon it? gets yeah. back in. Once cinnamon gets back in. Okay, that's 100%? Dot, 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 okay. ellipses, and Sorry, that's it. It's that once that's cinnamon just, gets back in. Right. Yeah. Once. So, Next so then, they started construction uh, of a horse fighting arena. Uh, and then we were getting into all the paperwork, and then— So they started construction before the paperwork was completed. That's but, how they do it over there, yeah, I okay. suppose. Yeah, uh, And uh, and then I imagine uh, there were some financial crimes committed, is okay. what it seems like happened. Okay. Long story, suddenly clipped. 
And then right. we pled ignorance, which wasn't difficult for, that's for them not, to believe. That's not an actual plea, though. You're either guilty or not guilty. Were you guys able to I say, said, I'm I, ignorant. I, I plead ig- ignorant. We threw all of our hands up and we said, I'm ignorant. On I'm ignorant. Right. I'm ignorant. And then okay. they, uh, and the judge took uh, mercy on us. They said they weren't up to anything uh, nefarious at all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, congrats. So, but were you up to something nefarious? Yeah, I will never tell. Tit for, <laughs> tit for a tat. <laughs> Wait, a tit for a tat? Yeah. What exactly does that mean to you, Bisbee? Uh, you know what it means. It <laughs> means like uh, either there or here. Okay, I don't. You guys actually did sometimes do, nevers. Do, you you are guilty of these crimes. Is that I what mean, you're trying to say? Are you? Is this your roundabout way of confessing? Half dozen. Let, at one. let me yeah. ask you this, Scottly. Mm, if yeah, if chartering a forty foot fishing boat. That's right. Heading down to the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Pirating island to island, mm. storming luxury yacht, lot, yacht, lot, yachts. Huh? Yacht lots. We'd find yacht lots, lots where yachts were parked. Just parked, yeah. We'd power it the heck out of them. <laughs> right. Huh? Break into the saves, yes. take the jewelry, the watches, the, the fine it. pieces and of just, art. And just burn them? Burn them down. Burn it all. Course. Burn all the yachts. Okay. Pirate away those treasures. Uh, right. Cash it out in the Caymans. Uh. Wire half that cash yeah. to the oligarchs in Russia to complete the okay. building of their facility. Okay. Uh. For the horse fighting franchise licensees that are to... Benefit our family yeah. right. and, mm-hmm. and for generations to come. So this isn't if, pure, that's illegal, if that's illegal, yeah. then Which lock me up. They should have locked you up. Yeah. And by the way, this is not just your typical franchisee agreement. It sounds oh. like you were funding uh, this completely. I, no, it's not nothing oh, different than what no, Burger no. King does. I assume. That's, no, actually, they would. They would pay you to uh, franchise the idea, not you they're giving. They're going to pay that, us. That's what they should be doing. They sh- you shouldn't mm. be. Financing the entire thing through piracy. Well, uh, mm. I, 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 if they don't have a building, Scott Lee, then the the, the 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 then the the pittance we got up front ain't worth a hot damn cow pie. Mm-hmm. No, the pittance that you got up front would be worth what the pittance. A pittance. Right. Yeah. But okay, where we were promised, you know, riches beyond, riches your beyond our means. wildest horse dreams. That's right. Huge for years amounts to come. of riches. Huge amounts of Let's riches. Let's just say it was in our bestest interest to invest in the futurist of this Russian-based horse fight franchise. So it, it, mm-hmm. has it been constructed? Well, it's uh, – from what we've seen, it's uh, about halfway completed. When you say what you've seen, uh, pictures or you've been over there? I just, uh, I just, bing, uh, I just bing for bing pictures. Earth. Just I, Bing Earth. I go on Bing Earth. <laughs> you just put it in Russia and whatever. And I zoom in, and then I've seen pictures of it halfway constructed. Of course, I don't know when those pictures were taken. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. I don't know how often it's updated. That's right. Well, you've been busier, too. That's right. You've had your your personal time a little bit dis- divided. Oh, is this about when I caught that shark and tried to make it fight a horse? <laughs> Wait, no. what? Oh, okay. No, Chico. <laughs> but I do want to hear this story. Oh, yeah. Like, tell me, tell me this before we hear whatever else. You could basically, you could guess what happened. Well, let's the, just say you I were on it. a on a bit of a pirate spree. Uh, okay, an island hopping in the in various yacht lots, uh, stealing safes and jewels. Mm-hmm, saves. Uh, is it saves? Is well, that, that the plural? No, that's saves? what Bever said. So Poseidon I, saves. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus saves? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a play on the old favorite. So, And, and uh, maybe I was, uh, one night I was out sleep fishing, and is I that, get a tug. Is that where you're asleep, like sleepwalking, yeah. but you're fishing? Okay. Yep. Got yep. it. Great. And my mouth was doing the whole, you know, a, a classic, uh, yeah, me, 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 yeah, me, the like three stooges. Yeah. yeah. That's how I do. And when I walk, my hands are straight out in front of me. Yeah. Uh, like and you're I go a mummy. I, yep. And I pick up a, a big old fishing line. Sure. Uh, and I cast it, and I must have got, uh, I got a tug, and it, and that tug woke me from my jolted slumber. Jolted you awake. Okay. It jolted me from my uh, uh, slumber to awakeness. Yes. Your romp with Morpheus was suddenly at an end. Ex- uh, yes. I uh, I believe that yes, and then uh, it, and then, it damaged it damaged your nightly gown. 
Yes. When you right. got that tug, it ripped semen from you. This, <laughs> the <laughs> semen it, was semen was all right. Over so this that is the next this morning. is so and and you're out there in the middle of the uh, the ocean. It must have been like a wet dream, sort of. It was it was a wet nightmare. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> wet dream as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, and tugging just semen, semen tugging at the semen. Right. Just soaking wet. Shopping <laughs> wet. <laughs> it must have taken you hours to clean it up. You got that right. Did you did you put your nightgown into the washing machine, hoping no one would notice? I did. Yes. And, uh, now Bisbee and I would dead asleep. I found it in the hamper. Yeah. I, I still am not sure this story actually happened. <laughs> and it, I was like, "Why is this semen all over this?" <laughs> Why? And, and you yelled from the other room. You said nothing. Nothing, Bisbee. <laughs> And I said, and no, I was covering, no. I was covering up my uh, genitals with both hands. Yeah, I, so, I knew I went, right away. So my question, I guess, and is, said, where's yeah. all, where's all our bait and tackle? <laughs> right, that we was got, that was the part of the story you were concerned about. Where's our bait, <laughs> our <laughs> bait and tackle? I had a picking bucket full of minnows somewhere around. Where did it go? And I had to come my clean. Bait and yeah. tackle. Yeah. I yeah. had to you come come away and now so it's clean. So you came clean. He came, came clean all over us. Right. Clean. So my question, and I guess, is was this fight on the land or underwater? Because I would I would probably bet on one or the other depending um, you know, on where where this fight took place. I would bet on the shark underwater and I would bet on the horse on land. Interesting. Oh. You, it sounds like we got we got a couple of bets placed here. Uh, well, I I haven't. Pl- I mean, one place is, your bets. One yeah. is only placed depending on whichever. And by the way, this is this is in the past, so I would imagine you. How both much know. would you like to bet? <laughs> we may know. We may not. I Just only, take the bets. I Scott, only bet on future sporting events, All right. not ones that have happened in the past. I'll start okay. though. Like I'm not going to bet on the 1928 World Series. Right we'll take now. that bet. Michael J. <laughs> Fox would. <laughs> The 28, he would? Oh, if he went back to 27, I guess. That's right. So uh, who, who? where was it held and who won? So, uh, well, the, the fight uh, was held, it began on a sort of a platform uh, right near the water. Okay. And so I dragged that bastard shark up onto the uh, platform okay. that we had constructed special for the fight. That's Any right. water on the platform? It oh. was slick with water, yes. Slick with water. Yes. Uh, just a little bit, though. And yeah. the hot sun beating on that big old fish. Mm-hmm. You, you got and, hurricane season down there, so when you're building a platform in the middle of the Caribbean, you want there to be drainage, you know what I mean? Sure, so of course. It was completely level. So uh, we dragged that bastard up there onto the onto the platform, and okay. we let that horse go. So at this point, I'm favoring the horse because the shark is drying out. Uh-huh. There, uh, there's drainage. There's no water keeping it alive. So I, I would have to say then the horse would uh, stomp it to death. How uh-huh. much? You how put, much? You, how how much, much you got on this now? How much you? How put much? On you, this? I, I mean, I, so you've just if you if you've described it accurately, half a million. Half a mil. Yeah, half I would say half a million on the horse. Bisbee, take the man's money. Take uh, right. the, wait, wait, no, I mean, we don't take it until I like I, I either give it to you or you give me a half no, a million. No, no, we make the rules, Scott. We make the rules, Scottly. And we are all gentlemen here. Okay. You're not going back We've on a gentleman's agreed. agreement. We've Can I write agreed. you a check? Or? No, we take PayPal. <laughs> Can I Venmo or something like that? You can Venmo you? me, yeah. Okay, where? who are you on Venmo? I'm a, a Chico... Hands at AOL. At uh, Chico Dash Hands. Yeah. We've had trouble with that. That's right. Somebody's ended up with all the gotta money. Got to keep that half in it. You got to do that. Chico. The dash Actually, is the that underscore. One, that, one's a, that one's not working anymore. I'm uh, just finding a bunch of Chico Hands <laughs> at this point. Right. It is uh, yeah. Chico underscore Hands. These are all you. They're all They're pictures all of you. Yeah. So <laughs> you kind of can't go wrong. Okay. At Bing dot org. At Bing dot org. Okay. So... All right, I Venmoed you. There we go. Speaking of Bing, Bing, there bing. it is. All yeah. right. I got it. All right. Okay, so. And you were betting on the horse. I was betting on the horse, That's of course. That's right. Of and course. So he's betting on the horse, of course. You win. <laughs> you won. Well, damn it. Damn it. I thought there was going to be some sort of twist. You just like, won. You won four and a half million been. dollars. There might have been if oh, there was. But there wasn't. So the odds oh. were. It this was not in our favor, Scott. It was nine we to one. We knew how it ended. <laughs> Damn it! It was nine to one, and you I guys. Tried, were... I was trying to wink at you guys, saying, "Let's not do this." Oh uh, uh, boy! It looked like a sexy wink, like uh, you were like, it "Hey, was. we got I this guy." It, it was felt was like too. a supportive wink. Oh, it was. All right. Damn. Well, how are you guys going to pay me? Yeah, I'm going to Venmo that to you right now. Uh, okay. Boy. 
This is going to hurt our profits. Really. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let, well, we nev- wait, we never told him what the odds were. So how much he made. So we never told him. Four and a half million. He already told you. He got a listen, Chico. Just did. Oh, yes. He 100% right. just did. Yeah. I missed that. I missed yeah, that in the, the crosstalk. You know, hey, it was a fair bet. <laughs> it truly was. Yeah, I can't believe it horse, worked out for me. If you could have seen it, the horse took one stomp on that. Just curb Shocking. stomped it. Just, just yeah. American history just exit. Said, by right the right, edge, yep, shark. Right, right up the edge. <laughs> and just stomped his hoof straight through. Just straight, straight through. Sort of at the, the base shot. of the dorsal fin. It really yeah. gave it yep. good yep. inertia. Blue. And sharks, sharks have so many teeth, too. It just yeah. must have just oh, crumbled all there. Oh, That's yeah. Right. He oh, whipped it God. around, picked it up, whipped it around, threw it probably four or five. <laughs> he picked it up with what? He doesn't right. have opposable thumbs. Whoa. Because he had stomped. Just sort of like clapping his hooves together. Yeah. Oh my God! He uh, Whip, uh, what, uh, whipped the, it that, around that like horse. A, it was that was which that horse was, was it? Trimax. That was Trimax. Trimax. Big horse. Trimax was a genius horse, mm-hmm. and he would put opposite charged uh, uh, horseshoes on each oh, of his hooves, like magnetic like opposite, magnetic, oh, so he could God. grip you. That's right. So they just whoosh and pull right together. That's his anime. You never want to get those next to uh, like a shark's head because it'll just smash just it, smash it, right, it right, right, through. right through, straight off. Oh Whip, my whipped gosh. it four or five hundred yards. That's amazing. So did you film this or anything like that? To, mm-hmm. We yeah. have it on film. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we so, have it on. So, is we actually have some offers. Like a too hot for TV like videotape that you guys are selling. Or yeah. Horse has gone wild. That's right. <laughs> One it horse is, in particular horse is the subtitle. Wild. Horse, horse gone has wild. gone wild. We keep horse trying to sell wild. it to Shock Week, but the executives <laughs> well, over yeah. at Planet Earth are so like, oh, the poor those, shark. Yeah, those are about the yeah. majesty and how scary uh, they are. And this it, is just a masculine. Yeah, chicken shit. <laughs> okay. We us the goddamn about. money. This is good shock footage. <laughs> okay. Well, look, Pay we us the money. <laughs> we, well, you're going to need some money because I need to get paid here. But we yeah. need to take a break. Uh, oh. When we come back, I do want to get to, you were saying that uh, uh, Chico here has something going on he, in his life. He that, does. We'll take okay. that bet. <laughs> How much that we're coming back? How much? <laughs> I'll bet the full four and a half million on it. All right, roll it, are, roll it into the spread. That we are coming back. Double or nothing. Right. What, double or nothing. What's the odds? <laughs> Why yeah, are you doing that wink, sexy wink? wink, wink, wink. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with uh, Bever Hopox, Chico Hands, and Bisbee St. Hancock. The yep. three best friends, the Calvin's triplets. That's The Calvin's is possessive, is that correct? Calvin uh, That's right. it's like S. Ruth's Chris. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> you into a Ruth's Chris? Oh, I love a Ruth's so Chris. So good. He yeah. makes us go to Ruth's Chris. Every every night. night. Every night we go. Yeah. Every single night. Every night. So you guys like eating cows. Mm. Big time. Oh. Yeah. We've oh, been trying wow. to sell them uh, horse meat. They won't take it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you, got, you have a lot to go around. We sure we do. We got plenty. Uh, I, I don't know if we've established it, but you guys, uh, you do horse fights at your uh, uh, bee, honey bee farm, as you were saying, Emporium, uh, where to the death. Uh, so 50% of your horses die every single day, and you have about eight fights per day. That's right. Uh, and uh, it's a good time to so go out there. Uh, you're in Florida now. Uh, before, you were just off the 605 uh, mm-hmm. to the 606. 606. Mm-hmm. And then the 607. 607. And then the 608 was a big roundabout, I believe. It's going to take you around as many times as you want. Want. Yeah, That's and right. sometimes you may want you know, spend half the day there. You might. Yeah, if you're having fun. You why could. end it? You. Uh, this is a thing. You could. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bisbee. Uh, uh, appreciate the cosign on that, brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, and thank you for calling me, brother. <laughs> okay, I'm technically not one of the Calvin's triplets. No, but, it means uh, a lot. To How me. do you know? In, uh, that's true. I haven't done a three and me on mm-hmm. this, but. Uh, before the break, uh, and we also have Petunia here, who is one. Uh, I assume one of your champion, champion uh, uh, horses. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. She's had off. gone over ten fights. I Reigning believe. June champion, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, Chico, go ahead and Venmo him back. Yeah, yeah. could I have that money? And, by the uh, way, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. need the uh, you get, you get the your, nine million. It's four point. It's four point five. There were no odds. On that. Wait, so I just get back what I put into it? It was not a good bet for yeah. either of us. So it was a zero to zero? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wager? Even yeah. Steven. Okay, well, I'll take the four and a half then. Yeah, back. I'm just going to send that four and a half right over to you so right now. So now we've just paid you it. nine million dollars? No, I no, guess no. I, I, only four and a half. Four because and a half. Because he it. gave us back. He invested in the, the bet. First I put 4. in 4.5. I put oh, in we half bet, a million. We I, bet that it would come back. <laughs> Scott had doubts. No, I didn't. In no. his own show. No, it was the odds no. were not even even of oh. I get even money. Right. They were zero to it was zero. zero. Oh, you didn't bet any money. 
I didn't. No, he bet the money. I bet the money, but I. And he won, but the odds were nothing. But if I had lost, I got them back as well. Yes. I get the money back. You get zero back. No, I get my four and a half million back. But isn't that what we were giving you originally? Yeah, exactly. And the second bet. The second bet. You won. I won, but if I had lost, it would have the same thing. You would have given me the four and a half back. So we gave him four and a half million. Oh, God. (laughs) Enough. I want to hear about Chico's. (laughs) I want to hear about Chico's big big announcement, you were saying. I, like I guess my question is, <laughs> yes. are we back? We're back. Well, yes. that's the part I didn't understand. Okay. okay, yes, okay. we are back. Yes, I won that bet. Although yes. I would have lost it, it wouldn't have mattered. All right. So we Chico. owe you nine million. No, four and a half. And I got it back. Thank you very much. It's in my Venmo now. Mm-hmm. Hey. So, Chico, you, uh, you have a big announcement that you were trying to say. That's uh, right. I'm getting married. He's getting hitched. Yeah. What? Yeah. Hitched like a horse? Yeah. <laughs> Tied down. <laughs> I, I like that. Uh, dude, yeah. I can't believe neither of you have said that to him. Tied yeah, down. Yeah, why didn't you think of that down. clever hitched, thing? Hitched like a horse. Yeah. Well, because the, do the horses get hitched or well, does the trailer? Well, they get well, they get hitched together. That's what the expression came from. For I sex? Is, no, they get... <laughs> For sex. <laughs> no. I mean, I would imagine horses, yes, they do have sex with each other. Yes, they That's do. That's how oh, you make new horses. You better believe they do. <laughs> you, you Wait, so your horses have sex with each other? We don't allow our horses to have sex. But they'll... That's why we go to horse breeders That's elsewhere right. okay. when we're scouting for horse fighting talent. They, so you, you But we go, assume that they do, you know, hoof stuff when we're not looking. Oh, no. So, so, <laughs> so wait, so you don't allow your horses to have sex, so you go to breeders to do what? For the breeders to have sex with to horses? To find a good horse That's fight. Right. Okay. Horse, ho- horse fighting horse. Okay. Trimax. To find talent. Trimax is known. Trimax. To, to use his With magnetic, magnetic hooves. Magnetic, yeah. magnetic hooves. Hook right around the, the uh, shaft of a fellow horse. Right. And for some time, he will uh, Just, move that along. And, okay. and I would we think, will allow that. I would think that it would decimate the horse penis. It does. With the force. Oh, it does. Mm-hmm. Oh, it does. Okay, I'm not that's talking like neuter. in a pleasurable way. Oh, oh, that's how you neuter the horses. That's how we neuter. Trimax, Trimax has just retired, gets in there. and he's now our neutering horse doctor. Oh, well, that's a nice... So you haven't killed Trimax and put him out to oh, pasture. Oh, no, no. Oh. He's going to live a long life with those we magnetic tubes. Couldn't need you that. have just kept the magnets? We, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, sorry. They're on Trimax's hooves. You never dis dishoove a horse. You, you don't. When you're a champion. That is Petunia. Petunia. How would you feel if we tried to dishoove you? <laughs> Come down now. Oh, no, oh, Petunia, right. I didn't. I didn't mean anything. That's anything right. Bad. I didn't mean anything by it. Case and point. Okay. I just asked a horse right. in front of you. Right. It would it feel like to have your hooves removed? It feels like a magic trick. You know, like stomp once for <laughs> two plus two equals how many? Stomp four times. She can do a real magic trick. Really? Yeah. What do you got? Petunia. Do it. Take out your deck of cards. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> okay. Really Scotty, awesome. how much money are you putting on this one? I, I don't know what I'm betting on or not betting on. Do you, beli- do you think you, that Petunia? I'll tell you this right now. The odds are two to one. Okay, two, two to one. Two to Okay, for, for what to happen? That do I you? Be, you got to pick a card. Okay. Okay, I'll pick a card. All right, great. All right, now don't show Petunia. Okay, I won't show Petunia. What am I betting on? Whether Petunia will know the card? We will tell you <laughs> when, when the, the illusion is done. Have I bet, though? I'll bet the full four and a half. Four okay. and a half million. Four and a half million. Yeah. All, right. All right. Petunia, okay. come on. We now, Petunia, yeah, yeah, you need to know what I'm betting Petunia's going to turn around now. Okay. 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 Yeah, and we're going to open the door. Okay. It's a noisy door. I'm and apologizing. she's going to leave the room. Okay. Close the door, Petunia. Mm. Do you have any granola bars out there? Because she's going to eat all of them. I'll, I have gold bars out there. I hope. Oh, that, well, they're going to be eaten. Oh, no. <laughs> now show us the card. Okay, here you go. Okay, eight of clubs. Eight of eight clubs. clubs. Eight of clubs. Classic, classic middle-of-the-deck card. Now, now, you, card. now I want you to eat that card. Okay. Eat it in your Like ma- digest it or that, just yeah. put it in my mouth? Okay. Put it in your mouth. Can I tear it up at all or no, crumple it? That old, the, I need to do the it trick. totally flat. You can roll it. Okay, Long I feel like ways. I'm going to... I'm roll it in I can roll it. Tube it. Yep. Okay. Tube it. Dupe you, the cards. You do what you want, it. but if at any point you opt out... I feel like I'm being intubated here. Okay, uh... Yeah, gross. Uh, yeah, you're the ones who wanted me to do it. He we did it. He we did didn't it. say it this wasn't going to be gross. Anybody. Oh, Scotland. Oh. You know what they say. Oh. What do they say? Never. Yeah, 
Swallow a tube car during a horse trick. That's 5%. Always tuck it under the tongue. 10. Because then, when the horse returns to the room, 15. They're going to ask you for that car back. 20. Now I'm sort of getting where it is. The horse is going to return and ask me for the card back. Because if you swallow it whole, 25. Number one, you'll have some tummy aches. 30. And it's going to come out the other end eventually. 35. And good luck good with that. that. 40. But if you can hand it back to the horse. 45. Then the good trick can continue. Halfway home. Oh, no, no. You know what? The trick can go on. Hold on. I'll start over. Start over. Start over. Start over. Oh, no. We don't have time for this. Oh, okay. We don't have time for this. So what's happening now? When do I get right. my four and a half well, million Well, I'm going to let Petunia back in. Okay. <laughs> Petunia, come in. Come on in here, darling. He, he, did, did Petunia, you my gold Petunia, bars? get this. <laughs> Can't tell what is horse <laughs> mouth sounds and what is horse hoof sounds. Oh, <laughs> it's very drafty in here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is that? What is it? A human baby? <laughs> Ooh, ooh. What is happening here? I don't, I don't quite. I don't quite understand what's happening. This is, it's bedazzling. I can't believe what I'm seeing with my eyes. Oh my god! Uh, now I'm gonna close the door. Um, Petunia. Petunia. Yes. He swallowed the card. <laughs> <laughs> Am I being made fun of by a horse? That was just a trick. Petunia's laughing at you. Okay. See, All it's right. not a typical trick, All a magic right. trick. It's just a trick. So it's on just you. A, so to, to humiliate me. That's right. Okay. Okay. Did you hear that? Do you hear? Yeah. Clubs. I heard it. Yeah. yeah. Was that so? Wait, it was. So do P I win? Petunia just said it. I, so I win. What did you What did you bet? What did you get? Four and a half million at two to one yes. odds. So I yes, get nine. I get nine million. And he said the horse was going to cash it right. Yeah. Yes. Oh. The I best. Who I didn't know. But. For the Calvin's oh. triplets brothers. Man, nine million dollars. Oh. Okay, I, I, I'll Venmo that right over to I you. I could Thank not you. have winked any Sheepers, harder. Creepers. You were winking so hard. I, I don't understand. You guys. That's why I felt good about it. You guys know this horse can do this trick. Yeah. Oh yeah. We taught it to him. <laughs> so why are you? Okay. Well, thank you. And all right. Full. Confession, Scott Lee. Mm. That wasn't Petunia talking. That was me. That was <laughs> if you notice, I lowered my hat. Yeah, over my ten mouth. Gallon. I did notice my ten-gallon oh. hat. Picking hat. So we have nobody to blame but ourselves. Yeah, That's but right. yourself actually. Yeah, I guess I it's think mostly these guys should be blaming you. Oh boy, we're all Damn. together on this. We go down. <sighs> Chico. The ship. Bevo, we are that's running. Your, that's your wedding fund. Yeah, we are running. Uh, yeah, uh, speaking of the wedding, long. you're, you're yeah. getting married. This is so exciting. That's right. To yes. whom are you uh, betrothed? Well, uh, her, her name is uh, Marinka. And, Marinka. Uh, I found her in a catalog, a, uh, a Russian uh, catalog. Was she a, a model in the catalog or was she uh, No, a, you could purchase a wife. She was being sold. Oh, that's okay. That's right. So, okay, interesting. She uh, is so old. Very old. How old? How old? Crazy old. <laughs> we like, give you a range. Uh, I guarantee, if we said guess, uh huh, you will be way under. From, okay, should from, I? You want to bet on this? I'll bet the full nine million on nine it. Million. Nine, million. Nine, nine million. Nine million. Nine million. Nine million. Nine million that there's no way you yeah. could guess her actual <laughs> age. actual or, age. And uh, they, I'll go even further and say, no matter what you say, she's older. No matter no what, matter what I say, she's going to be older. She'll be older than that. No matter what age I say, she'll. No so is this the bet? Age. That's what, the what, bet. That's the bet, or is it that I'm guessing? Wait, her that's the bet you're age? making. Well, so it's two bets. We're side pot. He can't get exactly. That, that's that, what. And okay, then he's going to underbid. No matter what he I say, he will always underbid. Okay, that's so right. and how much money are you putting up? I, me. Yeah. yeah. What are the odds on you on your bet? Right, I'm not betting. I'm giving you the bet. Yeah, I know, but what are the I'll odds? I put in six million. Six million. <laughs> so it's at it's at a nine to six odds. So it's yep. at, uh, yeah, a yeah uh, a three to two odds. And what are and wh what are the bet? What are the odds you on you? You won't get exactly. Yeah, and what are the odds? What are the thousand odds? That's to one. Ten, oh. thousand to one. So three to two and thousand to one. No, Jeez. ten thousand to one. Ten thousand. Ten thousand to, to one and three to two for you. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to bet one age, and if I get it exactly right, 
If you get it exactly right, I mean, you've just you've you've cracked the okay. code. That's so I'm gonna I'm gonna bet four and a half million on your on yours, and I'm gonna do four and a half million on yours. Uh-huh. Two slightly different odds. Yeah. Uh, Ten thousand to one at four and a half million. That's I'm I'm set. That's a lot of zero. Maybe all of the money in the world. Well, <laughs> so I we'll see if you can. If okay, you can do let's it. see if I can do the chances this. that you do that. All right, let me think this over. Okay, so you I literally ten thousand. So you think it's one. really so? I could win this by basically. I could win the three to two by uh, saying um, like infinity because that's the highest number there is. That's right. And then, but then uh, on my four and a half million, I would only get back approximately three million or so of it. Uh-huh. And then I would lose the four and a half million over here because undoubtedly she's not infinity. So I'm going to lose money on that. So I should guess something actually realistic and try to win both. Hmm. I'm going to say 47. That's right. Damn it! <laughs> How did you guess a number that high? <laughs> Son of a bitch. God damn it. Ooh, <laughs> that smarts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I had a horrible feeling from the beginning Ooh. of that. I Ooh. said, I said, Bisbee, don't you do this? Don't you bring it up? And I said, it could be easy money. <laughs> yeah, and but God damn it. That your odds were sane at least. <laughs> Man. Well, oh. somebody get out a calculator because oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, can't you, even, I can't even fathom it. Oh, Petunia's going to add up what we owe you. You owe me about $3 million or so. <laughs> yep. Uh, but uh, as for you guys, it's 47 gazillion dollars. <laughs> oh, my God. I am set. That's a lot. I'm set for like, can you just Venmo that to me right now? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, so Venmo that over. All right, thanks, guys. Oh, uh. Marinka you is should. not going to be happy about this. No, she's got a joint checking account. Fortunately, she can cover it. She that, can really. Is she? Is she a rich? She's, she's absurdly ex- wealthy. Extremely why wealthy. In, why is she in a catalog? That's then? a good question. This, <laughs> his Venmo account is attached to her bank account. Oh, yes. Okay. So uh, that forty-seven gonna, gazillion that should will, be right over there right now. That will okay. be noticed. That will be that noticed will by. Be noticed. Is she the she's daughter? going to be a flag. Is she the daughter of one of these wealthy oligarchs from uh, Russia? I or? wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you don't know. I mean, it's difficult right. to imagine. In order for her to be a daughter of someone, that means there's someone older than her that's her parent. Chico doesn't matter. speak Russian. No, and she doesn't speak a lick of English. Not a word. Right, but her la- is her last name oligarch. Yes, it is. Marinka Marinka oligarch. oligarch. Okay, interesting. So you guys don't understand each other, but she's very no. rich. You can tell she's rich because you joined your banking uh, accounts together. Yeah, she just she just sent you forty seven gazillion dollars. I, I appreciate much. it. I mean, uh, probably a, a couple million from us. So this is why you're so free with your money because there's a bottomless well of. As far as I know, yeah. Wow. So, ha- so tell me the story. Tell me. I mean, you you ordered her from the catalog, although I don't know why she needs the money. That's right. Well, uh, it was from a Mad magazine. The back of a Mad magazine. That's a Mad He he, fe- Mad. he fe- folded the back page. Okay. And there her face a Mad was. Mad magazine. Okay. And, and there, there was she Marinka. was. And uh, there was a phone number right there. It said KL5. Okay. And then several other numbers. I don't want to give away what numbers. <laughs> right. Were. But yeah, but a 555 five, five number. Yes. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I called her up and uh, I said... Uh, hello, I have just uh, seen your face. On, she didn't uh, understand any of this. She said a bunch of gibberish back to me. Right. I didn't understand a, a, a word of it, but mm-hmm. uh, I got one of those, uh, 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 on my phone, I got one of those translate apps. Sure, that can uh, translate spoken word? Yeah, mm-hmm. app is short for application. Yeah, and uh, I just held it up to the phone, and then she would While say... you were, said, okay, so th- you were on a regular, on a landline? Yes, and, you were hol- and you were holding your cell phone up to the landline. That's exactly right. Okay, great. You've described it exactly Thank how you. it went down. And uh, I would hold, hold up my phone, uh, and she would say some stuff, and then the team would, and would translate that. And then uh, I translated uh, into Russian, hold your phone up to the thing, and it'll translate my words. And then we went through the sure. whole thing. Uh, so, and then- so when you say that you guys are not communicating, you guys actually, it sounds like... You, you're understanding each other pretty well, clearly. Well, phones are communicating. Yeah, unless, right. unless these uh, phone apps are inaccurate, which is entirely or possible. Or maybe they're sentient on their own and having a conversation that doesn't involve the two of you. Right? Yeah. That is true. 
In which <laughs> thank you, Bisbee. <laughs> Appreciate that, brother. <laughs> you got it. Um, so, uh, so we got engaged over the phone. Amazing. So she's here. She's on her way. She's on her way. You've never met her. No. Oh, okay. Do you, she, you, you, but you have but seen her picture. She's on her way to the studio. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. When, when are you guys planning the wedding? Are today or? I, I think it will be later today if she's okay with that. When you say for, later today within this program? I think it's possible. Oh. It's a good time for me to say, too, if you need me to be your best man, I will be. Well, no. <laughs> no, no, no offense, men. I'm just saying I'm probably most prepared. Offense well, received. I, Bisbee, I mean, uh, this here. This here being Beva, his brother, his I, whole life. Uh, but I'm just saying, I'd look pretty cool. I'm seven foot nine. I have a wonderful, wonderful suit. You'd yeah. slow down the ceremony. I would do no such thing. When, would, when I, the priest asks for the rings, you got to reach in all the way all down to that seven foot nine pocket. Yeah. You got to pull it all, all the way out. Way out. That's called a dramatic moment. What's uh, this suit that you have that you're so proud of? Oh, it's I did the semen on it. Stormtrooper suit. <laughs> it's, okay. a, it's a suit made of wool done in a pattern the, the, of a Nazi stormtrooper. That's right. <laughs> it's okay, so, done like, like a Nazi I thought it was a Star Wars one, but... No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, Chico. I, I mean uh, this is... Uh, I accept. Well, you don't have to pick I, I, the best man now. You just got to do it before the end of the show. Well, uh, okay, I, I guess I got something to think about. I In the I meantime, I accept. If you choose to do that, I'll well, just say Well, you can't I, be so presumptuous as to accept. Who's well, out of the door? Petunia. Is it Petunia? Petunia, get the door. <laughs> Bless, I am for Chico. Oh. Marinka! Marinka, oh, oh, oh my God! Her, it's you it, in the flesh. You, you, he's Chico. This, oh, I, uh, I am not Chico. My uh, name da, is da. Bisbee, but may I no, kiss look you? Down, look you, down, look down here. Look down. You is Chico. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, no, not I'm Belva. Bever. I'm Chico's brother. Look at your left. best man. Well, look. we'll see about that. Allow me to give you. You, you is Chico. Oh, I'm very flattered, but uh, uh, no, I, I'm afraid uh, Chico is is down and to the left. Of you. Hello! No. Hey! No. no. Marinka! No. I think she would say yet. No. <laughs> Marinka! Down there, Marinka. Oh! Chico hands! Down here! You is Chico? Yeah! Chico's I am there. not Chico. <laughs> but I will give uh, you a welcome present to uh, America. It, mm. The... Mm. Mm. Hey! Okay, oh. now. Hey. Well, how are you gonna? How are you gonna right. pick? I just was saying. This, well, this seven foot nine uh, fiance stealing. No, uh, I was giving her a sisterly cop welcome. Cop feeling, uh, mean. No, wheeling dealing hawkster uh, for your best man. No he just laid lips hawkster. on your newly arrived As a welcome ride. present. I can't believe you just did that, Bisbee. It was a small, long kiss on the lips. It was a long... You consider that long? <laughs> it That's was a very long. That's the longest kiss I've ever had. Really? With tongues and everything. With tongue. Two, to be precise. I've, okay, so j- just to paint a picture for the listeners, uh, uh, a, a, a very tall uh, Russian woman just walked in whose face, uh, uh, I hope I'm not insulting your future bride, Chico, mm-hmm. looks uh, a, a lot like two pieces of flesh that have been folded and put together. That's accurate. <laughs> like a, the back of a magazine, a mad magazine. Marinka. Marinka, yes, Marinka oligarch. Duh. Uh, this is Chico, your, uh, I don't know what the word for husband is. Maybe you, uh, uh, should you Bing, uh, translate? Oh, just Bing it, baby. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Gandusha. 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 Hey! Hey. Gandushka. No, uh, it's just pointing, be... pointing at Bisbee. Hey, if you're not going to take me as your best man, then things are wide open and I could take Marinka. Well, well, here's the thing, though, too. I'm still either way in the running for best man. That's right. So I feel like everything's so, yeah. coming up better. <laughs> yeah, you you have 100% odds on being best man. You want to take, that, take a bet on, on that? I'll make, I'll, make a, a bet. I'll make a bet. I'll make the entire 32 gajillion. 
that you're going to be the best man All by right. the end of the I, thing. I, Go ahead and Venmo that. Bet. Okay, what are the odds on that? <laughs> yeah, what are the odds? Those are uh, 1 to 4,600. One to forty six hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if he wins, so he I, gets I get a one fraction back. Forty six hundred of, of eighty two gajillion okay. back plus my thirty eight gajillion originally. That's okay, right. I'll take it. I'll okay. take it. That's reasonable. Hey. Okay. Um. So uh, this is Marinka. Duh. Well, I uh, I can't deny that I have just a just a huge attraction to you. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Chico. Yeah, yeah, you're. By the way, your erection is is about Chico's uh, like height right now. It's like practically. It's as long as the semen on Chico. <laughs> Get. <laughs> it's practically poking him in the eye. Get uh, that boner away from me. <laughs> yes. No, you deserve that. Stop it. <laughs> Talk to it. Respect it. Hey, how do you like that? Ow! Uh, ah, ow! Uh, ow! Uh, how are you getting inside it? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Ah! Get it away. That's right. Okay, it's it's died down. It's ow. died down. Oh. Uh, Seems like Chico's picked up a thing or two from watching all them horse <laughs> fights. That's right. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Beating his dick to the dust. Trimax would be proud. <laughs> Marinka, will you come with me? Nit. What? Chico is Gadurska. Chi- yeah. She was so impressed. Mariko seems so impressed uh. by Chico's manly slapping of Bisbee St. Hancock's penis that she now is. Hancock's impressed. cock! Hey, Ch- <laughs> yes. Chico. You're welcome. Why are you winking at me flirtily like that? Because I was doing that as a favor to you. Oh, my gosh. Oh. What an incredible favor. That's like the favor, the type of favor a best man would. That's right. Would would give someone. Oh. It is that kind of favor. Well, that is just absolutely impossible to argue with. <gasps> and... Wait, are you... If I, if I made Bisbee my best man, that would mean that we would win... The bet, and we'd win a whole lot of Scotty Ackerman's money right back. Really, only so I have five hundred grand. <laughs> I got, kind of nothing I have to me. decided. There's no rule, also. What? That you couldn't have more than one best man. Uh, that's a fine point as well. But there is a rule: <laughs> you gotta have a witness. <laughs> yes, that's you do. True. I, uh, I could be the witness if you both want to be best men. Well, now we need an officiator. Uh, I'm not quite. We Chico. also need a DJ. <laughs> I don't know. How, look, uh, Engineer hey, Sam. Who can the be, heck's catering <laughs> this affair? Where are the flowers? <laughs> look, I can't do all these jobs. Engineer Sam can be the DJ, but uh, Chico, have you ever officiated your own wedding? Uh, not until today, but I'm, it's a good time to start. They say that uh, only a fool represents himself in court, but I, I think that you could officiate your own wedding. I'll be the witness. Uh-huh. You both be best men. I haven't decided who's the best man yet. We'll be the best man. Both of us should be. I've made my decision. What's your decision? And this is very important. The best man will be only Bever. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I win. Oh, no. God I win. damn it. Oh. You are so close. How did that it happen? Is too many lost Bev. How Jesus. did it happen? I that was I just did. trying to steer you into picking both we so I can still oh. win. <laughs> crud. Oh. oh, crud, I did. Uh, crud is right. Well, well this, I never fully awful. forgave you for calling us the shameful boys. Oh. Low, wh- wh- low that year ago. Oh. oh, the shameful boys. I haven't heard about that for a year. But look, we, we need to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have a wedding for the ages. Uh, this is incredible. Chico Hans will be officiating his own wedding to uh, Marinka Oligarch and uh, Bever Hopox will be the best man. I will be the witness. Engineer Sam here will be the DJ. This is very exciting. I'm not sure who's catering, who brought the flowers. We'll sort all of that out in the break. We'll be right back with the Calvin's Triplets wedding right after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back. Uh, dearly beloved, uh, we are gathered here to. Oh, I'm just uh, reciting my favorite Prince song. Uh, do you guys have a favorite Prince song? I'm just trying to. I'm here with Engineer Sam trying to put together the DJ playlist for the Bad Dance. <laughs> bad Dance, definitely. I That's like Bad Dance. Okay, so well, I need more than just Bad Dance, guys. Why? Well, we're trying to figure out a playlist here. Cup, couple different versions of Bad Dance. Yeah, just That'll Bad do Dance. You, you ever heard Bad Dance live? <laughs> Various remixes. I'm not sure he ever played a lot. From the La Fontaine Theater <laughs> in Helena, Montana. <laughs> okay, maybe. Uh, 
Guys, it's time for this wedding. I mean, uh, oh uh, Marinka Oligarch has been upstairs uh, gussing herself up, I would imagine, and getting ready. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys have uh, gotten into your tuxedos, and uh, Bisbee St. Hancock, you're in your Nazi stormtrooper That's outfit. That's right. <laughs> and you're, you're... Ready to rock. <laughs> You're, you've taken on a brand new – you have a very different aura about That's you That's right, right. Very authoritative, if I may Everybody say so. Everybody sit down! Oh, oh my goodness. Calm okay. yourself. Dude. All right. Calm yourself. Me. All right. Well, as you can hear, the uh, string section is warming up, mm. and uh, it's just about time, Chico. Or, how right. do you feel? Oh, uh, a little bit nervous. I hope I don't get cold feet. Well, as your best man. Hope I don't get cold hands. Cold hands? I, I hope I hope you don't get cold bed sheets. And I, Aww. as your brother and your best man mm-hmm. and your best friend mm-hmm. and your best bee, honey, mm. horse fighting, promoting mm. business partner, mm-hmm. want to say to you mm. that I wish you all the happiness in the world. Oh. And when you get in there... In that wedding bed tonight, mm. just mm. keep your eyes closed. Very focused. Because I know how the, you get. Yes. Very just focused on the post. And as the runner up to best man, mm-hmm. I'd like to also say good luck. Yes. It's a hard road that many fail at. And chances are, somewhere down the road, you'll have an opportunity to screw this up. And I hope that you don't, but I have complete faith. That you will, and if you don't, Marinka might, and who cares? It's all shit in the end we die. Bisbee? What? Your attitude stinks. And you I'm stink. starting to wonder if you're even a brother you from the same mother. Well, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Who cares? I'm, I care, I'm, and I will take the bet that Chico will not fail this marriage. I'll take that bet. What are the odds? The odds are death. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my! That's I'll a lot of pressure. T- Don't Gosh, t- I'm glad I didn't chime in that I wanted to bet on this. So if I'm- if, the, if he fails, you die, and if I, if he goes, if he doesn't on, <laughs> fail, so then if, until your death, then you die. Then I die. <laughs> Are you willing to take those odds? Yes, <laughs> sissy gr- boy. Great I'll- odds for you, Bisbee. I- <laughs> I will absolutely. <laughs> Take that bet. Dever, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah. What's this up, Scottly? This is a bad bet for Scott you. Scottly, if there's anything I'm certain of, <laughs> it's bet. This is a it's very bad bet. I am. I don't like to brag, but I am, quite honestly, probably the best better you will ever meet in your life. You have lost so much money to right. today. Baba? Oh. Or or has one of my favorite hosts won so much money? Oh, with bets, sexy wing with bets that I was very oh, much in control, oh, oh, oh. orchestrating. This is like now you see me too. <laughs> my favorite movie. <laughs> my I knew f- that. My favorite movie novelization. <laughs> Here we go. In fact. I would like you to look at what I have inside Uh-oh. my oh. tux pocket. Oh, oh, I thought that was a Bible, but no, it's, it's a novelization a, it's of Now You See Me Too. And Now You See It as well, too. <laughs> That's on the back, yes. Yeah. <laughs> when you're finished reading, it's Oh, says, the books have kept going. It's a great series. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they re- call it the Harry Potter of Eisenberg <laughs> magic movies. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you for this wonderful gift on the occasion of your brother's so wedding. my point is, yes. don't you worry about a thing, okay, Scott. Thank you. Okay. So, will you take this bet? You a frontin', buntin', big log luntin', dry humpin', piece of wet toad swap? I will more than take this bet. I will take this bet to my grave. Literally. <laughs> And I will take it right now with a handshake on the on the probably failed marriage that is about to happen here today. Oh no spit God. That is a giant loogie. <laughs> oh, oh God. Is. Oh, it's on the inside do you, of his head. Do you have a cold or something? Why do you have so much congestion? Oh, please, oh. please stop it. Oh, but flam for days. If I know one thing about my recently acquired brother, nobody flames like Bisbee. Shake on it. 
Oh god, this is this guy's fly it flew all over the place. Oh god, it got all over my underboob. We oh, have man. ourselves an accord. Oh, okay, boy. well, Chico, how do how do you feel about them I, betting on the success of your marriage? I I am uh, very concerned, extremely concerned. Mm. But I what guess can you I do? can't turn back now. Yeah, I guess unless I. Uh, oh, uh, you Chico, can't do. Chico, oh, you gotta you think hard. Back. How oh, can you how can you fix this for your your two best friends in the world? Mm. Think hard, Chico. Uh, have a have an internal monologue that just is spoken out loud into a microphone. Oh, I'd like to hear this. Okay. Ding! Ah, that's an idea. Okay. Oh, okay. I decide on that. He's indecipherable okay. now, but it sounds like All he's right. come up with a great idea. <clears throat> I, got, I guess I got an idea here. Oh, and just in time, because look at that. Marinka! Marinka has appeared at the top of the stairway. Well, well. Look well. at her. I didn't notice the stairway in this recording studio. And here it is. Oh, that's the lovely strains uh, of Here Comes the Bride. How about this? Petunia walk in Marinka down the aisle. Oh. <laughs> well. Well, Marinka, here you are. That's what <laughs> what a lovely wedding dress. dress and is... I've done all of the semen on that. Yeah. So short. So short. So, the dress? Yeah. yeah. The well, dress. That's a mini uh, mini. Oh. Uh, that, you can see everything. It, lo- it looks like Scott's underboob. <laughs> <laughs> Marinka's bottom looks just like Scott's Marinka's underboob. Marinka's bottom does look like her And underboob. it looks like two things folded together, if you know what I mean, in the right way. I do know what you mean. I'd like to read that magazine. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having it explained to me. <laughs> After the show, I believe. That's a, that's so, fair. Chico. After the wedding. Yes, Chico. Oh, yes. You're going to be officiating. I suppose it's time for me to officiate in this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, dearly beloved, we are gathered yes, here today. Yes, we already have that in the playlist. Don't to, worry. To celebrate a thing called life. Well, we have Bat Dance too. And Bat Dance. Worry. Great. We, it's all taken care of. Don't worry. Go ahead and officiate. So, let's cut to the chase. Dance. Calm down. Oh, we got now. a live one. Calm down now. Calm down. <laughs> this is my wedding. Now. <clears throat> We're just excited to hear bat dance. We don't get to hear it all that much. Now, Marinka, uh, you, are, you are gathered here today, and uh, do you take Chico Hands to be your awfully wedded husband? Awfully? <laughs> Speaking into her phone. Yes, from the second I laid eyes on my future husband, Chico Hands, I was disappointed. Then, when I saw this man confront the giant one's large piece, I knew I had chosen a good partner for breeding. Oh, well, wow. that, that was really That's nice to hear from that incredible. telephone yeah, application. Uh, application. Could have yeah. been wrong, though. You never know. Those things aren't 100% accurate. Yeah, all right. Calm down. So hey. now you... Uh, we, Look who's now. the phone app Nazi. <laughs> hey. Amongst <laughs> other things. Um, and and uh, uh, Chico... Want, Chico, yes, yes. Chico, do you take Marinka to be your awfully wedded wife? I keep saying awfully instead of lawful. <laughs> all right. Speak into your phone application there. Uh, do it in English first, and it'll come out in Russian. I'm going to do it quietly. Okay. Well, we can't hear anything that he said. And now I will... Oh, my gosh. And I'll translate it myself, what it said. Okay. It said... Why didn't you just do it for us? No! <laughs> it said no? No! I do not take Marinka to be my Where's awfully she? wedded wife. I guess, Beva! That's, that's incredible. You're Beva. Well, well, well. He's just talking to himself. <laughs> How are you going to let this happen as the best man? Let me finish next His time, His internal Chico. monologue. Beva, you are witnessing <laughs> before your eyes the deterioration of your brother's one true love. There's a reason why I did it. You say, yeah, what's the reason? Because you... Because if, because if I got married 
somehow it would lead to one of my two best friends being oh. killed. So by and never I could never let married. it happen. Never getting married, you the bet of. doesn't even exist. The <laughs> bet was never consummated. Oh, I'm not going to let this rusky tear apart <laughs> Well, hey, the greatest triumvirate that ever did exist. Fresh, get over the guy. What is happening? I'm kicking your ass to the curb, Marika. Oh, That's not the curb. going down. Not the curb. Not the curb. Not the curb. You just got Chico. Not the curb that Trimax stomps that shark on. No, 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 no. no not okay, literally. No, that's no. in the middle of the Caribbean, Scott. <laughs> okay, I Wait just a minute. Want to make What's sure. Trimax doing here? <laughs> oh, no. He's running towards me. Oh, he's got. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The magnets on Trimax's hooves slammed together and somebody cr- get the bounty! Crushed her head! No oh boy! Oh my god, she's dead! Oh she's goodness. decapitated! Hold on, let me no, feel no, a pulse! No, wait a second! A pulse! Oh, oh yes! This crushed headed woman is absolutely deceased. Uh, hold oh, on no. now! No, What's this minute. here in a handbag? Uh oh. What's this? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, it, uh, it, it it's, looks like it's in Russian, but it, it's similar to our American checks. Oh, my gosh. Check. And it is a check, a check for 50 gazillion dollars. Who's it made out to? Who's it made out to? Scott Lee. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, Trimax, man. no. Trimax, oh, no. Oh, he's oh, going to no. throw her. Oh, he's oh, going to throw her. He's going to throw the headless <laughs> corpse. <laughs> Of my of our dear Whee! brother's almost bride. No. Oh God! No. Right against the wall. Oh, it's all splattered. Oh, wait, wait a minute here. Oh God! Wait well, a minute now. That went south. It sure oh. did. But as I'm examining this goo that <laughs> that uh, used to be. Uh, Marinka. Uh, uh, not, I wouldn't say a beautiful Russian woman, but certainly a striking woman. What's this right here? Look at all of these wires and what? microchips. <gasps> what? She was a robot. <laughs> she was a goddamn ro- robot. I knew ah, it. Ah, there was something fishy, uh, wishy, smishy. The Russians, they sent us a dishy. They, wait, they sent a robot to spy on us all? Uh-huh. No, they tried to break up. Oh, they're they causing division. That way, yep. they could own... The whole the Calvin's franchise. triplets oh. franchise horse fighting international. They're trying to break oh. you guys up like NATO. We don't yep. go down that easy. Oh, oh. this and is only we <laughs> foiled the plot. Much like the end of Watchmen, this has just made you grow stronger. Yeah, that's it's, right. There's a movie called End of Watchmen. <laughs> you auditioned for that. <laughs> oh, I, I know. Did. I never got to hear your juice box <laughs> commercial audition. By the way, we got to get back to that at some point. But this is incredible. So the Russians tried to break up the Calvin's triplets, mm. tried to split you asunder, uh-huh. but that could uh-huh. never happen to these three fine horse fighting, honey farming, brother loving gentlemen. Oh, and right. without Trimax splitting her head. <laughs> like a coconut, That's we right. never would have known that That's that she right. was uh, all wires and microchips. Right. So many microchips, more microchips than than really I think are necessary very, in a robot. Very complicated. <laughs> she looks yeah. like she was all microchips. <laughs> she looks like she was basically like a hull of human flesh. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. some wires built into the walls, mm-hmm. then just stuffed with microchips. Stuff. It's just like a burlap sack full of microchips. A pinata, loose microchips, <laughs> tossed together microchips oh. in a couple wires. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, well scared, I suppose there's only one thing to do. What's that? Back to the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Back to pirating. Pirating. Yeah. Raise a few gazillion dollars to pay off Scotley. Burn down mm-hmm. some yachts. Sail right over to Russia and take out our vengeance on our distrustful business partners. Right. Uh, the, the oligarchs. I but think before it's a that... Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Nice. There we go. Hey, just because you didn't get married doesn't mean that we can't have a party, right? Hey, who wants some punch? Let's dance. <laughs> Let's all bat dance, yeah. Chico. First Woo. on the floor. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Look at those moves. Get a load of my moves. And those are the lines to the juice box commercial. <laughs> those were the lines to the juice box commercial. The juice box commercial. 
Oh, I thought you said jukebox commercial. I did. Because that would have made more sense with me. I, I did say jukebox. Okay, well, I want to hear the juice box commercial. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. That was fun that. to dance. Thank you so yeah. much for, for queuing that up. But uh, before we go, yes. I need to hear this juice box commercial. All, all right. right. Let me get right. on your shoulders now, all right. Bevan. All right. Get on up hey. there. Hey. Oh. And if you could just put that trench coat on. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure yeah. all the semen yeah. covers my face. There and you go, right. cover there it up. Go. And Scott Lee, if you, when you're ready, give us an action and also a rolling and speeding. Sound speed, mm-hmm. rolling, action. Okay. Oh. Uh, line. <laughs> you say, uh, Mom, I'm thirsty. But you're in this, on. you're one of the Hold on now. <laughs> uh, I think we got that covered. <laughs> Thank you, Bisbee. <laughs> Okay, he put himself back in the trench coat. That is, of course, Bisbee's. Sorry about that. I'm yeah. still. Bever is the Bevers. one. Bevers. Bevers. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself again? <laughs> you better get this audition right for Scott Lee, your friend, who you owe a ton of money to. It's all he's ever asked for himself. Here we go. Take two. Mm-hmm. Take two. <clears throat> Rolling sound speed action. Uh, it's hot. Line. It's hot today. It's hot today. That, that's true. Well, I got the burgers, but what's going to go with them? Hi, my name's Thomas. Hi, my name's Thomas. And when I sit down for a delicious, juicy burger... And when I sit down for a delicious, juicy burger... There's only one liquid that can pass through my lips. There's only one liquid that can pass through my lips. What can I get for you, Thomas? (laughs) Bye. Hey hey there, Giardo. Hey there, Giardo. How's the store? How's the store? No business today, but that's all right. Line. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. You don't really care. You're here for the food and the drink. How long is this commercial? Line. It seems like a like one of those Super Bowl. It's an, it was full three minute like. It's a it half was. hour infomercial. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. No wonder you have so much time to luxuriate in the storyline of this. Well, Giorgio. Well, Giordo. I will take. A six-pack of your finest Mott's apple grape juice. I'll take a six-pack of your finest Mott's apple grape juice boxes. You got it. Coming right up. On ice or warm? Ice, you dolt. Ice, you dolt. Ha, 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 ha. You get me every time with that one. Candy with it or no? Ha, 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 Sure do. Sure do. Give me give me a box of hot tamales. <laughs> give me a box of hot tamales. Oh, Thursdays are always spicy. Line. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> this is a juice box commercial? Because yes. it suddenly turned into a hot tamales commercial. They said Mott's apple juice first, Scott. It's they- a crossover. Yeah. Cross marketing. Synergy. What goes better with a juice box? Brand brand synergy. Synergy. Cinnamon synergy. Synergy in good company. Synergy is one of your horses, right? That's right. right. Oh, yeah. So is yeah. good company. <laughs> so is good in good company. Okay. So who, is Scotley. Who won? Wait, so, Scott is, so is Hot Tamales. Oh, my God. And who won? So is Marinka. <laughs> and so is Mott's <laughs> Grape Apple Juice Box. <laughs> wow. And who's the winner out of all of those? Like in a fight? Yeah. Wait, that's Crossing. what you guys do, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, oh, but the, I didn't know if you meant softball or in a fight. Oh, that's right. I forgot. About it. Oh, yeah. We've almost done the full softball. Yeah. Nine players. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, definitely. Yeah, cinnamon's great. And when cinnamon is out of the stable. Well, you know what they say. When cinnamon out of the, gets out of the stable. Five mm-hmm. percent. The, oh, no way. trouble's coming. Five percent. <laughs> you can look over at the horizon and see where cinnamon's heading. But you'll never really know. Ten percent. Until you get to the... Downstown. Okay, we don't have time for this. We, we're running out of time on the show. Just cut to the last cut 5%. To the ver- yeah, the last yeah. five, please. Because, so your only hope is that. Is that? That's how it ends? Well, I, it? you got to uh, back uh, up. Sort, oh, of, yeah, the previous. sort of like 65 to 85% is where the real <laughs> yeah, the meat, meat of it is. Oh, yeah, okay, so. I got it. Out of context, it doesn't make any sense. Well, no. speaking of 85, we're 85% of the way out of this show, and uh, the only thing left to do on it is called Plugs. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, 
wow. That's uh, that's pretty good. That was a play on our closing up the plug bag theme. Baggage time, parentheses, pre-prize by the human neighbor. Thanks to the human neighbor for that wonderful uh, plug bag theme. And uh, guys, what are we plugging? I mean, obviously you guys came out here uh, plugging your new Russian development, which uh, now who knows if it's going to happen because you need to go out there and in- enact vengeance upon the oligarchs who mm-hmm. right. sent That's the robots right. to spy upon you. So That's anything right. else to plug? Um, yeah, we, we got a new line of condiments. Yeah. You got to laugh ketchup. Mm-hmm. You gotta laugh ketchup. You love That's it. That's right. Okay. What is? How is it different than other ketchups? Well, it's a, a Calvin's family recipe. Uh, so there's really? an enormous amount of honey in it. Mm-hmm. That's actually honey it, ketchup sounds kind of good. The maybe. nicest thing that people are saying about it <laughs> is that it's too sweet ketchup. <laughs> That's the nicest. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. People have not been kind to the you gotta laugh ketchup. It and has. you know what? When you've invested a good size portion of your family's how much? Wealth, how much have you invested in this? <laughs> yeah, a ballpark. From the so like as much as a ballpark would cost. That's right. right. The amount of a ballpark, about $200 million. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. But you got naming rights, so that's we, good. That's right, yep. Yes. And, you know, when people almost immediately call it an utter failure. <laughs> they complain it, because it is technically not ketchup. No, it's and honey it, with, like, chunks of tomato uh-huh. floating in it. It's yeah. technically not even catsup. That's right. right. Yeah, it sounds disgusting. It sounds more like a honey product oh, right. yeah, than a ketchup, right. I would imagine. But First you said you liked it. Yeah, well, how quickly I mean, you change your tune. To t- well, you know, to tell you the truth, dipping fries in honey doesn't sound too bad, but then mm-hmm. you add chunks of tomato in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there, are there any other ingredients or... Yeah. Uh, there is a, a fair amount of corn syrup as well. <laughs> okay, why do you need that and with the honey? And cane sugar, evaporated <laughs> cane juice, <laughs> and three molasses, F- raw F- turbinado sugar. Turbinado as well. <laughs> Every bottle has 150 hot tamales in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a good uh, amount of... Uh, Mots. Uh, sucrose. No oh, Mots. Su- no Mots. But- Stevia. Each ketchup bottle does come with a little Mott straw taped to the side. <laughs> okay. uh-huh. In case you don't, you know, have a burger on you and you want to slope that thing right up. <laughs> sure, okay. and how many people use that straw? Very few. Yeah, um, that's a waste of resources. I'll go ahead and say none. <laughs> okay. No, there's there's, no. there's also you know a lot what? of saccharin in it. Sure, it might be a failure. It sounds disgusting, but you're here to promote it. But so. it could not be. In time. <laughs> sure, yeah. And no matter what, Scott Lee, mm. you gotta laugh. You do you gotta, gotta, gotta laugh. laugh. You gotta laugh. You do gotta laugh. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa, what a bag. It's time to open it. It's All right, guys. Well, this has been uh, quite a roller coaster for me. Um, it's and- been an interview for me. <laughs> right. Well, I guess I was using a metaphor. Ah, I was quite literal. Uh, yeah, you're very literal. Uh, you ever have roller coasters on your uh, farm there? Yes, we I mean, do. That would attract yes, some all kids. Build them right now. Sure thing. We, yeah. We've invited you every time. we got to have you onto the, to the range. i got to come by at some Are these Star Wars ro- themed roller coasters? Some yes, of them. they are. <laughs> Most I- of them. And I, I'm, we're expecting the cease and desist in three, two. I bet it's in our mailbox. Hello. Yep. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. So, do you mind, uh, Petunia? Do you mind opening the door? <laughs> oh, that guy looks like a lawyer. Uh, hello there, sir. Step in. I'm having a hard time hearing you from the hallway. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm from the Star Wars franchise over at Disney. You might have heard of us. Yeah, what's your this? name? My name is Daniel Simpson. Well, Mr. Simpson. 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 And we are immediately placing a cease and desist on the roller coasters at your farm. Danny boy, now you don't want to go ahead and do that. 
Well, I think, what is this horse? It's you. That's Petunia. That's Petunia. The one behind him with the paws. Yeah, that's Trimax. Oh, that's Trimax. Trimax. You don't want to get too close to Trimax, well, what, but. Hey, horse, why don't you back up? What the hell is she? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm covered in oh. blood all over my and, underboob. Oh, and defecant. Oh. oh, because the sound of when his head <laughs> hit yeah. was followed a few beats after <laughs> with by the sound of his body <laughs> defecating itself. Oh, oh. My. that happened. Daniel Simpson said. But let oh. me say. Crisis is averted. Crisis yeah. is averted. And try, man. In a situation like this, I mean, there's only one thing you can do, right? You yeah. gotta laugh. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Uh, hello? Oh, okay, hello. Uh, Scott Lee. Scott Lee, you in there? Oh, look, it's our boy Scott Lee. Oh, my gosh. Is this who I think it is? Is it Bever Hopox? That's me. Chico Hands. You got that right. And Bisbee St. Hancock? Top of the afternoon. Collectively for known as the, the Cavendish Triplets. Triplets. Yeah. <laughs> What is with all these balloons? Uh, well, uh, it's my 10th anniversary of the of the show that you have appeared on a scant few times. You're horsing. I'm not. Is that a term in the horse fighting business for you're doing well, oh you're having God. fun? I didn't even realize what I was doing. I guess it is now. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. As a horse fight promoter. I should have made. I, I should have taken better advantage of that. But no, I just came up with that on the spot. You right did. Now. Okay. You mean, am I fooling with you? I uh, thought you was missing ten uh, years. You don't look like it could be a day over sixteen. <laughs> I started this when I was six. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, it's so good to, for those of you who don't remember, but I, I can't imagine anyone who doesn't. Uh, these three gentlemen are uh, promoters of horse fights where horses uh, beat and stomp each other to death. Uh, more punching than stomping. But there have been some, there have been some changes to the rules. We're trying to ride. We're trying to eliminate stomping. Oh, really? So yeah, this is uh, this really... is like the NFL, where every year they come out with oh, new rules yeah. in order to new rules. There's a whole team of scientists analyzing. I thought Bill Maher might show up. <laughs> is Bill Maher here? <laughs> no, oh, he's we not. know Bill Maher. He's not. We may have some new no nos, but <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah. So what are the changes to the rules that you have? Uh, uh, this year alone is. Uh, uh, padded boots. Padded, padded boots. boots for the horses? For their yeah. hind hooves. That's hind right. hooves. Oh, okay. And then the boxing gloves, of course, for yeah. the front hooves. Yeah, there's yes. always been those big inflatable for boxing safety. gloves. For safety. For safety purposes. Thank you, Bisbee. That's all right. Clarifying. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, everything okay, Bisbee? Uh, I'm fine. He, he seems a little addled, almost as if he's taken a few too many horse punches. For but, safety well, reasons. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what. The reason we're here, Scott Lee, is because Bisbee, had, he had a doctor's appointment upstairs. So we just happened upon it. We said, oh, we're, really? At the doctor's office? Just two right. floors above us? That's, that's two right. Two floors above here. Wolf <laughs> Studios. Is everything okay? That's 44 steps. <laughs> Thank you, Bisbee. Thank you. Yes. Everything all right, Chico? Uh, well, we're going to find out uh, once we get word from the doctor. That's how doctors work. Oh, okay. But uh, is something but, bothering you? or? No, oh, not me. No, Bisbee. Oh, it's Bisbee. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Sorry, Chico. I thought you were the one who went to the doctor. No, no. Uh, uh, Bisbee went to the doctor. Is it, uh, What are some of his symptoms? Well, we all went to the doctor. Uh, yes. Sure, for support. Okay. Why do Be a little bit more literal, why don't you? Okay. We all stepped into the doctor's office. That together. was sarcasm. Oh. Me too. No. No, you it was not Bisbee. No, Bisbee, um, you don't want to get in know. on the Me Too movement that way. <laughs> You want to do it honestly. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, Bis uh, Bisbee's been acting a little Bisbee. strange. He's, 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 uh, he's been suffering from uh, what can only be described as the horse mumps. <laughs> the horse mumps. What exactly are the horse mumps, and can one be inoculated from them? Well, four months ago, I came down with the horse mumps, woke up. They came in, gave me my bucket. You know, what is the bucket? I don't think we've ever covered the, the what bucket do you receive in the morning? Each morning we wake up and we give each other buckets mm -hmm. to relieve ourselves. Oh, oh okay. There, uh, you have a beautiful new stadium. I thought. <laughs> why are there no state uh, of the art? Why, state of the art. Why are there no waterless urinals? <laughs> wall to wall, waterless, waterless, 
<laughs> it's one one large urinal that goes okay. around the circus. So dry with pipes. But it, in the sleeping quarters, like the, a pee trough. There are no working uh, uh, plumbing. Or? Well, that goes back to our youthful yeah, days. That's with, right. We oh, could no. have we could have all the work work and plumbing we want, but just out of custom, we that's prefer right. a bucket. You prefer the bucket. Okay. It's like a hipster when he uses uh, vinyl records instead <laughs> oh, of an MP3. Yeah. Okay. We Ret- love using the bucket it's in the morning. Retro. What it's retro. It's a retro body. It's retroactive. What I find interesting is is you give each other buckets instead of just having one that you keep. But uh, you wake up in the morning and, gi- and give each other buckets? Are you That's ass- right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're assigned uh, another person. Well, well everyone dr- flips over a card, you and depending out, on right. which card, that's what bucket you receive. Correct. So, Bever and Chico, do you ever get each other and then busy? Be, it just flips over his own card, or if it, then you have to redraw. <laughs> okay, how right. often does that happen? Or you have to there redraw? Was, no joke, no joke. There yeah. was one time where it took fourteen hours. Fourteen hours <laughs> for imagine. fourteen hours straight. For three people, it's very, very difficult. We're oh. not going anywhere till bucket disbursement has happened right you know and proper. How, <laughs> you know how hard it is to hold your insides for fourteen hours while you're going through this. I got why. Like, why not just pick out your own buckets, guys? Yeah, well, well, it's, it's just not it's tradition. Not, it's yeah, not we, the, the ceremony. I thought we mentioned our preference for custom. Right. Okay. So you woke up, someone gave you your bucket, and you gave someone else their bucket. That's right. And I realized I had some mumps on me. Okay. These are uh, uh, splotches or uh, some sort of discoloration? No, they're mumps. Okay. Mumps. When you say mump, you mean... It's uh, a mound and a hump. It's Google a mump. It. Is that what mump is? Mump. It's an abbreviation yeah. of mound it's and hump. It's a portmanteau of mound and hump? If I, I know a portmanteau, anything, that's right. If I know anything about diseases... Stuff is exactly what they sound like. Right. So a mump is like, oh, you can pretty it's a much mump, it's a mump visualize. Bump. It's a humpy, mumpy bump. <laughs> That's right. right. So, and you had one of these or more? Right. <laughs> Bever, remind, Bever reminded me that I hadn't gotten my horse mumps vaccination. Oh, uh, no. I had gotten my. If you're going to be working with horses, you have to get that. Well, that would have been smart, wouldn't it? Scott, Scott, can you come come over here? Let me whisper to you. Oh, okay. What are you yes. guys doing? Should you over come there? over here, too. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Whatever, come on. Uh, three of us should, should be included talk. in this. Bisbee, you just uh, occupy yourself okay. if you Hold don't on. mind. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, yes, I, Chico? I think the mumps might be seeping into his brain because he thinks he has horse mumps when quite clearly he has pony mumps. Okay, I don't know the difference. These are are the are the are the size of the mumps different? Of course. They're smaller. Oh, they're, they're much smaller. Smaller. Mumps. smaller. Not as developed. Okay, so right. it's like the smallpox is different from the chickenpox. Well, there's big pox. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Big okay. Pox, small pox. So you think that that one pony mump has just seeped into his uh, medulla oblongata? Oh. If I'm saying that correctly. Well, you're the doctor. I'm not <laughs> sure. Maybe. I'm not the doctor. You just saw the doctor. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We're worried that's about his brain. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're worried about his heart as well, oh, Scott. No. We're worried. What the doctor has explained to us upstairs right. is that with horse mumps, mm-hmm. you can just sort of drink enough water and eventually it'll take care of itself right. with pony mumps. Pony mumps, they're young, they're strong. Young, strong. They are viral. They are deathly viral and oh, at any no. moment. They just run through your blood like tiny ponies and, and you it, can't find them. And if it attaches to any of the organs inside your body, that organ will explode. Oh no, you need most of those. Yeah, that's from You're what I understand. Right. Oh yeah. my gosh. Is there any cure? 90, 91. Well, well we hope we find one. You're, you're just going to find one? The doctor didn't suggest any? I, I, we're waiting for an email from him. Yeah. Okay, well if you get one during this <laughs> taping, please let me know. We I mean, promise we will. You'll hear like like the sound of an email coming in. <laughs> of course we would. Bing bong. It would be like a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, but that wasn't it, right? No, that, that, was that, your, was just my that was your impression. Was my, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100. Oh, oh, come on back to Bisbee. Bisbee. Yeah. Bisbee. Can I, do you mind if I... Uh, you were wearing a hat of some sort. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, do you mind if I take a look at your scalp? Would no, that be... Uh, oh, boy. Here Show them that scalp. Oh my gosh, that hat is stuck to your skin. The skin's coming off. Man, you're going to have to move up to an 11 gallon. Oh my <gasps> goodness, the, the seeping pores Ooh. on top of that head. You're fumes. When did you lose all of your hair? Well, that's one of the symptoms of uh, horse mumps. Horse mumps, <laughs> yep. yep. That's classic, that's horse, classic mumps. horse mumps. And they say, though, the sooner you lose your hair, well, the sooner you're going downhill faster, and that's why we came by today. I wanted to say goodbye to you, Scotland. 
Oh, this doesn't necessarily have to be the end of you, Bisbee. I mean, well, I'm sure there are plenty of people who drink enough water when they get horse mumps. That that's right. Fine. That's the that's, cure, like the doctor right. said. That's you true. gotta drink that water, right. teeter totter, and please your daughter, because you're staying on longer. That's Because right. you drank your water, got rid of them horse mumps. Right. So uh, please your daughter. <laughs> Not sexually, Bisbee. No, I wasn't saying it like that. Oh, was... you were being sarcastic. Yes, oh, now we're both all on the same right. page. We taught him a new word. So drink up. I mean, uh, yeah. you have some water there. I... Water? It does water help with pony mumps? Oh, oh no, it's water. bad for them. <laughs> it's bad for them. Why are you? <laughs> it's terrible because we've got to keep with the illusion. <laughs> right, just for his state of <laughs> mental health. Yeah. I don't know how long I can keep this from him. No, I feel we're worse. making it worse. Hopefully long <laughs> enough for an email to come in. I mean, we'll hear the sound. Okay. Yeah, it'll be like... Yeah. But that was not No, it, right? again, that was just my mouth. That was your mouth, wow. right, yeah. I feel very much worse. Oh, oh God. Okay. No. Oh, my gosh, Bisbee, you you look seconds away from death's door. Mm. They say that at the last minute, you'll know you're going because your heart will explode. <laughs> your heart will explode, and that's how you'll know. That will be the last clue. The last clue. That's, just suddenly you'll, you'll, you'll get. Will, will it be like a... That's you, by no, the way. That's not the that, sound of your heart exploding. Yeah, it'd be more like a. <laughs> and that's not the sound of the email yet. <laughs> no, I, that was no, my I, mouth. You made me check. <laughs> <laughs> you did a phantom check. For I your... checked on my. I checked on my flip. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know, though, I appreciate everything all you had done for me. Yeah. Well, I would hate to see if the Calvin's triplets went back to Calvin's twins. I mean, why? Well, ah, just for progress sake. I mean, it seems like the next step would be Calvin's quadruplets. quadruplets? Yeah, and then That's uh, interesting. after that would be Calvin's, uh, what was that Andy Richter show? Quintuplets. Quintuplets, mm -hmm. that's right. That right. Good, that's our favorite show. <laughs> oh, really? Nope. Well, maybe you could watch an episode and, and, and cheer up your spirits. Uh, that's a good point. Do you mind putting it on? <laughs> sure, yeah, we have several. We have the videotape right here. Oh. Yeah. Here, just oh, occupy it, yourself. It, uh, was, it was under Andy Saves the Universe, your oh. box set of Andy okay. Saves the Universe. Well, you know, it's a, a, yeah, it should be under Q. It was under A. Oh, I love this episode. Guys, he doesn't have yeah. much longer to live. You've got to get him off the water. Five, five, six, seven, 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 How long did the doctor say he was going to take? I don't know. With he the said email? He, with the email, yeah. He said he was going to uh, see several more patients, then go to lunch. What? Then uh, tea time at the golf course. Oh, no. See, he's drinking tea at a golf course? Why? Yeah. I think so. He's a very fancy doctor. <laughs> oh, oh, only the finger best sandwiches? for Bisbee. Okay. Oh, so God. when did he say he would get back to you? After all that? Or? I don't know. He I said don't know. sometime therein. Yeah. Oh, my God. Does he ever play golf when he's at the golf course? Does he ever, like, take a big swing like a... <laughs> Oh. Maybe, let me no. check your phone. But, oh, Scott. Oh, that, you? that was my mouth. Sorry. You're that making was a lot of whooshing sounds. I've been waiting for the... <laughs> Okay, yeah, sorry, that was me. No. 60, 61, 60. Why is he that, counting while he watches quintuplets? He, he, is he trying to count the, 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 the actual... <laughs> okay. He's fast. He's trying to count the quintuplets. Structure. He would have stopped at five. Oh, my gosh. 72, 73, and let's go Maybe to I should send an let's email to, to the doctor. Right? Send oh, an email to the doctor, idea. yeah. Oh, does, all right. does it make the same sound when you send it as when... When one you receive one, I believe it does. Okay, so no, mine makes you a are a clip. Mine makes a clip clap. Oh, clip clap. oh, that's right. That's just, that's going away. You bought that app. That's right. Right. Okay, you're a quick typist, by the way. You seem to be done with it. All right, send it off. Here we go. Okay, it's sent. Great. All right. Well, now I guess there's nothing to do but wait until uh, in well, silence. <laughs> in total, just, I have a feeling I'm just a little more water and. I oh. think that's a good idea, Bisbee. Be sure, yeah. because no, take some it. of mine. If you have the horse mumps, that'll cure it. Oh. Guys, don't you think maybe he should save it for later? Oh, his nose just fell out and fell into well, his glass. My nose. My nose. Oh, it's yeah. in the glass. Hey. Oh, God. Well, his... if it's in the glass, drink it. That's what I always say. Oh, that is that's, what you that's always just say. part of the saying, isn't it? Yeah, if it's in the glass, drink it. If it's in the glass, drink it. it. If it's in, in the, the bucket, bucket dump, dump it. it. <laughs> if it's in the, if it's if it's in the, in the other, other room, room take, take it, it to, to the, the sawmill. Saw How often do you say this? Uh, without exaggeration. Hundred times an hour. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for dropping by. It really means we'll never get resolution on this, it seems, because this doctor is just. Oh God! Everything all right, Bisbee? Bisbee! Bisbee! Oh! Oh my God! Was that an email? Oh my! Was that an email? Oh yeah, 
it's pony mumps. <laughs> oh, oh! Bisbee's heart exploded, and one of his buttons flew off the <laughs> his shirt, and it's ricocheting around it's, the studio. It's still <laughs> ping ponging. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> gonna catch an ass. <laughs> ping ponging. <laughs> ping ping song and flick. Ding dong. Ding dong. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ring and rounding. <laughs> oh. Poor Bisbee, you oh, hate to see dear. him go that way. Oh, oh dear. man! Oh. But he's dead, and he's officially dead. Happy tenth anniversary, <laughs> Scotly. Well, it wouldn't be an anniversary of this show without someone perishing on the show. Oh, oh dear. boy! Terrible, oh, dear. terrible news. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll I, he, drag him out. Yeah, he doesn't have any relatives other than you, does he? Oh wait, someone's at the door. I don't. I, not that I'm aware of. Um, Oh my, Bisbee, oh, is that oh you? My Bisbee, what? you're on the floor, but I'm looking at you right here. I'm sorry, but who you've been spending the last six months with was not me. What? what? Bisbee! Bisbee! You've been spent. That's my twin brother, Jisbee. Jisbee oh, this whole time! <laughs> what the hell? What? Impos- <laughs> impossible! Oh, my, my, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Where this have is, you been, Bisbee? This is a big batch of horse apples. Right? I, I, I was taken to a, 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 a home and tied up by my brother. He was trying to infiltrate your horse fighting ring. Oh, he, he, thank God you didn't let him. Oh, God. You know so what? So that's Jisbee. That was just, and you know that what? That just, makes sense because, one, he, he kept saying we should franchise all the time. In fact, he was saying that more often than what Bisbee does say a hundred times an hour, which is... is which is... Uh, if, it, if it's... In the glass. <laughs> if it's in the glass, drink it. That's what Bisbee said. Well, right. not the whole thing, though. Right. 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 No. Some of it. If it's, it's in well, a bucket. I say it a little different than just oh, sure, did. sure. We, but I say if it's in the glass, drink it. If it's in the if it's in the class, learn it. If it's down if it's downstairs, crawl there. If it's down uh, if it's up. In the clouds, uh, make it there. T- uh, take it to the end of the road. Uh, 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 take it to my favorite abode. Y- you'll always remember me, uh, regardless of whether you drink me. But if it's in the glass, drink it. It really it is me. Right here, right it there. is me. Happy oh. anniversary, Scott Lee. And of course, hey, you. Me. Uh, you were inoculated for the pony mumps when you were a child, right? Well, I'm not sure about that. Oh my God, your brother is still communicable. Oh, no. his heart just—you—you've you, been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn it. no, Bisbee! Yeah. Oh, Bisbee, it's yeah. catching. Slide your rolling Bisbee. chair yeah. away yeah. from here. Move Give me a kiss. Stop. Stop. Give me a oh, kiss. Oh no, no. Bisbee. Oh, Bisbee. 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 Bisbee, shoot him! No, Bisbee. 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 Shoot this me too, just to be safe. Shoot the buttons. Oh, 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 it's right. The, 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 the button and the bullet <laughs> ran and into each other and, and ah. canceled each other out. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh my God. God. <sighs> I'm fine now. Oh. Oh, thank God, Bisbee. Oh, the who cow. Was that? Huh? Who'd you say? Wait, who? Oh dear. I oh. mean, yeah. Wait, do you have horse amnesia? Horse nesia? Horse nesia? Horse No, horse nesia. Horse nesia is. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, I forgot. I also have that. Oh, you do? Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> do you not remember hey. who you are? Wait, who are you? Uh, well, of course I'm Scott Ackerman. I'm celebrating 10 years of Comedy Bang Bang. Well, good for you. I'm out of here. Okay, well, Bisbee, no, these are oh. your bro. Dear. Oh, oh. He's, <laughs> he's gone, and the last thing he said was live your lives. Wow. <laughs> Great advice, but still, what a kiss off to oh. his brothers. What an unexpected yeah. turn of events. Uh, I'm flummoxed. I, my, I'm hurting in my stomachs. Yeah. I'm, I'm tricks trummoxed. Oh. And I and I and, and it's I'm, a big old bummock. I agree with you. Wow, you didn't even know Chico. that that he uh, he wasn't a triplet until a few years back. But now that's right. The loss must be immeasurable. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm struggling with the loss of. Uh, I'm I'm excited for us. Let me let me rephrase. Yeah, rephrase, please. Uh, 
I didn't know about Jisby. I didn't know no. about Jisby. This is all new information. The so, Jisby thing. Surprise you reveal. Me, you Did Bisby never mentioned a brother or a and twin I, brother? Nope. No, not to us. And so I'm still kind of coming down from the yeah, high you're, uh, of being a quadruplet. Uh, right. That and, much closer. And also the loss of, of Bisby presumably being dead. Well, uh, right. Well, we'll so see, a lot of steps to process you're at this point. Because yeah. being then, excited it, about Jisby, yeah. losing what I thought was Bisby, right. finding right. out it was Jisby, yeah. right. being sad about losing the Jisby, yeah. being euphoric for finding the Bisby again, uh-huh. then realizing the Frisbees. <laughs> God, so we can go to the beach after this, play a little frisbee after <laughs> we want. Right. Jisby was holding a frisbee the entire time. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, that's ours now. Sorry, dead guy. It's covered in in heart blood. Right. I guess we've you'll... been inoculated for pony mumps, so, so it's, it's no, no problem. No us. problem. No. So a lot yeah, of steps to go through, but yeah. uh, so at, much emotion. At this point, you have lost uh, a, a quadruplet, and you've mm-hmm. lost another. Qua- uh, you've lost the triplet. Gained, lost. Rediscovered, mm-hmm. found Jisby was still alive for a second there, <laughs> sure. and then you like guys it. shot him. So he reanimated a like, lot of guilt, like trying to drip, trying to drip from his open sores, yeah, right. onto his, I guess, our quadruplet brother Bisby, who's still alive. Yeah, we never knew it while he was alive. Bisby survived that. Yep. Bullet <laughs> button ricochet collision. <laughs> that collision. was a wild ride. Yeah. Bisby blown a fuse with his horse Nisha. Yep. He's out wandering Hollywood Boulevard right now, for all we know. Yeah, for all you know, I mean, what could he be doing? What would a man with no memory be doing? He's at the even... Ripley's, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I mean, it's great if you've never been. Oh, I've been. He won't remember if he should believe it or not. <laughs> right. He'll just be like, all right, He's I don't gonna know. going to forget it. Well, guys, this is a terrible turn of events. Yeah. Uh, We're sorry to rain on your parade. It's yeah. quite all right. I mean, you know, what is the celebration for? But to, to for family and to uh, encounter people. Uh, uh, people and their their problems so i hope that this works itself out i mean please promise right. you'll come back and, and we'll be searching the listen. the ends of the earth to try and find bisbee and bring it back Bisbee. into the fold what what's, what's that what's going on what? here no, no, I, I think i got an email, Did you get an email? Oh, it's it oh hold on i'm gonna read it to myself it's from Bisbee. He emailed me. I'm going to read it to myself, okay. but you'll probably hear my internal monologue in Bisbee's voice. Oh, okay. That's, oh, a, good, that's a good plan All if right. you can do that. Let's see here. Dear brother. My dearest brother. Wow. That is what he sounds like. Please share this with my other brother and my dead brother I left on the floor. So it seems he doesn't have horse Nisha anymore. I, I'm sorry to leave. As soon as I left... I'm sorry to inform you that I fell up the stairs back to the doctor, all the way up to the doctor, where they informed me that I also had uh, horse mumps, in not just a normal way. I had pony horse mumps. Oh, this doctor doesn't seem good at what he's (laughs) doing. Just tell people that. I'm surprised he's back from the golf course already. (laughs) That's true. That's a fast tee. (laughs) Is pony horse the correct term? Uh, uh, We're splitting uh, hairs here. Let's just listen to his internal monologue again. Great idea. That might have auto-corrected. Pony horse mumps is not exactly what it's called. It's called pony horse mumps. Sorry, it corrected again. Hold on. It's pony horse mumps. It's pony horse mumps. (laughs) He's a guy, I have, they told me I have pony horse mumps, and I should be fine, wait a second, I'm sorry, I'm new with this Android phone, it's pony horse mumps that I have, and I don't know, they said that I could, I could pass any time between tomorrow and 60 years, so I don't know if I'll ever see you again. I don't know if I ever want to put my weight upon you guys. I'm live your life. Wow. Everybody live your life. Oh. God, I hate pony horse moms. Signed Bisbee Saint. Wow. 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 He never oh. caught us up with how he lost his horse Nisha. No. No. But still It was probably from the Pony, pony, pony horse, horse mumps, mumps or whatever. Yeah. You kept getting autocorrected. I I did. Maybe you just I don't meant know what pony it was. mumps. It's what just could pony it mumps. Have been? It's, just it's pony probably mumps. just pony mumps. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let me let me open my phone. Okay, and good. type in pony horse mumps and okay. see what comes up. Okay, um, it yeah. could be puny Hughes. M- 
M- monk? Are you getting a did you mean? Is that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, could, it could have been phony, that phony comes. hump monkey. No, that's dead. No. Okay. It, it doesn't could, sound like what it is. It could have been, uh, it could have been, let's see here. It could have been puke, mm. hats, mouse. Could that's be. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. We'll go, yeah, that's definitely puke hats mouse. He either died from pony horse moms or puke, puke hats, hats mouse. 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 Wow, Ow. what a terrible way to go. I can. I know why he doesn't want to be a burden on you. I mean, it's terrible to see a relative in that state. Yeah. So this is this is bad stuff. So he's out there, you know, walking the ends of the earth like. Dr. David Banner in The Incredible Hulk, and, uh, mm. you know, you'll probably never see him again. He could be gone today. Could be 60 years from now. That's a pretty broad range. Well, so well, well no matter broad. what, here's what I hope, that we're here celebrating 70 years of comedy bang bang. And he walks in. That and, would be perfect. And, and dies, drops dead. And drops dead on right in front of us. the 60th year. Wow, that would be amazing. On my 70th, but yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. Please catch us up on what happens with this situation when you come back. Is, we'll is send an okay? email. Absolutely. You'll hear. The, uh, yes, definitely. And the good thing about you guys is you're so, you have such positive outlooks, uh, uh, and it, I, I believe it all comes down to your just the way you live your lives, you know. Listen, That's right. listen, listen, Scott Lee. Some people have successful comedy podcasts. Other people grow up on a ranch where they don't have an outhouse and have to crap and pee in a bucket with they hand to each other and their siblings and their folks and they grow up estranged from their quadruplets and one of those quadruplets tries to tie up the other one and then pretend to be that third quadruplet and then gets pony mumps and even though we tell them it's horse mumps and dies from it and then the third quadruplet comes back and 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 he is here but then he decides to leave because of his horse Nisha and then finds out that he actually has Pony horse mumps. Which could be instead. Which could be Pony mumps. cat's mouse. Oh, that too. And at the end of the day, when you've spent a lifetime promoting horse fighting, That's seeing right. beautiful, majestic beasts beating each other to death on a, on a daily basis, mm-hmm. you just know you, you gotta, gotta laugh. laugh. Oh, guys, thank you so much for being here. Beaver, Chico, the Calvin's twins. It's Beva. Sorry. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by. Bye now. All right, we need... Please welcome back to the show Chico Hands, Bever Hopox, and Bisbee St. Hancock, a.k.a. the Calvin's triplets. Hello, gentlemen. Scott Lee! Ho-ho! <laughs> Scott Lee! <laughs> oh, boy, am I happy to be here with you I'm feeling frick frapple, candy apple, dibble dapple, Wendy from Snapple, exuberant <laughs> joy to be back in your presence. Oh my goodness. This, of course, is Bever Hopox, and uh, I would love to hear a greeting from all three of you. Why don't we go to Chico Hands next? Scotty! <laughs> Scotty Alkerman! So great to see and hear you. Been too long, my friend. It certainly has. Uh, Chico Hands, uh, wonderful to see you. And then Bisbee St. Hancock, I'll take a greeting from you as well. I woke up this morning and knew it was going to be a special day when I got out of my box and headed out the door. I I knew it could only get better, and you are that better. Okay, that that leads me to a question. What box are you getting out of? Do you mean your home, or do you have a special sleeping box? Is the sleeping box the ladder? The ladder. As it, of course, it's a sleeping box. A real man doesn't need a mattress or a, not. You sleep in a box, a full. It's a Calvin's cage. family tradition. Every October, we try to get back in touch with the land. So we get out of our That's domiciles. Right. We construct mm-hmm. our own either either oak wood or cedar wood box. Or, ca- or cardboard. I cardboard, love cardboard. Cardboard in a pinch. Yeah, you mentioned cardboard, Bisbee. Cardboard in a pinch. We place it behind the stables, and we sleep in those boxes all 31 days of October. And you make it as small it's gotta as be possible. It's got to be tight. You don't have no any extra room. No rip-ropping, big-bucking, sidewalk-chalking, bathtub-caulking, you two talking to me, Rory Culkin, <laughs> slipping around in, the, in those boxes, in your sleep box, Scotley. So, that, uh, uh, Bisbee, what kind of pinch were you in that yours is cardboard? Well, as it's for a lot of people, uh, money is tight. 
right now. Mm, of course, yes. The, I mean, uh, th- there being a pandemic, which I want to get to soon, but... Uh, you shouldn't go to the pandemic, Scott. Let's stay away from it. <laughs> well, sure. I, I mean, I want to address the topic of it, but uh, money is tight for you, Bisbee, and not for your brothers? Well, I believe uh, it's tight for everyone right now. Well, m- but more so, more so for Bisbee, <laughs> because you see... As you know, Scott Lay, Bisbee was was a late entry into the family. He's always been family. We just didn't know about it till about three years ago. And so sure. that in our father's will, Bisbee stated in his will that no late entry into the Calvin's family, bee, honey, taffy, farm, and horse fighting ranch can accept proceeds from the taffy portion of oh. the family run. And so I own that. He... And by the way, the taffy portion has been the most successful recently. Correct. I see. Pro- but, you, but you're not you're not allowed to take profits from it. He can't. It? He owns it. He can't take profits. It's taffy season. That's a hard shot of pills to swallow during taffy season. <laughs> Can you take losses from it? Mm-hmm. I take all the losses from it. <laughs> oh, no, Give him all the losses. Deal. That's right. All, they call it shortage. All the return product I have oh, to deal with. Oh no! What do you do with it all? That's a oh, lot of taffy. Baby. I do what everybody does with used taffy. You bury it 30 feet underground, have a bit of a seance, and to make sure that the, the taffy gods are all happy before the taffy uh, is no longer laughing. We've had, we've had a bee, bee honey horse fighting season or two with them taffy gods, the rage that they brought upon us. If a, ta- oh. if a taffy god strikes, smites you, Scott, you ever been smoked Mm-mm. by a taffy god? You're suddenly stuck to the ground. Oh, so they have the powers of taffy, these yeah, taffy they're, gods. They're sticky. Very <laughs> sticky and goopy if it gets hot. Do they have any other powers other than taffy related, or is it simply taffy related? Are they some sort of taffy totem? No, they're not taffy and other thing gods. They're strictly taffy gods, Scotland. I see. So they are goopy, they're sticky, they can stretch, I would Mysterious imagine. Mysterious and goopy. Yes. They're all together, <laughs> Uke Scotland. The taffy gods. <laughs> So um, I, I want to for the for the new listeners I want to explain sort of who you are. You're uh, uh, three brothers. You're three triplets, even though you have mm. different names: uh, Chico yeah. Hands, Bever Hopox, Bisbee Saint Hancock. All legal mm-hmm. and above boards. Sure. Yeah. No one's accusing you of anything. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you all you run this Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse fighting ranch, which is out there, mm-hmm. as I recall, out there off of the uh, a certain freeway you take to get there. Several. You got to wrap around that two ten in a change. Sure. Yeah. Then you take then you take the one fifteen overpass, head west for two exits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then pull over to the side of the road. Because there's a weird satellite, there's a weird, there's a weird vortex where satellite, Google satellites can't find you. And you got to wait anywhere between 13 minutes to about <laughs> hour, hour and a half. And let, let those satellites find you because then you're going to realize you were going the wrong way. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Once they get a lock on you, you got to turn around. You got to get off that exit. You turn back around. You got to do the 115 overpass again. You get to the 215. Head west now. If you're heading Stay east left. Before. Stay left. Always stay You got to stay left. Are you? Do you ever go to the 215 underpass? On, only if you want to anger the taffy gods. Oh, no. No one wants to do that. No. So, so then uh, you're on the 215. And what happens after that? You'll see a big sign. You'll see a big, big neon sign for our neon for our nemesis, <laughs> the Decca sister, Hornet Honey, and Carmel Pig Fighting Ranch. Do not go there. Do the Decker Decca sisters, sisters Hornet, Hornet, Hornet Honey. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And Carmel Caramel. Farm and Pig Fighting Ranch. And it mm-hmm. is just as crooked as the day is long. They, those sisters, those Decker sisters are, are Flip Flatter, Chip, Chip Slater, Darth Vader, R.I.P. Ruth Bader, <laughs> Las Vegas Raider, Giggling Bill Hader, just, <laughs> just Dooniness. They're a bunch of Dooniness. 
Oh my! I've never we have we've never talked about uh, the Decker sisters, and we uh, won't. Uh, no. it's, and we won't. We won't. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, maybe no, someday yeah, I'll nope. uh, I'll reach out to them to see if they want to be on the show with you. How many are the? How many Decker sisters are there? There's three. They're triplets. <laughs> Believe it or not. That was, that seems like that would be too many people to have on the show. Six people is as well as me, but maybe we'll get there. But um, so once you see that neon sign, and that's not very, uh, I guess, country. It doesn't have the country aesthetic that you would expect from a Horned Honey and Caramel for, uh, farm and pig farm and ranch. Uh, a bit, just a big, you know, garish neon sign. Well, they're backed by the Seagram's family, so... Oh, uh, okay. Just the ginger ale part, though. <laughs> Oh, is, do they have a similar deal that you do with the taffy thing? Was there a late addition in that in the sisters there? There was the the we are not we said we weren't going to talk about it though, but I will. <laughs> okay, it was Marsha Marsha Brandy was the sister that uh, it was late into the Decker sisters family, and now she's also not doing very well. Oh no, she's yep yep. Now they don't sleep in boxes though. Because they're women. Oh, what, what? What? How does how does the the anatomy of a male figure into the sleeping part of the boxes? Exactly. What mm. they do is they wrap them. They wrap themselves up in tin foil, mm. and they stay warm that way. Now you're probably asking, what about this this ginger ale god? Where's that come into play? Well, the hornet, the caramels went the which Marsha Brandy has to deal with the caramels that come back. Uh, that get returned from customers, which when you deal with shitty caramel, you're getting a lot of these caramels back on a daily basis. Now, Hmm. what she'll do is fill up a box with all these returned caramels. There could be on any day, there could be between Uh 12 to 150, maybe someday upwards of a thousand caramels coming back in one day. And she'll, he'll got it. She'll go out there and they'll yeah. dig a dig a hole. Uh-huh. Probably dig a hole. It'll yeah. take them a while because they gotta get you gotta get through that uh, first uh-huh. base layer uh-huh. of yeah. of crust. Uh, yeah, and now uh, it'll put the all the caramels into the hole and they'll bury them up. Have a just a bit, just a tiny bit of a uh-huh. seance on top of that uh-huh. to to make sure that the ginger ale gods are all happy. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, good. And, and that's that's, that's the end. That's step one. Oh, ah, if only we had time for any further step. Uh, uh, Bisbee, I have to say, you're sniffing a lot. Is, is, uh, is, do you have allergies or? Heavy, heavy allergies. Then heavy why allergies. are you sleeping outside in a, in a there, sleeping box? Well, I th- honestly, it, I don't have a choice. As we've told you, we have to do that. It's taffy season, and it's the 30 days of, of uh, 30, October. 31. The- are you only doing 30 days? We don't we don't celebrate Halloween. <laughs> you don't. Why not? We don't even we don't even acknowledge it. Oh, I I would assume that the Taffy Farm, which by the way we haven't even gotten into the horse fighting ranch for uh, people who have never heard any previous episode uh, with you guys. Part of I mean, some would say almost the entirety of your business is taken up by breeding horses to. Uh, have boxing matches to the death with each other. Elite, is that, is elite, that safe to say? Elite horseman fights. <laughs> elite, very strictly regulated, very brutal, very violent horse fights. Up on the hind hooves. They're True. gloved up. We've introduced headgear. Oh, um, okay. That, mu- that must be gotta safe wear for a mask. the participants. Gotta wear a mask. Because sure. if you think COVID-19 is bad for humans... It's worse for horses. Oh no, I had no idea. Well, what, think uh, about it. How many how many legs does a human have? Oh, let me count. Uh, I'm gonna have to look down for this if that's okay. I'll take your Go time. Right one thousand one. Oh boy, I'm gonna I'm just gonna gently guide you to the answer. It's two, Scott Lee. It's two. Two. That's right. Humanoids have two legs. So horses got four of them legs. Does COVID attack the legs? It's that's, that's where it is. I understand from. it. And when you got double it, now you're dealing with COVID 38. And oh, Calvin's family no. bee hunting Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch has been struck hard with a little COVID 38. Oh no, that oh, is a terrible yes. situation. Are your horses doing okay? I no, mean, no, 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 no. If you were if you were mortified at the death rate from like. Uh, uh, active legal horse fighting bouts, which I think 
we did the math was somewhere between three hundred thousand and horse deaths a day, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. millions per year. As that's I right. Doing that's the math. right. Those numbers have gone up by seven, eight percent. Oh my, seven or eight percent. So uh, somewhere in the one hundred thousand range. Yeah, a day per year, a, a year, a year. <laughs> sure. So that's not that bad. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess you'd say that 200 human deaths isn't bad either, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, boy. Whoa. Oh, boy. No, I'm not saying uh-huh. that. I'm not saying yeah. that at all. Uh, uh, any death is a tragedy. Uh, almost any death. Um, Scott, Scott could, I, could I just quickly correct one thing that you said? Sure, Chico. One thing. You said <clears throat> that uh, I believe you, you mentioned that we breed all of these horses. Now, you know that's not true. I, we I, don't breed I, the horses. We go to horse. Oh, births. that's right. Yes, yes, yes. You go to horse births that are off property. Yes. Correct. Yes, exactly. And when the horse is born, when the horse is born, you know right away if that's a fighting horse or that's not a fighting horse. You can horse. smell it. You can smell it on a horse. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, you're going off, and, and I can't re- recall the percentage of horses that are born that are fighting horses. Very small number. Slight. Very small uh, number. Very slight. Less than less than one yeah, percent. I would yeah. say less than one percent. We okay. really got to keep statistics. We got to write this stuff down sometimes. Yeah. We so really. you're going out there to, to to thousands, if not millions, of horse, if not billions of horse births every year. Every year. Yes. Got it. One get- horse. <laughs> one horse out of 176 horses that is born. We'll be a fighting. That's horse. exactly. Oh that. That's the that, statistic. Uh, now remember. those odds. But once you find one, I mean, uh, do you make a deal with the person who owns the horse, or do you abscond with it uh, under the cover of darkness? It's or? a rare occasion where you gotta steal a steal a fighting horse under the fall of, fall of night under nightfall. But that's mm-hmm. happened. That's happened. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. We put on it. a full cat burglar suit mm-hmm. <laughs> and we black and white striped big- shirt. The whole thing. Raccoon and style mask. I mask. Nitsky get cat. all that. Sure. When we play that music. We bring a little radio thump, and play thump, some. Thump, thump, huh? thump. Yep. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, so sneaking around music, not like Mission Impossible heist music. Well, no, we change sneaking it. around. We, we'll change it when we get in the heat of the, the thievery. Sure, sure yeah. Then, but it goes a little, more, gets really a little more Ocean's Eleven than Magnificent Seven. We oh, really like a, got it. a kick and bass with a with an uh, electronic sort of melody. Wait for the drop and boom. <laughs> Wow. Oh, with horse sounds. <laughs> wow. So, uh, uh, yeah, we haven't even gotten to the horse fighting part of it, uh, as well as, I guess, the horse stealing part of your business. But uh, uh, we're focusing on the taffy today. Uh, I would assume that October is a huge taffy month, uh, what there being Halloween. But, but Bisbee, you're saying that you don't even celebrate or nor acknowledge Halloween? No, I can't uh, acknowledge that that holiday. The day of the, the walking dead is, is what it's known in our family, and we've never acknowledged it. Because you uh, watched The Walking Dead on Halloween mm-hmm. once? <laughs> And w- well, we do it every now we do. I don't like to even say the name of it. We wake up very early and we watch all. How many seasons are there? Now? There's 12 or something like that. <laughs> we watch every single episode starting in the morning on Halloween. We have to watch it in fast, fast, fast forward. forward. Yeah. One and a half right. times speed. <laughs> I don't even think that would get it done. Honestly, one and a half. I think you if you just press the fast forward arrow three times, maybe you could. Well, do it. we got different screens for each season, Scotley. Oh, we got twelve monitors up on the wall, twelve at a time. Oh, so you're watching them simultaneously at one and a half times speed. Okay, got it. Well, we each watch one TV, we and then we'll on rotate, here. and then we'll have a quick break and talk about the plots uh, and kind of exchange. Yeah, and that saves ideas. us. How they com- then compare, contrast how they relate to the graphic novel, which we're all very big fans of. Sure, Robert yeah. Kirkman, of course. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, uh, it seems like the later you get, I mean, the more often you've been doing this, it seems like you'd be able to retain the knowledge a little better because you've been doing this so long. No. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> well, I, I can understand 364 days go by. You can't recall everything that you do. You got it. Do you know the uh, amount of responsibilities we have? 
working on this farm. I, a I mean, lo- yeah, a- just going to the horse births and then stealing some of the horses. You know how much time it takes to go to those horse births every day? I would imagine that would take up the majority of the day, but why don't you tell me? It takes almost the entire day <laughs> from midnight until midnight the next day. So it you guys w- are waking up at midnight. Yeah, of course well, we are. I'll get get out where? of my box. 1145 to shower and groom. <laughs> so you don't want to show minutes? up looking like a like a sloppy waffle, dribble, dropple, hip hopple, catch the quaffle, Harry Harry Potter nonsense, man. I guess not. Yeah, you, you want to show up looking your best so people know that you're. I'll tell you the one trainers. time, the one time where we did wake up at midnight and we were rushing <laughs> to our first horse birth was the first time we had to steal that baby horse because he showed oh. up. And I remember, I remember that this I remember much better than any Walking Dead plot. We showed up <laughs> and the breed of that horse fight. It was a. I looked at Chico and Chico said, "I smell it." I smell the honey. And I said, Chico, you ride this here. This, this is going to be, this is going to be like the De La Hoya horses. And Do you remember what I said? Yep. You Were you there? You said, you said, <laughs> say it with me. You said. <laughs> I said, said, hey. hey. Who's, we go, who's, where, where, where are we going to eat, eat on, on the way, way home, back home. Back home. <laughs> from this horse birth? Birth. If. if Possible. I would Maybe prefer to head yeah. to do the, the sandwich house. Sandwich house. Mm, mm. Chico, what's you, your eyes have been glazed over for almost the entirety of the first oh, no. uh, uh, a block here? What's what, uh, something going on with you? Well, I'm thinking about the bottom line on our taffy season, and thus far. We're only a few days into October of the 31, but 30. the numbers aren't great. And you haven't been we, selling a lot of taffy, huh? We're trying to push this damn taffy, and people aren't trick-or-treating this year. Maybe they aren't making a plan, too. And so we, we, got, a, we got a surplus of taffy lying around, Oh no! and uh, we're not getting it out the door. And mm. you, I think you know what happens. I think you know what happened. I actually do not know what happened, so I would love well, for you to... Well, you can imagine what happened. I'm not imagining anything, really. Well, I, uh, if you were to use your, your your noodle up there and just give a quick thought to what you think... Unfortunately, I have no thoughts regarding this. I, I really you, could use uh, for you to enlighten me. It's easy enough to surmise just exactly... What? Been trying to surmise, and unfortunately, that is not working for me. So, if perhaps you could uh, use your your words and oh, no. yeah, you just got to okay. connect the dots, right. Scott. You got to connect the dots. It. These these just dots are it. unfortunately unconnected. They're just uh, uh, pinpointed. Think all of literally my everything we've told you in the last thirty minutes. <laughs> okay. Decker then sisters, you- taffy surplus, cardboard okay. boxes. COVID-38. Bottom and a big lines. sticky man upstairs. So everything that we've talked about in the last half hour should lead me to the conclusion that mm-hmm. I right. still am not, I'm not getting think it. Of all, think of all the different flavors of boxes of taffy hanging out. Just at our think, Scott. Think Why of all those flavors. Think. Think. <laughs> you got uh, branch. Branch, branch flavored, flavored taffy. taffy. <laughs> branch flavored? Is that what we, is no, that I like said br- branch, but we do have ranch as well. Oh, yeah. ranch. Oh, okay. Branch. I was going to say, is that uh, uh, Blanche three branches from Golden or Girls the Girls flavored taffy? <laughs> what about the Branch Davidian flavored <laughs> taffy? Certainly. We got that. One of our top sellers. <laughs> Ra- yeah. Raisin brand. Raisin branch. Raisin brand cranch. <laughs> Raisin cranch branch. Ranch. Sure. We got, we got Bruce Valanche. Oh, okay. <laughs> We we got a lot it's of got a, it's got a little bit of a bite, but overall it's pretty soft. <laughs> I once saw him tear up a uh, parking ticket that he got. He 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 came out of a building, went to his car, <laughs> saw oh, a parking man. ticket, theatrically tore it up into confetti pieces and threw it into the air. 
I, I loved it. You know, Scott, oh, I, wow. love, I love to hear when your tone shifts <laughs> and you reach into your actual personal life. <laughs> Thank you. Get a, little, a little behind the scenes. Of, well, hopefully that'll it's a happen different for tone. all of us. It's a different <laughs> tone. It's a different <laughs> decibel. As we can all see with all these sure, technical yeah. meters sitting in front of us. Sure, yeah, you have a lot <laughs> of equipment real. there. I at love the, it. Uh, I at love the Taffy it. Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. <laughs> so, um, so, so all of that put together, unfortunately, I, I am coming up short. I cannot okay. think of what would happen. So perhaps, Chico, you could just tell me. I'm going to come right out and tell you. If... By the end of taffy season, that's the end of October, you are left with more than 250,000 tons of taffy <laughs> remaining on your farm, unsold. The taffy gods will come down and they, with their taffy arms, they zap all that taffy and lightning shoots out and all that taffy coagulates together into one gigantic taffy demon no that will haunt you for the next 330 four oh, days of the oh year that is goodness. until the next taffy season next so, year. so like a taffy golem yeah right. oh my that's what it is oh my exactly goodness. That, it Scully. i guess you can't think and, and yeah. <laughs> i apologize I, I apologize i didn't put all the pieces together it, it seems Same obvious in retrospect. i mean yeah. you can lead a horse to a horse fight but you can't make a <laughs> Scotly think <laughs> i beg your pardon um well uh uh so this is this taffy demon is it visible to the public or or you say it haunts you is it, is it only visible to the three of you well, we we can see it. Yeah. Uh, I guess you'd have to come along with us to to determine if other people could see. You know what? There I was. Guess so, we, yeah. We've only seen it one time, Scott. Like, when we were young, when we were young boys, mm. uh, uh, under under the guidance of our papa, and our papa had a had a real rough. It was during the during the sixties, and hi, if there's one thing hippies hate, it's ta it's good quality taffy. Right. That right. was taffy season, nineteen sixty four. And it 64. was sixty-four. Okay, so this is right when the Beatles were coming over to America. Beatlemania to be on, was about Sullivan to explode. Show. Also known as the Taffy Second Coming. Oh, okay, and there were hippies. Those little horny little girls watching Ed Sullivan getting all <laughs> gushy for the first time, looking at those floppy hair. I don't, I don't think I, would, I want to Colin talk about going to their daddy. Girls daddy, buy me some Taffy to feed this this sinful lust I'm feeling in my loins. But before that, it was dark days. It was dark days, Scotty. So you 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 glimpsed the taffy demon when in literally, the sixties, uh, literally November first, November first, nineteen sixty four, and and we were we were like, Daddy, why are you cry? Our, our father was not an emotional man, but we came to wake him up from the final night in his box, <laughs> and we said, Daddy, Daddy, we could hear you crying from all the way in the main house. Why you said, Daddy? And he said, I have 250 million tons of taffy <laughs> that is going nowhere fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he had exactly 250 million tons that, I mean, to, if only he could have to sold the, to the, one piece. That's all it takes. <laughs> one, one, one piece, piece of taffy. You guys could have eaten one piece. Or and you know, who canceled, you know who canceled their order for 15 pieces of Who's Calvin's that? family taffy the night before? Mm -hmm. Bobby Decker. Bobby oh, Decker. the the matriarch of the Decker sisters, Hornet Honey and Caramel Farm and Pig Farm and Ranch. You nailed the it. Very same. That, mm -hmm. my, that brain's getting sharper and sharper. <laughs> and our daddy, our daddy, he crapped himself. He was crying mm -hmm. so hard. He was so terrified because suddenly a taffy god appeared and a taffy god. Imagine like the most terrifying, scary, imposing um, inflatable car sales uh, uh, figure that you ever seen. You ever right. see the, the car dealership? Those flippity sure. floppity air air driven uh, tension sure. grabbers. Sometimes they say cars for sale next to them. Yeah, those th flippity. Th 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 thank you, thank you, Bisbee. Yeah, no, I know. I was picturing it before. Other <laughs> other times they might say mattresses and have an arrow, or sometimes they'll say like paper sale. And I've seen them at gas stations as well. Be, yeah. And then you'll think, you'll go, oh, that makes sense. This is outside of a paper store. It's a great eye catcher. 
All right. Sometimes they might, uh, you're not sure they'll be in between two stores and you're not mm-hmm. sure which, which one it's which trying one to. Which one it corresponds to. But, uh, but you think from both. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe the managers of both stores got together and said, hey, maybe we go in on this together and that way. That way they can uh, each yes. benefit. I found right, most benefit. often that's the case. People love <laughs> to go in on a flop the costs. Man. It's not it's sure. not cost efficient to own one right outright. And and to rent one, I mean, yeah, oh, it's cheaper in, in the Nonsense. short term, but in the long term. Yeah, you gotta invest for a long time. Yeah. If you're gonna buy one, here's the deal about buying versus leasing. If you buy that uh inflatable man, you're stuck. What if your business goes down? You're stuck. You're with stuck it. with it, yeah. Yeah, and you can't upgrade because every couple of years you're getting new technology <laughs> with these inflatable men. So sure. you want to make sure that you have the I guess I haven't uh, seen the new technology in the last couple of decades, but but no, but but Bisbee, I yes, I can picture it. Thank you so much. So so okay. you're saying the Taffy Demon looked a lot no, like that. The Taffy God looks like that. The Taffy God The Taffy God, God does. The taffy what does the Taffy Demon, demon look like? When, when he he sort of the Taffy Taffy gods are powerful. Taffy gods are vengeful, but they're also very respectful. So what he did mm. is he came down flapping his taffy limbs and he looked at our, at our crying, crap pant father and he just reached out a, a hand and he just wagged a little finger. Just went, mm-hmm. ah, 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 ah. And then he snapped. And Scotland, you would not believe how quickly 250 million tons of taffy has turned into a mountain-sized Goliath. With like, with like real mean eye, like, like kind of, kind of frowning eyes. Frowning eyes. Yeah. yeah that's, oh, mm-hmm. oh that, that's so mm-hmm. scary. Really mean but, and big. But, and he was about to, he, he was about, he was about to just, we could tell he was about to take out a whole horse fighting stadium in one foul swoop. Oh no. The stadium yeah. was built by then. Okay. When it he was. was gonna... And then Chico, and then Chico said, daddy, I'm hungry. And grabbed, <laughs> grabbed a piece out of the big, out of, just off of the, the, the demon's toe. Sure. Chomped on it, Did- swallowed. And the thing okay. vanished like that. But but right. you must have paid him for it because the, the rules state that they need to be sold. Did yeah. you flip flip your father a penny? I'm all, I was always flipping coins like that. That's <laughs> one of the only things we used to do for fun. You walk around, you flip a coin in the air, you catch it. And I happened to be flipping it uh, as I reached for the demon's toe. And, and the coin landed in the, one of the taffy demon folds. And oh. that counted as a transaction. That that wow. counts as a transaction. So it was purchased, and I ate the toe, and we were saved. That was it. For the, Amazing for that story. That I mean, the the luck. Uh, I I can only imagine what would have happened if if for the next three hundred and. 34. 34 days you were haunted by that taffy demon. That, uh, mm-hmm. How frightening that would be. But that seems to be in your future if you don't get rid of your taffy. That's the concern. That's the concern because I think the demon probably learned from that little episode. Oh. And so it's going to be, you know, protecting itself from having any taffy stolen from it. And also it's not accepting any cash transactions at this time. No. Oh, it's cashless. It's trying. Yep. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 oh, do Apple see, going Square to cashless app. transactions that hurts uh, so many, so many parts of society. Wants, it's not going to matter to a to a yeah. ta- two hundred fifty million ton taffy demon. Plus, how how over the two hundred fifty million tons are you with the taffy? We got Ooh. 750 <laughs> oh, see. trillion unsold at this trillion. point. Trillion. So just, yeah. just eating a toe yeah. at this point isn't going gonna to no. do much. No. Well, look, guys, we need to take a break if that's okay. I, I want to get uh, more into your, your taffy farm and, and maybe some possible solutions in order to get rid of this taffy. Uh, but uh, we do need to take a break. We are going to come back with Chico Hands, Bever Hopox, and Bisbee St. Hancock. We'll be right back with the Calvin's triplets in Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here with the Calvin's triplets. Of course, we have Chico Hands. Mm. <laughs> we have Bever Hopox. <laughs> and Bisbee St. Hancock. Yeah. 
And collectively, they are known as the Calvin's Triplets. Three brothers, uh, I, I believe by blood. I can't recall <laughs> if, if uh, you are all actually related to each other. But why get into the lore and the history when we could be talking about uh, their current situation? They are the owners and proprietors of the Calvin's family, Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. And they are also the owners, I guess you would say, of 750 trillion tons of excess taffy that's just sitting there on their farm, uh, I guess in boxes or laying on the ground. I, I'm not quite loose, sure how you store mostly it. Mostly loose, loose piles. <laughs> yeah. Piles and heaps. <laughs> Mounds. <laughs> so um, maybe we could just sort of brainstorm solutions for your situation because uh, I, I, quite frankly, I don't know how you're going to get – because. W- What's the the level you need to be under two hundred and fifty million, million tons? Million yeah, and you and you have seven hundred and fifty trillion tons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're way over. And it's, why? It's, why did you make so much? It's taffy season. We <laughs> we just do it. We we just put it on autopilot. And those we, taffy we plants were thinking. blooming this year, Scott. Sure, but it seems like you could maybe make it to order, especially in a year where a lot of people don't have a bunch of disposable income, and we're waiting for. Well, then, for, what do you do if you have a family pull up and they want some taffy? Just on maybe they're on their way as an impulse buy to go to the lake or something. And exactly, it's, yeah. It's, and and if you have to look at a family in the eye and say, we don't have any right, taffy exactly. right now, we're going to have to make it. What flavor do you want? That's our and, literal uh, nightmare. That is our that, nightmare. We we wake up several Sweat. times a night all screaming. At, Sweat. Almost screaming the, in the boxes? Screaming in our boxes, yeah. More branch taffy! More branch taffy! <laughs> How many times? I, how many times, Bisbee, have you had to shake me and be like, well, "We got enough branch taff here. It's okay." I've had I've had to open his box. Mm-hmm. I'd have to grab him by the shoulders and mm-hmm. shake him and say, "God damn it! Mm-hmm. Wake up! We have the taffy. <laughs> we have it. We mm-hmm. got it." And even Look then, at I'll Look be at like, me in the eyes. I'll do everything he tells me to, but I still think maybe this is still a nightmare. And he has to slip a little branch taffy into my mouth. I'll just, oh, I'll, that, I'll that'll do it. That'll I'll just open you down. his little cheek, mm-hmm. o- open his little cheek and sh- shut with my finger. I'll mm-hmm. just shove it right in he's there got, and let it kind of dissolve overnight. He's, he's the strongest fingers of all the Calvin's triplets. Well, yeah. Well, how do you take that, Chico? Is it, you're fine with hearing that? I mean, or have you always thought you had strong fingers? Funny you should ask. I have the strongest toes, and that's undeniable. But my... <laughs> My fingers have uh, been arthritic for a number of years Oh, now. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Uh, the, the strength that I once had has been diminished. But if you want to toe wrestle with me, mm. I Don't do it, Scotland. Don't, don't do it. Don't. I, I know we've made several idea. wagers in no, the past. No, you know what? Do it. Do it. <laughs> Come on, lay I, down. I can't tell, lay down can't tell whether ground, I'm being Scott, hustled or... <laughs> lay down. Remove I'm your converse. Saying. <laughs> I'm Unlace taking them, off my chucks. boots right now. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that I want to toe wrestle, especially with right. you bragging about how strong your toes are. Plus, okay. with the fact that it, it's not really that hygienic these days to be toe wrestling with someone. Oh, I I wear condoms on my feet. You got to because <laughs> COVID affects the legs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, well, I, I, you know, I don't have 10 condoms, unfortunately. I've been using have, too many, I, so. I got 10. <laughs> I, got, I can give them to you. Well, I they're also. They're dry. They're the dry kind. They're dry? You, the driest. Are they extra small, too, I'm seeing? Because I, uh, unfortunately, I have, I have long toes, so. I don't know the exact size, but they're Trojan powdered extra tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you do know the exact kind. Oh yeah, look at I, that. They put it on yeah, the outside. Yeah, I don't box. think these are going to fit on my toes unfortunately. So I'm going to have to take a pass on this. But uh All right, rain check. We'll take a rain check on rain the toe check. wrestling man. Right. So so you guys, I think that you could split the difference between 750 trillion tons and and mm-hmm. being out if one family ever comes by the taffy farm. I it seems like there's a middle ground there. I'll admit it, Scale. We, we were arrogant. We thought in this mm. time, in this time of of, pa- of a once in human history global pandemic, people are going to be sitting at home. People are going to be needing mm. to fill the hours, and mm. what better way to fill an idle hour than with some taffy? I guess I, I've never thought 
eating taffy really should take up the majority of your focus. Even in an hour, I don't know that I could focus on just the eating the taffy for the full 60 minutes. Oh, well, then you're rushing through taffy, and that's just <laughs> criminal. Good taffy takes time to chew, time to uh, to moisturize. You got to get your spits mixed in with your taffy to, right. to get it out of the gaps again. Um, and, 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 and when you've had a Calvin's family piece of taffy, you can't do, do just one. Is that yeah. when you, when you say it's criminal, do you have your own laws there on the taffy farm and horse fighting ranch? If we see you take one piece of taffy and not continue on to another, we are well within our legal rights to put you in a box for the month, for, for the month of October, at least. So a sleeping box or is that a euphemism for a coffin? In a sli- it has to be a, a regulated sleeping box. Oh, okay. So you're not you're threatening to kill me. No, no, no. no. We like it too much. Oh, no. Who's like, who's like our fourth or fifth time here, Scott? Dude? <laughs> if we true. wanted you dead for taffy reasons, we'd have done that the first time. <laughs> well, I've never been to the taffy farm, unfortunately. Yeah. I, uh, I've well, never received received an invite. Well, he, here's a piece right here, and you'll see. Uh, you should try this piece right now. Take okay. your time yeah. chewing it. We can give, give mm-hmm. take take if not the full hour, take at least forty minutes to eat it. I and you'll it. see right on the wrapper. At, it's a Calvin's taffy. Once you chew, gotta have at least two. And look in the back. Each piece comes with its own magazine. So wh- yeah. which which magazine did you get? That looks like a thicky. Uh, it looks a like sticky thicky. Guns and ammo. Yep, yeah. that's a good one. <laughs> oh. Oh, and, there, and, and I need to click this user agreement here on the wrapper. Mm-hmm. Is that yep. what it click is? Click it on. Click it <laughs> with with my human mouse, aka my finger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Click that before you eat it. You Just could have sure. you could have you could have Bigsby do it for you. His fingers are strong. <laughs> uh, I can reach right over. I'll click. Uh, that's I, can, I, I prefer you not to reach over to my my the taffy that's going into my mouth. And, and I could do it with my toes. <laughs> that's even worse, I think. But you know, I, right. I I think I may not want to eat some taffy for the next hour if we're in the middle of a show. I think that might oh. affect my oh. performance somehow. I don't okay, know. won't know yeah, till you that, try. No, that makes sense. That's a good flavor too. What? Yeah. Which flavor is this? Milk. <laughs> Milk. Milk taffy. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't sound bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's good. <laughs> sure. Is that your slogan, bad. by the way? Of yeah. course it's not bad. It's good. That's right. Yeah. Calvin's triplet taffy. It's not bad. It's, it's good. good. Of course it's not <laughs> bad. It's good. Well, guys, I don't know how that you're going to sell this much taffy. I mean, of course you could burn the taffy. <clears throat> of course you could... Uh, put it in a landfill, but the the agreement with the taffy god obviously states that it needs to be sold. It needs to be purchased. Well, we were hoping yeah. you could help us with I, that, Scott. Like maybe we oh. could maybe we could start a, a comedy bang bang telethon right now. Oh, have sure, people yeah. Call in. Yeah, we could have people call in. We could have uh, uh, you guys doing uh, sort of variety acts and stuff like that. So, yeah, why don't we uh, uh, start it off here? It'll be sort of like the Jerry Lewis telethon, which is something that uh, I used to watch as a child, which would go uh, oh, yeah. uh, all night uh, for f- uh, 72 hours and Jerry would stay awake. Uh, of course, we don't have that kind of time. If we can stay awake for s- the next, say, half hour or so, we could do one right now. All right. Yeah. I'm willing to try. <laughs> do, do you need to take some caffeine pills or anything like that? I could do my I could do my stand up. Yeah, this this sounds great. So uh, uh, why don't we start it now? This is is does it have a special title? Probably the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse rotten fan, uh, ranch taffy taffy god uh, taffy god stopping fl- flip flopping fab fiving staying alive in. A dog dizim sizing Colt 45 and hullabaloo telethon extravaganza. So I if I have this right, it's the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse fighting ranch. Taffy God stopping, flip flopping, fab five and staying alive in Adele Dazim sizing Colt 45 hullabaloo. And I think I missed the last part of it. <laughs> hullabaloo. Tele- telethon extravaganza. Telethon extravaganza. All right. Uh, do we have a, a theme song for this? Yep. Doodle it. 
Is one of you like the Ed McMahon style announcer who would be talking over this or no? And Keep since going. you interrupted, why don't you start over? Uh, Sorry, I why don't you start over? Busy. Just getting into the good part too. Welcome to the telethon. Um, Why does it have a title if you're not going to say it? Oh, sure. Welcome to the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farming horse fighting ranch taffy demon stopping flip flopping fab five and staying alive in a Daryl Dazeem size and Colt 45 and hullabaloo telethon extravaganza. Why don't you go ahead? <gasps> oh, oh, sorry, no, you're falling. Oh. Why don't you go ahead and uh, call the number that, that, that I'm sure Scott is going to gladly provide? <sighs> You, you, the, the telephone is just starting. A, a chat to one of our uh, one of our phone operators and make a sizable uh, purchase of Calvin's. Family. Never, never. Mm. Wake up. Mm. Mm. Wake up. Make Deborah. a sizable purchase of Calvin's family taffy. Uh, to, to, it's a great holiday gift, and and you know what they say? It's not bad. It's good. It's good. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Call us here at one 800 800 and you can talk to one of the Calvin triplets here. So, oh, it looks like we're getting a call here. Uh, line one, you're on the line. Hello? Hi, what's your name? Scott. Uh, your name's Scott, or you're saying hello to me, Scott? No, your name's Scott. My name is Scott. What is your name, sir? Brian. Brian? Do you yes. want to say your last name, or do you want to re- remain semi-anonymous? Brian Fun. Brian Fun. It's so yeah. so great to hear from you, Brian. Um, you have called into the Calvin's Family Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch Taffy Demon Stop and Flip Flop and Fab Five and Staying Alive and Adele Dazeem Size and Colt Forty Five and Hullabaloo Telethon Extravaganza in order to purchase some uh, taffy. I'm hoping. I would love to purchase some taffy. Yeah. How much taffy are we talking that you want to purchase? I would like three pieces of taffy. <laughs> three pieces. All right. Well, uh, and how much are you willing to pay for the three pieces? Um, 75, 75 cents. 75 or cents. Do- Does that sound fair or is it no deal? <laughs> take it. Take it. Price take is it. a price. Price is take set. It. Price Just- is locked. 25 <laughs> cents a piece. What flavor? What flavor? What flavor would you like that, Brian Fawn? Um, do you guys have, uh, hoisin sauce? Shit. Yeah, we do can you, make it. We'll make, I'll make it. We'll you're going to make a new batch. You're going to we'll make, make your own hoisin sauce? Well, well flavored taffy. I mean. Oh, I see. You have hoisin sauce here at the ranch. We can mix it up. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, does that sound okay to you? Do you want all three pieces of that flavor? Um, <laughs> now that you mention it. How about two hoisin sauce flavored? And then another one. Hold on. I'm right. Give me a goddamn (laughs) break. I'm writing it down. Okay. We're never going to get through 750 trillion tons this way. Never say never. Never say never, Scott. Piece three. Piece three will be. Because our biggest, our biggest, our, our biggest sort of like marketing tool is word of mouth. So I have a feeling. Oh, okay. Once we make these hoisin sauce taffies. Ship him off to Brian Fun, wherever he may be residing. Where do you reside, Brian? Gardenia. Okay. So, not too far. Not too far. Ship him off to Gardenia. He's going to You think word of mouth is just going to catch fire and everyone will be calling him? I've got good. I've got a good feeling in my bones about it, Scotland. Okay. And that third piece of taffy, Brian? Um, Right. um, Pork chops. Great. Flavor? We do have that. We do we have that okay. on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, good, good. Most, Brian, do you want to? Yes. Well, just most of the taffy we have in that 
750 trillion tons is pork chop flavor. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. uh, going to work out then. Um, Brian, do you want to talk to Chico? Uh, sure. Is he there? Yeah, Chico's yeah. there. Say hi, Chico. H- hi, Chico. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Chico. <laughs> Thanks for one of my jokes. What's going on, Brian Fun? Hello, Chico. Nice to meet you. I, um, nice to meet you. I, this is my first time knowing of you people because oh, so this is I, your I, first I, telethon. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to ask, uh, are, are you a fan of Taffy or you're a fan of, uh, obviously you haven't heard of the Calvin's triplets before, so d- were you just listening to the telethon and you, you heard about Taffy and you thought that sounded good to you? That's exactly what happened. Mm. I'm a big fan of Taffy and I happened to be uh, turning the dial and I landed on this telethon and uh, it, it sounds like there's a whole deal going on. with. There definitely triplets. is a whole deal going on. What do you do for work, Brian Fun? Uh, Bisbee's been... tabulating the order, by the way. He's he's ringing everything up on an sort of an old so... fashioned register. Okay. And this is a... so so uh, to, to to pass the time. What what do you do for work, Brian? I'm an ins- I'm an insurance claims adjuster, oh, and okay. I'm also an Instagram influencer. Oh, I don't know that uh, those two things have ever gone together before. That how fascinating. I'm Sorry, the only Bri- one. Yeah, Brian. Brian Fun. Yeah. Yeah, did you want to put in a coupon code? Uh, yes. Okay. It's going to be, gosh, that's going to be, make those, your first 10 pieces are free. So that's going to qualify for this to be a free order. Okay. okay. I'd like to use the promo code October. Oh, shit. shit. Does, that, does that change things? His <laughs> No, he gets the free frisbee with it too. Oh, yeah. okay. So does this count as selling the taffy? No, and he gets his next six orders for free. No oh what. no! Next six orders or the next seven pieces? No, six <laughs> orders, unlimited size. <laughs> okay. So is there? I mean, so you, so technically, Brian, you could you could request <laughs> all seven hundred and fifty million trillion trillion tons. tons. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you want to request that? Well, I don't know where I'd put all that, one. And number two, from my understanding, that would have no effect on the taffy demon. Because they because I'm getting all of it for free? No, you could could put it anywhere, by the way. You could put it in your backyard as long as you hose it all down. (laughs) That'll keep it. That'll keep it. It'll keep its shape, I guess. I don't have room for that. But also, I'm concerned for you fellas. You know, Again. I, we appreciate that, Brian. We really do. And you've touched our heart. And this is perfect because <laughs> it's one of those sentimental moments that you have in telethons from time to yeah. time when they bring out, like, you know, a, 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 a sick, sick child, child. Yeah. or something like that. So, Brian, thank you for yeah. being our sick child. And, and I got to say, I think I speak for both of my brothers um, when I say that if you receive all 750 trillion tons of these taffies and you enjoy it that's worth a couple of eternal damnations as far as i'm concerned wonderful sentiment mm-hmm. brother i don't know beva i've been i've been reviewing the the taffy farm fine print the demon deal the demon deal written on a taffy wrapper <laughs> and blood. it says right here that you can't give away the taffy. And if he's entered in a promo code, that's technically a giveaway, not a sale. This isn't going to yeah. work. Yeah. This is like a loss leader for you guys. Yeah, unfortunately. But um, he took three pieces. Uh, he gets it for free. So, Brian, uh, thank you so much yeah. for calling in. And uh, uh, do okay. you want to uh, promote your Instagram handle? Yeah. Well, my Instagram handle is um, Brian. Fun smiley face. Oh. Uh, 1,000. Hmm. Now, and do you mean the word smiley face? Because if you try to put an emoji, that's not going to Yeah, it's not going to, nothing's going to come up. So it must be the word smiley face. Smiley face. face. Brian Fun smiley face. That's right. Written out smiley face hmm. and then written out 1,000. The word. The wor- So one, the word. Uh, O-N-E and then T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. You got it. Yeah. Okay. And that, exactly. and then, and people can, and what do you influence? Like what style of Instagram influencer are you? Is it clothes or is it a lifestyle or? It's more, um, eating food and oh. I give little reviews. Of the oh, well you give these guys a I review? Eat. 
Well, I'm go. Yes, I plan to, and I'm going oh, to. Oh, great. And, okay. Well, and- we'll check back in uh, towards the end of the show to see how your review is of their taffy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send out a, a carrier right now with your order <laughs> yeah. to Gaudito. What? Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it would be a drone. It's actually a. It's a horse. <laughs> Don't stop till you make it. <laughs> so you, have, you have delivery horses. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. That's> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh all right well thank you uh brian thanks for calling in great to talk to you great talking with you as well bye-bye okay well guys wow um we we made <laughs> yeah we made i guess we didn't make a dent at all uh there is oh, less dear. taffy but uh you can't give it away mm-hmm. so you need to make three more yeah. pieces yeah we got to make three more pieces just to come up to par and then we still got to sell although I'm although bisbee was making the, the two hoisin pieces so technically you well those are to... just those are they already exist i'm just going to add the flavor to those you were um, okay cuz we have a we have well you have uh, to make new pieces anyway why don't you just make two hoisin pieces or three hoisin why pieces why don't you mind your own taffy business and we'll <laughs> okay, get it you're done right. the wo- you're we'll right. i don't have done. a taffy business but were i to run one i think i would run it considerably better than you three gentlemen well sorry sorry but look we need to take a break uh if we can when we come back we are going to have more of this telethon extravaganza and as promised bisbee saint hancock is going to do his stand-up act And uh, also, we're going to check in on that Instagram review of the taffy from Brian Fun. Uh, But so much more to come here on Comedy Bang Bang. We'll be right back with the Calvin's Family Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch, Taffy Demon Stop and Flip Flop and Fab Five and Staying Alive and Adele Dazeem Size and Colt 45 and Hullabaloo Telethon Extravaganza after this. (laughs) Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. We have uh, Chico Hands, Bever Hopox, Bisbee St. Hancock, also known as the Calvin Triplets, and we are in the middle of the Telethon Extravaganza. I don't feel like I need to say the name again, uh, but uh, uh, during the break, we've received how many calls? Bever, did you get a call? Six. I got no calls. No calls? I got six calls, but you mean about the Telethon? Oh, yeah. Who's calling you oh, about, about other I business? I called him once. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. I you guys are in the dial, same room. But it was a butt I- dial from Chico. Yeah. And then, then it was just, uh, just a. Uh, uh, I got tested for COVID. It's negative, so we can all feel. Oh, congratulations! Good. Okay, uh, so thanks. I got a confirmation. Take the traffic guards for that. Confirmation on my podiatrist's upcoming appointment. Um, oh, your podiatrist has an appointment somewhere. Yeah, and he just wanted to let me know about it. So, <laughs> one time my podiatrist got lost for seventeen days. Nobody could find him, and somehow oh, okay. that fell you on my head. He wants everyone to know where he and is. He's just like, never again. Never Where's again. Where's he going? Where's he going to be? Where's he going this time? He's uh, <laughs> Del Taco. Oh. Uh, he made an appointment? <laughs> yeah. Classy guy. It's a cheat meal for him, so he just he likes oh. to put it in his little book. Okay. Um, and then one, I think, was a wrong number. Uh, hmm. The other was just a robocall. Um, hmm. And then the other one was Chico Butt Dial again. Okay, yeah. interesting. Okay, so nothing about the telethon. Then. No zero calls on the telethon. Zero, zero calls. Oh wait, it looks like the phone lines are lighting up here though. Uh, let's take a call. All right. Hello, okay. you're on the telethon. Hey, hey guys. Hey, uh, a big fan of your stuff. Uh, sorry to Thank hear about so the much. whole demon situation, but uh, just just really would love to make a make a purchase for my family. Uh, great. Uh, may may we have your name? Sure. Yeah, my name is uh, Dylan Dylan Peacher. And uh, I'm actually a repeat uh, 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 purchaser of Calvin's oh. Family Taffy, uh, best taffy in the world, if you ask me. And welcome uh, home. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Bisbee. Um, yeah, so I would love. I'm going to use them as holiday gifts this year, and I cannot highly recommend it enough. And I would. Uh, love- so, oh, 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 yeah, a moment, uh, just yes, a moment. Know? What? Which holiday? Uh, Is it a holiday gift? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to use them for Secretary's Day. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, when, is it, when is that usually? That's. Uh, I think we call them assistants now. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, uh, Secretariat's Day. Oh, uh, okay. The anniversary actually, found, of him winning. Correct. So I found the Calvin's family through the horse fighting initially, oh. um, and got season tickets. Uh, the, I've, I've kept that going on ever since. What, what uh, is horse fighting season? It seems like you guys do it year round. Year round. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're there every day. <laughs> yeah. 
Three six five, mm-hmm. you know it. Three six five, <laughs> except for except for Halloween when they when they shut down for that day just to see all the horse furs. Um, and well, I uh, thought they were watching The Walking Dead that day. That's that's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. Sorry, I misspoke. I misspoke. Uh, <laughs> if you ever see a horse furs, it's about as gory as those zombies, Scott. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Um, so um, yeah. So obviously, Walking Dead day, we get off. I spend that with my family. Um. But yeah, I would love to order. I'd love to order five tins of taffy, please. Five, five tins. tins. Okay, how many pieces does that Three. end up being? How many tons? How many tons is a tin? A tin. A Did you tin. say tins or tons? I by said the way. tins. Five tins. But <laughs> okay. well, we have a we have three different yeah. sizes of tins. We have That's small. Right. The small, have, which is just uh, twelve pieces. Yep, and we have the large. Large, and, which is twenty-five pieces. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, the big. The big old tin. Yeah, that's the one I mean. So a big old tin is a trillion tons of taffy. <laughs> yep. Whoa, okay. So you want the trillion tons, so... I'll take it. Guys, if you, if you can make this sale, All then right. you only have 749 right. trillion tons left to go, minus 250 million tons, I guess. Are you okay or with them? Um, a yeah. mix of flavors? Yeah, I'll take the variety pack. Uh, no pork chop flavor, please, though. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh you, shit. Yeah, you were saying oh, before no. the break that the majority of your taffy is pork chop flavor. Do you have yeah. enough for a trillion tons? Mm-hmm. of? Mm-hmm. I, think, I think all about, but about like 20 to 30 pieces of pork chop flavor. <laughs> oh, no. Can, can, I, can I ask you, Dylan? What, yeah, what's going what, on? Uh, What's your problem with the with the pork chop flavor? Well, uh, I just um, I just don't Is care it, for it. Did you have? Because if you had last year's last yeah, season's pork that's chop, the first this, time I tried it, yeah. this season's very different. You might was there a problem keep, last year with the pork chop flavor? Well, yeah, it went bad. Okay, so it the was meat. like rancid meat flavored. It felt taffy? like there were actual little pieces of pork chop in the peas, and those. They went rancid, but they also solidified. So it's like chewing on taffy, taffy filled why, with rocks. Why do you like their taffy if you had this kind of experience? I think it's tradition. I love the tradition. It makes me feel uh, sentimental yeah. for early days at the at the horse fight. I mean, it's a tradition because you're there every day but Halloween, Walking Dead Day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so uh, can we interest you in this year's flavor of yeah, the pork chop flavor? This, this is a, more of a uh, a dry rub pork pork chop flavored mm. and there's no mm-hmm. chip last season we had uh pork chips and this season it mixed mm. in this season is just a puree mm. it's a puree i it's think it's much it smoother much smoother texture let no chunks can i ask this? can i ask this can you messenger me one piece of the current pork chop i'll try oh. it and if i like it i'll call back with the order where oh. where are you right now i am in missouri Son of a bitch. Huh. Do you have a horse fast enough? Go! Don't <laughs> ah! ah! stop! All right, it's on its way. Hopefully it'll get there to you. Oh, look, or... okay, no, the door. That, oh, that somebody's at the door. You're hearing okay. a hoof knock yes. at the door. Yes. Ah! Oh, thank you, thank you. Ah! All right, I'm just going to uh, unwrap this. Little piece of taffy here, and oh, you wrap it in paper. Man, I hope you oh, look at that! Yeah, <laughs> you, you have to click the user agreement. Okay, here we go. What magazine did you get? Um, let's see. What is this? Um, oh, I got a highlights, a children's oh. highlights from 1972. Oh, okay. look at that. That's fun. I already see a couple things wrong <laughs> between these two pictures. Um, all right, I'm going to try the taffy now. Yeah, don't get wrapped up in that. Try the taffy, mm-hmm. yeah, before you mm-hmm. get to the puzzles in the back. Mm-hmm. 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 How's it? Yeah, you mm-hmm. keep saying mm-hmm. it, it sounds like you're... Mm-hmm. We don't have the full hour to, to savor mm-hmm. this taffy. Oh, really? Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to have to make your decision right now. Oh, but that's how I consume Calvin's family taffy. <laughs> sure, we all do. We all do, but uh, if I could get a preliminary, in in his defense, we do promote taking taking mm. the time with the taffy. Sure, of course, yeah. Reading like, the magazine, mm. getting the full taffy experience. You guys, <laughs> you guys, I've come to a decision. Okay, I'm not going to continue with my order. <gasps> I am going to order seven hundred and forty nine trillion. 
Seven hundred. Sure. And forty nine trillion. Seven hundred and seven hundred and and fifty one million. Fifty one million tons. Whoa, guys, that will put you. Oh. Nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pieces. Oh my god! Oh my That's god. amazing. That'll put you right over the edge. Uh, uh, what was no, your name again? Was under it di- the edge? Just under, I think. <laughs> what, what was your name again, yeah. sir? It was. My uh, name is Dylan Preaches. Dylan Preaches. You, you're not looking too good. I have to say, you're sweating and uh-huh. you're. Uh, mm. You uh, you've turned a, a, a strange <laughs> color of. Uh, uh oh. Oh yeah, I feel hot. I can't taste the taffy anymore. This will happen. I can't smell the taffy either. Oh no. Oh, no. I think he's got the COVID-38. Oh, no. Did you infect your taffy with COVID-38? Not, not, on, purpose. Purpose. not, not on purpose. Not on purpose, sure, not on but purpose. no one does it on purpose. Bound to happen. Boy, bound to happen. All that all that COVID-38 floating around. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be all right, sir? Uh-huh. Oh, he's oh. coughing like a horse. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I got to go. Uh, bye, guys. Be sure to send all that taffy. Yeah, we'll send it. I don't think I. I. Oh dear. Oh, you gotta feel bad. Gotta he feel hung bad up before. He hung up before canceling his order, so I'm not quite sure we, we, where that leaves us. The card. The card cleared. Well, I thought he said send the taffy. <laughs> he did no? say send send the taffy, but it also has made him sick and possibly dying, which I don't know whether it's. Hey, you gotta get it out there. That's fast. our other. That's our other taffy catchphrase. Hey, it might make you sick, but it's worth it. Uh-huh. Can mm-hmm. you can you check just to make sure he hasn't put a stop payment there on the uh... Let me just look. No, oh, there is a note in the account. It's an, it's what does it note say? It's hold on, I'm pulling it up. Chico. Right. Go, come on. Uh, come on, it. Chico. Let's, uh, you know. Here we go. I know you're impatient, Chico. You're the most yeah. impatient of the triplets, are you not? That yeah, I, I'm fine with that label, sure. <laughs> a little bit impatient. What's the dang note say? Send the order. As fast as possible. Uh-huh. But make sure when you send it, I'm still alive. Wait okay. So we should, did, we need to make sure that he's still how alive. Did he even, how did he even get this note into this account? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Well, you we can do a, re- a credit card purchase note. He sent a credit card purchase note. We can do a reverse trace on the call and call him back. So uh, let me. Let, star we have, 69. Yeah, star 69. And here we go. Hello, hello. This this this? is hey. hey. Hello, this is uh, the telethon. You just called into the telethon. How did you get this number? This this might be one of those fake answering machine messages. (laughs) It's perfectly anticipating Uh, what you're saying. I'll have to ask my wife. Uh This is what this Uh is a fake answer. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Go back and repeat that. We are from the telethon. You just called in. Uh huh. Uh huh. So uh-huh. should we send the taffy? Yeah, but, 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 can I ask a question? Sure. Why is sure. this happening? Should, do we send the taffy or not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You bought this it. Is... You said you want to buy it. Unless wow, you're dead. well, that's something. Hey, guys, I'm just kidding. It's Dylan Preachers who reached my answering machine. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, yeah, you're you're answering answering machine. Number yeah. and a ah. message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Wait. Oh. Hey, Dylan. Hey, are you dead? Dylan, Dylan, hey, this is the Calvin's triplets. Uh, we're just making sure that you enjoyed the pork chop taffy. You survived the ingestion of it. And you still want this 749 trillion, 749 uh, million, 999,999 pieces of taffy. Call us back at one 800 0 and uh let us know. Yeah, ask him if he wants ask Take him care. if he wants a uh oh, yeah. a coupon code. Coupon and do you want to enter a coupon code? No, code you don't want the coupon back. code. Bye. Don't mention it. <laughs> By the way, that's that is eight hundred zeros. We want to make sure people maybe that's why we're not getting a lot of calls. It's eight hundred zeros in a row, not one yeah. eight hundred. Um, um, shouldn't have told him about that coupon code. Oh, wait, we're getting a call. We're getting a call. Hello? 
You're on hey, the telethon. Guys, it's Dylan. I'm <laughs> Dylan, fine. Hey, I'm completely fine. So we can ship that out to you right Please now? Please ship it to me. I do want to inquire about this coupon code. Oh, shit. Oh, no. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, what, listen, what? I, I feel as a, as a longtime loyal buyer, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of entitled to using a coupon code, quite uh-huh. frankly. I think the one October will actually. Get October, better. great. I'll use that one. Oh, Jeez. No. no. Oh, it's going to be double. It's going to make this order free and oh, your boy. next six orders are going to be free as well. Oh, you gosh. are responsible for shipping. Um, so I will have to take your card down. For- Chico, is there any kind of shipping clause? Can you, can, what if you charged uh, him for a lot for the shipping uh, more so than it would actually take to buy the stuff? Would that get, is there some sort of work around there? Oh, that's Chico? interesting. I- I like shipping. that idea. I like that because th- I, this Dylan guy doesn't seem too smart. I feel like we could pull a fast one out on him. This is yeah, Dylan. No. I'm still on the line. <laughs> hey, oh, wait a minute. Hey, what's up, Dylan? Wait a minute. Is this another one of his fake? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, sure. Son Put the order through. of a hornet. <laughs> I've said it already. Uh-huh. Damn. <laughs> you bet. How did this happen to us again? That. How is did he we doing fall? that? When he hey, was... guys, I'm killing it. Still in pre- He's making out going call. I'd like to know who you're voting for this presidential election. <laughs> if you're voting for Biden call. Harris, please press one. If you're voting for Trump, press two. Have a marvelous day. <laughs> How do you have a... He had the coupon code <laughs> on his robot. Wow. Oh. wow. Well... Oh, man. That, well, the good funny. news is he doesn't know about the promo code, so <laughs> nobody <good>. mentioned it. <laughs> well, Although you did leave a message. <laughs> He did know oh. about it. He literally <laughs> told us the one to use. He embedded it in his oh. robocall. But I do I do have to uh, charge him for shipping, and it is not going to be cheap. Yeah. I mean, all those horses, all those tons. Mm-hmm. All, all the way Missouri. out to, where is he, Missouri? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, while, we're, while you're calculating that, we, uh, uh, you know, what would a good telethon be without some celebrities? So we have some celebrities here on the show uh, willing to appear on the telethon. Uh, who do we have here first? Is this uh, Michael Sarah? I can't wait to hear. <laughs> I, I'm such a fan of Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah, got- come on out and appear hope- on the telethon. Oh my! Come hey, on, hi, Michael Sarah. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, sorry about your uh, your predicament. It seems seems frustrating. Feels feels like you got a lot lot on your shoulders. I can I can <laughs> sympathize. You know, it's just sort of with uh, with uh, ec- ec- expectations and, and businesses. But that I guess that's sort of the capitalist society in which which we live, right? Yep. Michael Sarah, Sarah I'm about Michael Sarah. Yeah, that great. <laughs> Michael, wow. Michael, do you want to buy any taffy while you're here? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, he's already gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Do we have any other celebrities uh, here coming out on the show? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have one. <laughs> Um, I'm more so, excited to get to uh to get to Bisbee's stand up routine. Yeah, I would love to hear Bisbee's stand up routine while we're. Oh, okay. All right. We so, can, uh, can I get a little music to come out to? Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Uh, Bisbee Saint Hancock. You might have heard of me. Uh, I, I've been working on some material and I'd like to test it out on you guys and do a little crowd work. Wait, you've been working on material, but you instead want to do crowd work? Yep. (laughs) I don't, I'm not too confident in the material I was working on. Understandable. Understandable. (laughs) I'm going to do an old frogger jump and uh, go straight to the crowd work. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, who, uh, looks like you guys came here tonight together. Where are you guys from? Are you, ta- uh, what, uh, are you talking to me and my girlfriend? Yeah. Hey, who are hey. these guys? <laughs> where am I from? Yeah, we're yeah, from we're, the Bronx. We're from the Bronx over here. Make a big deal out of it, why don't you? Oh, yeah. I've, I went there once uh, on a school trip when I was young. Uh-huh. Uh, my, we went to a museum. Have you guys been to that? The Bronx Museum, of course. Yeah, we've yeah. been to the Bronx Museum. Oh boy! <laughs> how about how about you guys over there? Where are you guys from? Hey, we're from uh, Minnesota. Me and my girlfriend. 
Oh yeah. yeah. They, I feel like why are know, there so it, many people there at the ranch? There's a lot of. <laughs> We have a crowd. We're all. We're I had pretty, no idea. You haven't swung good, the camera around until now. Pretty good now. Size crowd. Um, hey, so uh, the they've Midwest, been totally huh? silent this whole time. They're very. Well, they're we nowhere. told them. We told them. Mom's the word. Scott is a professional. This is a professional showbiz show. That. And if you make a peep without without being uh-huh. addressed, you're going in a box. Now. Uh, you guys have a lot of casserole in Minnesota. Oh, sure. Yeah. My mom yeah. used to make a good one, a, a, a tuna fish casserole. Yeah. It's always funny to me when less than like four people have a casserole because you probably won't be able to finish it. <laughs> well, I can't really got a couple of laughs. Hey, I, I who, was, who do you guys think was the first guy uh, to ever like, uh, make a sandwich and he was like uh, would it what's you know what make this sandwich better if it was wet with some uh mustard who do you <laughs> think that who do you think that guy was yeah how do you come up with that <laughs> that's <laughs> great <laughs> you know what that's even relatable here in the bronx what's the deal with mustard <laughs> oh yeah that's yeah, pretty here. funny yeah, here yeah. Comes, here comes my closer oh okay um, now, is this here? part of the material or this is continuing to be crowd work? This is still crowd work, but okay, it's a little so it's, bit of a, a little bit of a hybrid. OK, um, I'm willing like when I use it on a lot of crowds, I'm ready to go off. OK, but I'll if no one uh, is interested, then I'll stick with it. The, so your act is 30 seconds of crowd work and then a closer. <laughs> yeah. OK, so, great. Lay, hit us with it. Hit us so, with it. It's a tight 50 seconds. Sure. Okay. Um, so anybody here, uh, is parents uh, still with us? No. No. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Do you do you ever think about sometimes how your, uh, your dad had, like, put himself inside your mom to make you? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, my name's been uh, Bisbee St. Hancock, and check me out. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. It's Dylan Preacher. I hope you've enjoyed my outgoing message oh, where what? I pretend to be a girl from the Bronx, a guy from the Bronx, a guy from Minnesota, a girl from Minnesota, a surfer boy in Bisbee St. Hancock. If you want to leave your name, number, and a short message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Beep. Oh, that's what? still going on. Ow. Oh, my God. How did he get us again? That that timed out Good. perfectly with my <laughs> That's act. crazy. Uh, are we? Do we want to leave him a message? Don't mention the coupon code. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Dylan, sorry. We've got a little confusion here with your analog but very complex high tech uh, a phone delivery and answering service. Uh, it's the Calvin's triplets wondering about all this funky taffy. Uh, love to make you a nice real deal Copperfield, uh, Grande Rio, Travis Scott meal, uh, forbidden Captain EO movie kind of kind of deal here. Uh, love to pass through uh, your credit card. Make sure you're going to get this taffy. Make sure you're still alive. Give us a call back at 800 zeros and uh, and uh, we'll get this thing squared away. Hope you will. Goodbye. Uh, Don't forget. Frequent customer, we also want to give you. You Jake and busy. <laughs> no, no. Say, Wait, say are, it you, are you say guys? It. You're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? No, I don't. No, definitely I, not. Definitely what, no. What definitely were you going to? What were you going to say, Bever? Going to just tell them about a coupon code we got going no, on promo no. here. Use the word October. October. Damn, Bye. No. Wait, wait, no. what? Wait, y'all look so upset. Wait, what? Wait. You told him about the code. Well, he's a good customer. What else am I going to do? In Bever's defense, I was about to hit that code pretty hard over the head, too. <laughs> Chico seems to be the only one out of you who has a lick of sense here. For for gosh dang dang, fellas, we've been over this. Uh, oh, the coupon gosh. code is the whole reason we're in this conundrum I, here. I pray he doesn't call back. But look, while we're waiting, uh, why don't we check out that uh, uh, review? Let's check out the Instagram. Uh, what was his name? It was something fun. Oh, Brian, Brian. Brian. Brian Smiley Fun, face, Smiley Face, 1,000. 1,000. Let's check out his and see uh, uh, if there's a review up. Oh, okay. A recent post here uh, from uh, Brian Fun, and uh, there's a picture of Taffy. 
here, unwrapped and half chewed. It looks like. Oh. And Chico, what does oh, that yeah. say? I don't what know. Is... Wait, wait, click on his click on his stories. Click okay. on the stories. There's a video on the stories. <laughs> okay, here I'm clicking on it here. Okay. So I got this uh, piece of taffy. Uh, this is hoisin flavored. It's from the Calvin's uh, triplets. It's from their farm. Never tried it before. Trying it right now. I'm going to unwrap it. And here we go. All right. I wonder what magazine you got. Oh, there's a magazine on there. Oh, oh, good, good. Hustler. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. A little racy, but I'll allow it. And I'm just going to take a bite of the taffy, and I'll give you guys uh, my opinion of it. Thanks. Oh my gosh, the anticipation. He's got real juicy bites. I'm I'm seeing at the top of the screen here. There's about 200 little dashes. I think he takes the full 60 minutes to eat this piece. Let, of let me click through. Let we me might. click through. Okay, I'm just tap. I'll tap hundreds of times here just to fast forward through until I can find one where he's talking. <laughs> tap 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 it, tap tap. It's really chewy. It's very oh, got one. Okay. It really sticks to the molars. It's very oh. chewy. Now it's um, just going back to chewing. Okay, well, let me tap. Let me try and get through. The... Okay, here. No, he's still che- no, still chewing. Oh. Okay, let's try this. And that was my opinion of the taffy. Oh, let me go back. Let me wind it. Back tap. Okay. He's still chewing. Let me uh, forward, forward tap, tap, forward <laughs> tap. Just twice, though. Right, oh, no, right I did there. it five it. times. This is go it. Go back two. It'll go back two. Okay. Guys, I've got to tell you, this is the best taffy I've ever eaten <gasps> in my life. And Whoa. I am recommending to my 750 oh trillion followers. Oh, no, he's turning green. He's sweating. You should, you should buy this taffy. Oh my- feeling a little bit uh under oh, the no. weather but that's my opinion of the taffy he's got 750 trillion followers here let me tap forward a little more oh my god he's dead oh wow. no wow. that's no, unfortunate he's, maybe he's maybe maybe he's napping let me tap forward oh no that's no. Oh, oh that is a coroner no. the oh, coroner's no. come to oh, take him away him with a sheet Wait, oh ch- man turn it off Check out Gardenia Coroner's Instagram to yeah, see if yeah. he shows up on that. <laughs> okay, let me click over to that. Oh, yeah. Lid. All right, uh, we got a John Doe here. We got a John Doe here. Uh, no pulse. Uh, he's got oh, a sign. Do not resuscitate. No. Couple, of, couple of pieces of candy. He had a DNR? Oh, no. Couple of, couple of pieces of candy in the pocket here. Uh, suppose you won't mind if I uh, try one of these. Okay. I, wonder, I wonder if he oh, reads The Hustler. Um, oh, my. Uh, Oh, oh my. No, he, <laughs> is that, that a reaction was, to the candy or the hustler? Oh, oh, that was a new what? piece. That's a new piece of taffy, so it would have a different magazine. Mm. <laughs> but he he probably won't talk about that, though. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, what's this attached? Oh, I was so excited by the candy, I didn't notice Better Homes and Gardens Spring Edition. Huh. Oh, a good one. Charles Candy. Mm. 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 All right, oh, that's corner. juicy. Come on. Mm. 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 <laughs> Tastes like milk. Mm. Mm. Oh, you got a piece of milk. How that's do you get a only, milk flavor? That's one of the, Brian old, that's one of the t- 25. Oh, sh- <laughs> oh, sh- oh, shit. Oh, I screwed up. I must oh, have thrown a milk in there. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Can't even get oh, an order of three right. Oh, Fast forward this gardenia yeah, corner oh, a little bit. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's try this. Still chewing. <laughs> Still Almost chewing. done. <clears throat> I see. There's three more three more dashes. Let me tap one. Oh, okay, uh, Taffy's done. Um, I appreciate everyone tuning in to check the status of deceased bodies in the Gard- greater Gardena area, but uh, I just got to take a moment gruesome. out to, uh, to say I've just had the best piece of Taffy I've ever had in my life. Um, according to this wrapper, it's from the Calvin's Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. 
Um, I'm going to go online right now, and I'm going to order order a piece uh, for myself, maybe oh, no. a couple for the family. Oh, no. Um, He's turning oh, gosh. green, too. Oh, I'm here. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> Oh no. And I, <laughs> um, oh, I just, more horse. Bill, Bill, come in here. Uh, oh, oh, oh coroner, no. coron thyself. Wow. He goes. And he's got a do not resuscitate. No. Damn. <laughs> oh, he's got it tattooed on his forearm. I can read it right there. <laughs> Oh my I believe God. it. I the gotta luck. say, it feels like we are never gonna sell these seven hundred and fifty trillion tons of taffy. Oh wait, we're getting a call. We're getting a call. Hold on. Hello, you're on the line here. Hey guys, it's Dylan Preachers. Uh, Dylan. Dylan's back. Hey Dylan. Yeah. Hey, Chico. Bever. Yeah. Scott. Bigsby. Yeah. Bigsby. Uh, it's I, us. I, I got I got your message about the order. Listen, I got a little sick. I was a little under the weather. Uh, but I've made a full recovery. It's not a big deal. Go live your lives. Don't live in fear about whatever illnesses may exist in the world. And definitely put through that order because, in fact, you know what? Why don't you add a piece? Because I am that into this taffy. Awesome! Oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. That's the whole order! We're gonna be in the green! Just kidding, guys. Hey, this is Dylan Pre- Dylan Preaches. If you want to leave a message, uh, just give me your name, number, and a he brief message. Us. I'll get back to you as Shit. soon as I can. <laughs> it's another robocall. <laughs> Damn it! Damn wow, is he he's sending kidding. his outgoing messages to <laughs> why, us? Why is, he, why is he sending recorded calls just to us? <laughs> that felt personal. That felt <laughs> intentional. Really, it really did. Oh he my seems God. to know about stuff that has just happened recently. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he's recording them now. Are, are we sure that Dylan isn't the taffy god just fucking with you guys? Oh, oh man. No way. Well, Scott, do you think that's possible? I, 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 I have no idea. I mean, next time he calls, we should ask him to describe himself. And if he, you know, has the physical parameters of yeah. uh, uh, one of those car dealership inflatable dolls yeah. then maybe that'll be a tip off yeah uh, scott realizes a, an important thing if people pretending to be somebody else always forget to describe their physical selves <laughs> as up. not their actual body it's brilliant that's right <laughs> wait we're getting a call here we're, we're getting another call hey guys yeah, you're on the dylan line Preacher. oh it's dylan oh, hello? hey dylan hello, yeah, hello dylan it's us yeah hey guys. it's us Who, uh, who's us uh, this is Bisbee, this is Chico, this is Bever, this is Scott Ackerman. And uh, just quick question, could you describe your, I guess, body? You want me to describe my body? <laughs> yeah, is that okay? This he's can't he's be. re-asking you, to Scott question. Ackerman are asking in this moment. <laughs> it's got to be real. If I could gotta describe my body. <laughs> got to be real. Yes, please describe your body. Uh, sure thing, I will, because you said please, and I heard it. <laughs> This All would be right. impossible that there's a <laughs> body. Defy, defy the odds. I'm about eight and a half feet tall. I'm about eight <gasps> inches wide. Oh. I am a turquoise blue. Oh. I got fringy, frilly little hair. And my arms <laughs> flap about wildly and often get stuck to whatever they touch. This is the Taffy uh, God. This is the Taffy God, God messing Wait, with you. Wait, did you just say that you think I'm the Taffy God? Your yes! Friend. It is me, the Taffy God. Oh I have God. been messing with you guys. <laughs> you will never get out. Get rid of this 750 trillion tons of Taffy, and I will harass and haunt you for 334 days. I knew this. it was the Taffy God. I knew it was and the Taffy, Taffy God. God. Yes, of course it's the Taffy God. I am the Taffy God, and your souls will be mine. Just killing guys. It's Dylan Preacher. Go ahead and leave a message after the tone. No! Your name, number, and a How message. did he get I'll us get again? Oh, no. Oh. I think he what? said just killing guys, by the way, instead of kidding guys. Just, this, this guy's a trickster. This guy's a trickster. A Freudian slip of all time. That's what they say in Missouri. Oh, well, gosh, guys, we're we're running out of time on the telethon, unfortunately. How? I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I don't know if this is going to make a difference, but we just got 750 trillion single orders. What? For one piece, and they all give a hashtag on the order of Brian Fun. <gasps> That's going to make a big difference. Oh, my God. It's all of Brian Fun's followers. They've come on, and they're, they're, it's like an army of, of fun. I mean, that's, that's one a, of the hashtags. That's a lot of orders. Do you have 750 trillion horses that you can send out? Scott, you know that we do. <laughs> well, I was just kidding. I know you do. Of course you do. <laughs> oh, I sure do. You guys are saved. We Bisbee. did it. We we'll did another it. Day. Uh, 
Just Thank wait God. till those we'll just wait till those Deca triplets hear about this. <laughs> oh man, I hope we <laughs> never meet them because that would be too many people on the show. Don't you agree? <laughs> Way too many. Bears me, Bears me. I got a I got a pen and paper. Why don't you start reading off the flavors of each individual one of those seven hundred and fifty trillion orders? You got it. Okay. Oh, no. I don't. We don't have time for that. We, uh, you, you guys are going to have to do that after the show. Unfortunately, Water. Started right. We are, we are running out of time. We just have time for one final feature on the show, and that is a little something called plugs. What's your name? What's your address? What are the last four social security? Mother's maiden name. The city you were born. Feel free. All right. That was <laughs> What's Your Name, Blah, Blah, Blah by The Whisper Daddy. Thank you to The Whisper Daddy. Uh, and uh, what a wonderful plugs theme submission that was. And uh, if you want to submit a plugs theme, go ahead and do that. I'm not stopping you. I have no tips or uh, uh, really instructions of how to do that. All right, guys, what are we plugging? Um, obviously, the Calvin's Family Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch will live to see another day. You've gotten rid of all of your taffy. Now it's there's nothing left but the horse fighting, right? Come on down for some horse fights. Come on down for some bee honey. Bee honey season. Bee honey season. Right yeah, yep. <laughs> that's right. We haven't talked about either of those two things. We've exclusively focused on the taffy today. Thank it's goodness. Taffy season. <laughs> Um, anything else you want to plug? Uh, any of you guys? You know, I've been I've been uh, in the very limited downtime I have, Scottly. Uh, I've been I've been checking in on this uh, Twitch where hmm. people stream their video game experiences, and I gotta say, the Twitch TV page of Tarzan Nozi very enjoyable. He does a show Wednesday nights at eight PM where he has people play scary video games while he asks them just sort of mundane questions about their life. Interesting. And that's been fun. To see. You can go to twitch.tv backslash Tarzan no Z. Tarzan no Z. All right. Uh, anything else we want to plug, Chico? Uh, anything catch your eye these days? Well, I mean, one thing I've been doing, uh, uh, I've been doing a little bit of legal work. As you know, I'm a lawyer certified in the state of California. I don't uh, so- remember that, but okay, yeah. Yeah, I said it the first time we met. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think I've he been, actually did. I think he actually yeah, did. sure. I'll have to take your word for it at this point. It really happened. <laughs> and I've been doing some, uh, I've been doing a little bit of legal work with uh, Sweet James, attorney uh, at law. And so you can see me in the background of those uh, ubiquitous commercials. Oh, uh, you can check me out. Uh, it's it's the first time I've been on camera since way way back in the day. Since uh, since uh, we were putting on a giant overcoat and uh, auditioning for all the programs. Oh, that's right. Time, I do remember this. Yes, et cetera, et cetera. So you you'll see me pop up in the background of the sweet sweet James attorney commercial. All right, very good, Bisbee. Anything that you want to plug here? Of course, uh, I'd love to plug just a. Just a little uh, soda aisle over at Ralph's. Uh, mm. It's a and the, specifically the little generic in the middle. They put the generic soda. So it's I'd not look, a it's not a little aisle. It's a, a full sized aisle for little sodas. It's a full sized aisle, and then it has that uh, little area where they have the generic. Oh, it's an soda. area within an aisle. Yeah. I just want to say, every when you get a chance, go down there and support your local generic soda uh, area. Very at, good. Ra- at Ralph's. At Ralph's. Very good. At Ralph's. Only at Ralph's. Uh, I want to plug, I heard a rumor uh, that the Comedy Bang Bang television show, which uh, two of you were so nice to appear on, um, is, has migrated over to AMC+. Plus. I guess all episodes are streaming over there. Now, just one person has told me that. I don't know any of the details regarding AMC+. Plus. Uh, no one has contacted me about this to let me know anything about it or to give me any kind of courtesies, information, uh, nor a free subscription so I could check in uh, anytime I need to do research on those old episodes, which comes up occasionally. But um, that is a rumor, so go ahead and check that out. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. You start 
with the sea when you wanna close it up. You lead with an L and then you open up the plug bag. Open up the plug bag. Take your hand and open it up. Then Horatio comes and then he just says, Been holding all my life. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Chico, Bever, Bisbee, three of the best here. Always wonderful to check in with you. We love to be here. Love to see here. Love to love to clear here. Love to flee here. Love to she here. Love to tea here. Fantastic. And Chico, always great to see you, obviously. Fantastic, Scotty. So wonderful to see you and hear your voice. And Bisbee, uh, the recent addition to the clan, it's good to see you. I've been hoping uh, there's a financial turn of tide soon for well, all of us, but specifically me. Unfortunately, you received none of that money from the taffy that was just sold. N- not a penny. Not a penny. <laughs> but at least you don't have to pay for all the losses this year. So I actually do. I'm, that's part of the, I'd take care of all the the downfall. Sure. So. But I guess there won't be as many losses unless for some weird reason you've already started making another 750 trillion tons of taffy. Well, it doesn't make sense to get into that right now, but <laughs> that's a road I've danced down before. <laughs> okay, well, um, and next time we talk, we certainly won't be hearing from the Decker sisters uh, and their Hornet Honey and oh, Caramel Farm not. and Pig Farm and Ranch. No, we, we won't. A bad be- move. Uh, 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 has the the matriarch Marsha Brandy has uh, she passed on at this point? Uh, y- yeah, yeah. Along with your father, together, right. together. Really? Wait, we were they found their bodies in a cardboard box behind the stable? Mm-hmm. Like like those bodies that uh, at Pompeii that were intertwined? <laughs> exactly like those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so they here's were- what's crazy is that the cardboard was untouched but they had turned to ash somehow <laughs> oh inside the box. Mm-hmm. And so began the family conflict of the Calvins and Decker's uh, animosity. That's how mm-hmm. it began upon their very death. Well, we don't have time to get into that, obviously. I uh, do. This- uh, <laughs> I, unfortunately, I mean, the show doesn't have time for that. I but Bis- see, I see. Bisbee, you've been stirring up cauldrons of taffy. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been watching you. Please don't make a surplus. Nope. This at this so, point, I... at this point, it's worth risking the rejection of and the sad faces of these families who come to the farm. Mm-hmm. You just barely scraped by out of the uh, precarious situation. You know, just to let you know how you can help right now is by just... Uh, Offering me some new flavors if you got them, because we got a lot of taffy here. We got to fill with flavor. (laughs) Okay, look, we don't have time for that. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Bob.